Milk. Crate. Marauder. Now it's done. All I need is a father for me. Yes. And tonight on E, don't forget, live from Playboy Mansion, Playmate, Celebrities, Benji Butt Naked, and Hep's Pool airing all this week on E. Vinny Favalli is here with us today, who is a network executive. Vinny uh, has his Judy Garland tapes and also has his tapes of all right. Mariah Carey. I have a phony phone call I need to play. Is, is uh, Vivian Guzman here yet? I, I think she was, or John said she thought she was. I don't know. Because I wanted to hook her up to the lie detector and, and find out whether or not this chick's for real, because she's good looking. But you can't trust girls today. A lot of them just tell you they like you because you're famous. And uh, there she is. Now, airline. that's a good-looking broad. Hey, Vivian. What, what did you just have in here? Yeah. Forget those two. Oh, okay. <laughs> Vivian is here. She's a hot Spanish chick. She's on a TV show called Moral Court. Moral, moral court. M-O-R-A-L. She's even peeling down for you. You're even peeling and stripping down. Now, I got your videotape that said that you dig me, you think I'm hot. Yeah, I do. Uh, I don't believe you. I don't care. I don't believe you, and I'm going to hook you up to a lie detector. You say this is the truth. If you say and nothing but if you say you see, up. I see a good-looking girl like this, and I just don't trust. <laughs> I don't believe. That's fine. Once I I believe Ben Torian tells me you're telling the you truth. Your lips are hot. Oh, your lips are real hot. You have full Hispanic lips, <laughs> and I love that. And do you know uh, a huge population growth has occurred in the Spanish community here in New York? And I have to have sex with a Spanish girl. <laughs> I have to. I have Spanish fever. Maybe. I have it. And you're the one. <laughs> Vivian Guzman. If you pass the lie detector, okay. I'll immediately hustle you oh, into my bedroom. Oh, if doesn't okay. pass, you won't sleep with her. I'll sleep with her anyway. <laughs> yeah. I'll sleep with her, but it won't be as good. Uh, I tell you, there's population growth in my pants right now. <laughs> you, how'd you get the job on Moral Court? Um, I was uh, Transit Transit News Magazine. I was a reporter there. Yeah. Transit News Magazine. What is that? Man, you're lucky. So hard to get a job at Transit News Magazine. <laughs> no one works there. What the heck is that? Do they always hire reporters with belly button rings? What do you got to do? I tried to get the belly button ring on last night, but it got clogged up, and it, I can't get it in. What do you got, sparkles and stuff on there? It's a little heart. Yeah, oh, no. I'd like to kiss that. So you are the host of Moral Court. What is Moral Court? Moral Court is not a. It's it's different from other court shows because it's not about legal issues. It's about moral issues. It's about right versus wrong. Give me an for issue. Example. Okay, today on Channel Nine. Go ahead. Um, at eleven o'clock here in New York and both in L.A. There's going to be a case called the Slip of the Tongue. Okay. I know it sounds cute, doesn't yeah, it? Yes, yeah, Slip of the Tongue, and you come out in hot little outfits. <laughs> a woman brings her boyfriend in because he can't get over the fact that she called him by her ex's name Ooh. a couple of times while they were in bed. Oh. Uh, not just once, but twice, a couple of times. And they and they have a court about whether or not that that's moral? Exactly. Well, that's well she wants him to get over it. She thinks it's wrong that he's holding that against her. No wonder I don't watch this show. I can't understand it. Well, no. what can the court do? Well, well, yeah, what's the court? So let's say you're guilty. What does the court do? Well, that, well, you lose, and the winner gets anywhere from 500 to $2,000. We give them the money. you got a nice little belly. <laughs> Never mind, though. Who cares about the show? No, I can't hear a word she's saying. You're a very attractive. You know what? You are better looking than J Lo. Oh, thank you. You're damn right. She's okay. You haven't seen J Lo. I have too. Where did you see her? I saw her. Um, uh, remember that time? I was drunk as a oh, yeah, yeah. skunk, but I saw her. I saw her. I saw her. So I think that is a compliment. Yes, you are very beautiful. Yeah. What is it? Vivian got to find her ass in her. Vivian, I want to hook you up to a lie detector. When I see a piece of ass like you who says that she's attracted to me and wants to make love to me, What's I... What's so difficult about that? I just have a bad self-image. I don't believe that it's true. Well, you know why I didn't believe it? Why don't you believe it? Really? Yeah. It seemed really hmm. sincere until she uh, called the Daily News and then sent it to Entertainment Tonight. Right. See, it's hard to believe. You to make sure you've got it. Look, Howard, are you convinced that you will pass the slide detector test that, in fact, when I ask you the question, are you attracted to Howard Stern, that you will actually pass? Yes. Now, yeah. what do we mean by attracted? Do we mean we want to sleep with Howard Stern? When I what? ask you the question, mm -hmm. do you want to sleep with Howard Stern, and you say yes, do you think that you will pass that test? I think I could pass that test. Really? All right. It, what else? Do you know Howard that my Stern? left hand is touching... <laughs> Myself in the most intimate of areas as and I talk to you. As close as you're get. That's right. good news. Do you know that that I'm squeezing and manipulating myself that's as I speak to you? Oh, that's you, Vinny. Get your hand out of my lap. I don't mean to, yeah. to smack your ego, but what do you think the odds are that she'll pass? Do you think she's going to pass? No. I think she's going to pass. Look at the look on her face. I don't know. Right. I do not believe you're in love with me. You. You're too strong. When did you first see me? Uh, a couple of years ago. And you found me attractive then. 
I did. You did. Why didn't you contact him? Yeah, what were you waiting for? Because I was like, I didn't have a gig. I was nobody. You don't need to get on the show. I like nobody. <laughs> Nobodies are what I'm after. <laughs> People get gigs, they usually dump me. When nobody's go to entertainment tonight, they, they don't get any uh, play. That's right. So you're saying, you, now you do have a boyfriend personally? I see somebody. You do. All right, that's that's fair enough. Yeah, but I don't care. But you're ready to, you're ready you to dump cheat. him. You would cheat on him for me. I would leave him for you. Really? Ooh. Oh, my God. We'll have to take you to Morrow. Now we'll have to <laughs> find out if that's true. Wait, i got to write that down on my <laughs> list. <laughs> would, you, would, you, would you leave your boyfriend for me? <laughs> <laughs> True or false? All right, go hook her up. Ed Torian okay. is a renowned, world-renowned okay. lie detector guy. You're going to go step into another room, and in a few seconds you'll be prepped. Look at your wow. body. Um, mm, look going. at your ass. <laughs> you got a better ass than J Lo, honey. Here you go. Oh, she's hot. J Lo's got people crying. She's got the look of love, honey. <laughs> I'm crying. I like the way she looks. Her ass was talking to me. Oh, her ass was talking to me. And only me. She's so full of it. There's no way she's going to pass this test. You think? You think she's not telling the truth? Well, I'm going to ask her a million questions. Might as well know everything about her. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to find out if she ever made it with a dog. Oh, dear. I'm telling you. Dominic, what is it? Absolutely going to fail the test. All they're doing at all the shows and competitions, my show, Power of Attorney, is oh, putting all these... You think she'll fail the test? Coming in to be new, you know. You think uh, people couldn't on people's court? You think That's people couldn't honestly be attracted to Howard? Um, they could be, but this is a setup. Howard's beautiful. <laughs> five thousand to Robin's charity if she passes. You will give five thousand dollars to Robin's charity if she passes. If she loses, the blouse comes off. Oh, simple. Ooh. You know he is divorced. <laughs> yeah, you know what? He does like girls. <laughs> Let me go, let me, right, right, have a bet? Hold on, let me ask you. Just to take two is the way from power of attorney. Hey, uh, hey, Vivian. Yeah, what's up, Howard? Ask her if uh, Dominic says he'll give five thousand dollars to a uh, charity. Robin's charity. If she passes the test, but if she fails, she has to take her top off. Vivian, the deal is uh, Dominic Barber's on the phone. He said if you pass, uh, if you pass the test, I'll give five thousand dollars to Robin's charity. But if you fail it, you have to take your top off. I'm not taking my top off. Well, there goes that one. Huh? I guess my fortune will get me money. Dominic, something tells me she's going to flunk. Thank you. He doesn't have much faith in her. All right, anyway, so Ed, Ed Torian is setting up Vivian right now. He's hooking her up to a professional lie detector uh, apparatus. As a matter of fact, uh, Ed Torian is considered one of the top guys. She's got a nice butt. I was going to say, all we're seeing is Ed's butt. Oh, is that Ed I'm looking at? I was saying, gee, she's got an unusual ass. It's Ed's ass I'm looking at. Stick wallet in her pants. Yeah, honey, I was just say, get the wallet out of your pants. Oh, that's Ed Torian's ass. Let him, let him keep working. Don't distract Ed Torian. That's right, because he's got a very big job to do there. Yeah. Now, if you want to get in touch with Ed Torian, 1-800-934-3241. In Espanol or English? English, Ed. Yeah, I'm doing <laughs> Give that a drink. It's a good thing we're going to bring the colored people today. Yeah, right. Uh, I got a very bad question to ask you. <laughs> that just ripped his penis on the wall. <laughs> all right, Ed. Is, Ed, let me ask you a couple of questions first so we make sure this is all legit. You're supposed to go to a safari. I was going to say, what is that? He looks like that crocodile hunter guy. <laughs> By the way, they got huge ratings, crocodile you know hunter. I forgot to tape that. I watched his great show. They had a snake bite him on the face. Did you have, did you tape it? Yeah. I, uh, I, no, I didn't tape it, but the, we can get a copy of it. All right, because I really want to see what this guy's up to. Oh, it's so great. In fact, at one point, he, uh... He goes, this snake is perfectly harmless, and then the snake just bites him on the mouth. <laughs> it's cool. And he was bleeding. But it was a non-poisonous. Non-poisonous, non-venomous. Okay, Ed. Wait, oh, tell him, tell him I'm not ready. He needs about another 60 seconds. He's warming up the yeah. machine. Okay, great. All right, I'll give you some time, Ed. That contraption. I'll turn off the microphones in there. And uh, the meantime, we might have a moral dilemma right here. What is it? A uh, stuttering John just told me that he was uh, at this Waldorf Astoria thing the other night. He ran into the promotions director of our station in Dallas. Yeah. And he used to go down there and work when we were in Dallas before. And he said, hey, why don't you sign me up for another gig? And uh, the promotion director told him that she had talked to Fred about signing him and his band for a gig. And then she said, you know, maybe we'll hire John, too, and bring you both down. And Fred said, I don't work with him. Wow. How come, Fred? I don't like to make it into a big stern show event. Ooh, he's learned. 
Yeah, but if it's just me, and I mean, you know, we've done gigs together before without a problem, you know, without a hitch. I think he, if, I, I, if I may speak for Fred, and if I'm saying something wrong, tell me. I think he he thinks you suck, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, he just doesn't think you're that We've done gigs together. I want Scott Fred your band to gig. Actually, I'll be honest with you. It's the first I've heard of it, but the, usually the rule is I don't usually work with anybody else on the show, or I don't do, like, whack packers Thank you. Like that. Thank you for doing that, by the way. You're the only one with integrity. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just the whole of our bands are played together. It's not like we, it's a stern show. I'll thing. be honest with you, first I've heard of it, but, you know, I'll check into it. Like, God, man. He's so hard up for money that you might have to yeah, play Yeah, I it. said, God, that's <laughs> <been> horrible, because <laughs> he's, he's taking food out of a baby's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you know I don't make a lot of money when you put it that way. Uh, maybe maybe Fred will change his rule this one time. Hey, never mind you guys. Let's get to Vivian Guzman. Do you guys find her very attractive? Incredible. Hot. Yeah, very, very hot. She sounds like Rosie Perez. No. No. She does. She speaks better. Vinny, are you listening to the right show? You work for court. I work for Moral Court, yes. Moral oh, court. Oh, I see. Ed's busy giving her the, uh, just to make sure that... Yeah, she... the, the questions that you know are right. Yeah. Do you intend to answer the truth? <laughs> yeah. This is what you call the baseline. You get those lips on her. She's, I wonder if those are collagen. I don't think so. No, they're natural. Mm. Even the mic can't cover Do you now live in New York State? Yes. She should lower the mic a little. Be quiet, Vinny. Wouldn't you love to do her, Vinny? Vinny's a married man. You better remember that. It's not me. I was just taking a dinner. We can sing her heart. All right, Ed, are you ready? Go ahead, sir. All right, Ed, I'm going to say a question. You repeat it to Vivian so that there's no hanky-panky. Has she had a lie detector test before? She looks awfully comfortable. No, she never did. I asked her to All right, Ed, how are you, by the way? Fine, How are you today? Very good. Okay, here we go. Would you leave your boyfriend for Howard Stern? Would you leave your boyfriend for Howard Stern? Yes. Do you like anal sex? You gotta give a second to. Uh, okay, take your time, Ed. Ed, you. I'm just priming you with the next question. Okay, thank you. I like it. Go ahead. Do you like anal sex? Do you like anal sex? No, you Ed. Yeah, it's either a yes or a no. Yes or no. No. What other answers are there? Do, like <laughs> Do you enjoy sex with a man? Where's the heads of the hand? I do. Oh, there. Not you, Ed. <laughs> no. Go ahead. Do you enjoy sex with a man? Do you enjoy sex with a man? Oh, yes. Uh, tell me when you're ready, Ed. Go ahead. Do you ever sniff your underwear after you take it off? Do you ever sniff your underwear after you take it off? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. Tell me when you're ready. truth, won't you? <laughs> well, no. Well, Ed will give us the answers after the commercials. Go ahead. Have you ever used fruit to achieve sexual satisfaction? Have you ever used fruit for sexual satisfaction? Yes. Wow. I wonder what kind of fruit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll ask her that after. Yeah, write that down. She knows if she's telling the truth. Okay. Have you ever had sex with a close relative? Have you ever had sex with a close relative? No. Tell me why not. Go ahead. Have you ever taken naked pictures of yourself? Have you ever taken naked pictures pictures of yourself? No. Have you ever stolen anything? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta know what kind of girl I'm dating. <laughs> Go ahead. Have you ever stolen anything? Oh God, yes. <laughs> of course, everybody has. I have. Of course, we all have. We all have. You gotta ask her if you talk to the tabloids if you would sleep if you sleep with me. Would you talk to the tabloids if you sleep with me? Would you talk to the tabloids if you slept with Howard? No, no. Would she talk to Chauncey? Please. <laughs> Who said the... Uh, don't no, no, don't no, listen no, to him. No, don't no, let no, him interrupt. No, Just no, keep going. Repeat the question. No, man. that was good. Don't worry about it. All right, that okay. was in here. All right, okay. All right. Ask her if she's... I say, are you uncomfortable around retarded people? Oh. <laughs> are you uncomfortable around retarded people? <laughs> Yes, I'm Everybody. I'm going to stop laughing. She's trying to throw off. I'm sorry. Yeah, look straight at her. Try not to move from there. Watch your head. Okay. Just close your eyes. You okay. Uh, Have you asked her if you're attractive? Yeah. We're getting there. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm We're getting there. Eleven. Mm. Have you ever fantasized about making love to another woman? 
Have you ever fantasized about having making love with another woman? No. Sounds like a lie. Another lie, yes. <laughs> I'm marking my own lie detector sheet. <laughs> Have you ever stuck your finger in the dirtiest place on a man? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Have you, you got to look straight ahead, Trent. I am. Can you repeat that again? How Have you ever stuck your finger in the dirtiest place on a man? Have you ever stuck your finger in the dirtiest place of a man? In the what? In the dirtiest part of a man. Have you ever stuck your finger in the dirtiest part of a man? Can I plead the fifth? No. Okay, so that's a yes. That's all right. That's all right. Okay. Scratch that question, Your Honor. Okay. Right. Uh, yes. Have you ever farted during sex? <laughs> Have you ever fought in during sex? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's cute. That's a plus. That's a plus ten. Do you think Ed Torian is cute? Listen, no. <laughs> she already said no. Oh, I forget that. Okay. okay. Uh, have you ever done a naughty thing with a cigar in a bad place? Have you ever done anything naughty with a cigar in a bad place? No. This is the key question now, Robin. Okay. Are you pretending? Are you pretending to be attracted to Howard Stern to help your show business career? No. Are you pretending to be attracted to Howard Stern to help your career in show business? No. Mm. I can't wait to hear with that. That's not a good question. Hold on, hold on. I got plenty. Do you want to have sex with Howard Stern? Do you want to have sex with Howard Stern? Yeah. Oh, that was whole <laughs> Is the thought of having sex with Howard Stern nauseating to you? <laughs> Is the thought of having sex with Howard Stern nauseating? <laughs> no. Have you ever pleasured yourself with a pencil and pretended it was Howard Stern? Have you ever pleasured yourself with a pencil? <laughs> That's good no. enough. No. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Do you want Howard Stern to make love to you? Do you want Howard Stern to make love to you? Yes. Have you ever been a member of the Crips? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been a member of the Crips? No. Right. Are you responsible for the murder of Nicole Brown Simpson? Oh, my goodness. Well, we got to find her. We have to find the murderer. At <laughs> least you got her up. Go ahead. Are you responsible for the murder of Nicole Brown Simpson? <laughs> no, nope, I ain't got juice. Oh, you got to say yes. Or no. no. Uh oh. I think we found him. <laughs> you cracked the case, though. <laughs> I knew he did it. Right, here we go. Ready, Ed? Go ahead. Do you find Howard Stern to be physically ugly? Do you find Howard Stern to be physically ugly? No. Do you find Howard Stern to be physically attractive? Do you find Howard Stern to be physically attractive? Yes. Yeah. Sincere. Have you ever had an anal accident when having anal sex? Have you ever, have you ever had an anal accident while having anal sex? <laughs> no. All right, one final question, Ed. Go ahead. After, do you examine the mess in your toilet paper? Right. Do you examine the mess in your toilet paper? After you wipe, you examine the toilet paper. Toilet paper. Absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. well, she does. because she's into golden showers. Are you into golden showers? <laughs> into what? Golden showers. What's a golden shower? All right. That's bad. All right. Uh, All right. We are don't done. Explain. Don't explain it. No. <laughs> Ed's, Ed's trying to show her. I put your pants back on. Ed, I conclude my questions. There are no further questions. I'm going to take a commercial break. When we come back in, I'd like to know the results. Yes, Ed will be uh, telling of the results during this break. Yes, please bring Vivian in and Ed in after these commercials, right yes. after these words. And we will find out.
that the host of Moral Court truly, in fact, loves me. Vivian Guzman. Come on, bring in that jury and I'm dying to know the results. Now, I know you're still acting on uh, the information that she is hot for you. I am. So, I saw you in there. Who you watch? <laughs> Vivian Guzman. Like TV in it. <laughs> Vivian Guzman and I were talking during the commercials. I don't have to even hear what you say. I just look at your body language and I know what's going on. Vivian began stroking my hair, which was very nice. <laughs> well, you were coming on to her. Yeah, that's nice. I was not coming on to her. Was I coming on to you? Yes, you were. No, I think it was the other way around. You were coming on to me. You were, in fact, annoyed that I was asking so many questions. I think you wanted to get right down to it. Yeah, what is it? I walked in and I had a witch. Okay, yeah, really. Can I just give you 30 seconds of it? Yeah, I wasn't coming on. So. Oh, God, this is you not being you. You go... Oh my gosh, so you went from a writer to um to the television show, but that must have been a huge break for you. Get out of here. Being nice to my guests. Uh, I am. Most of them you ignore them. <laughs> Most of them don't look like that. What? Robin, I I have to leave the room because she comes over to her and goes, uh, oh, uh, take your glasses off and let me see your eyes. <laughs> Why not? So she wants to, see, yeah. wants to see what he's doing. I wanted to see his beautiful eyes. <laughs> well, we're going to find out if Vivian Guzman is yeah, real. Most times he doesn't come around the desk. I know when the girl's really hot. <laughs> when he comes around the desk, not true. so he can actually be near her. Yeah. Look at that, Torian. Ed, take your hands off her. Uh, Vivian Guzman. <laughs> Vivian Guzman is on Moral Court on Channel Nine at 11 a.m. in New York and L.A. And for the rest of the country, you can check your local listings. Now, Ed Torian is also a great polygrapher. Thank you. And uh, as beautiful... That's how you say it? Polygrapher? Polygrapher. <laughs> you see Ed, like, practically undressing her with his eyes? Yeah, Ed, what's going on with you? You're a married man, aren't you? Yes, sir. Yeah. Has it been a while, Ed? <laughs> Ed, you mind if I hook you up to the lie detector? <laughs> really? Because last week he was a little touchy-feely, too. Vivian, uh, we gave you a lie detector because you are a beautiful woman, and as you know, I am not a beautiful woman. And I am, I am, I am suspicious when someone says that they've they're so attracted to me. I just want to know if it's true or not. And Ed knows the truth. You know it already, don't you, Ed? And let's go to the results of the test. Okay. All right, All right Ed. <laughs> are you ready for this, Howard? Do you want me to read out the questions and you read out the answers, or you already know it? No. Could you read out the questions? All right. But are you ready for the results of whichever way they go? All right. Well, yes, I am. Okay. Yes, I am. Okay. Vivian, here we go. Okay. Vivian, you swear you're in love with me. I'm in love with you. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Uh, the first question was, is your name Vivian? <laughs> Uh, get, get on that mic. Right. She was truthful. She was truthful. All right. Okay. Uh, last name Guzman. We asked if she was truthful. Definitely. All right. right. And we asked her if she, all the regular questions. Right. right. Would you, we asked her, would you leave your boyfriend for Howard? For Howard Stern? Yes. And it's true. She was truthful. Wow. Hmm. See? Really? <laughs> when she said <laughs> when she said she didn't like anal sex, was she truthful? She was truthful. Okay. <laughs> when we asked her if she enjoyed sex with a man, was she truthful? Yes. All right. She's truthful. When we asked her if she sniffed underwear after she takes it off, you said you do. I said I don't. Oh, you said you don't. She was truthful. She was truthful. She You've truthful. never sniffed your underwear to see what it smells like? I don't have to, Howard. You don't wear underwear or you just know? I do. But right. sometimes you just know, and you know you don't want to go south. Okay. <laughs> um, I asked her if she ever used fruit for sexual satisfaction, and she said she had. Yes. Yeah. Is that true? I got no. Really? You say, when did you use a fruit? Yeah. That was a long time ago. What kind of fruit? Grapes. Oh, grapes? And you... How old were you? Who said... Ed. <laughs> Why do you want to know how old she was, Ed? <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't a pineapple? <laughs> you use grapes for sex... And, and did they satisfy you, the grapes? Well, I wasn't by myself. I couldn't figure that out. A partner used yeah. them. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. That's why you had to know. Exactly. Right. Right. She must have been young when I left. I... <laughs> Ed, be quiet. <laughs> Keep your mind on your She's still young. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I asked you if you ever had sex with a close relative. You said no. Was she truthful? She's truthful. Okay. I asked you if you ever took naked pictures of yourself. You said no. Was she truthful? She was truthful. All right. I asked you if you ever stole anything. You said yes. And was she truthful? No. She was truthful. She stole Where'd you steal? What'd you steal? Um. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that. Ed wants to be a writer. Ed, you're charming. Go <laughs> sit in the draggy chair. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, uh, what, did, what did you steal? Um, when I was younger in a department store, I think it was like a CD or uh, tape or something. I think we've all done oh, that. The, the yeah. shoplifting. Oh, yeah. 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 I was so nervous my first time I ever shoplifted. I went to Macy's. Yeah, I did it. Me too. I did it twice. 
My friends used to challenge everyone to do it, and I had friends who were really good at it. They could go into record stores and steal albums, whole albums. I had friends who only dressed in stolen clothes. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you something. So I went in, and as a rite of passage, I had to prove myself. Roosevelt Field Macy's, I walk in, and I saw tie packs on a table. And I figured that was the only thing I, my, I could do because I could just walk up, and nobody wants tie like packs. you wore a top. Never. And I, and I stole a tie pack just so I could show the guys. I was so embarrassed. Okay. Would you? Here's an important question. We asked you, would you talk to the tabloids if you slept with me? And you said no. Was she truthful? She was truthful. Wow. Really? Yeah. You wouldn't even talk. We asked her if she was uncomfortable around retards, and she said no. Was she truthful? Uh, I did. <laughs> okay, I did say no. No. You said yes. I, uh, you said, no, no, she said she no. You said no. No. Not uncomfortable. Oh, I'm, I'm looking at the other one. I'm sorry. Are you uncomfortable around retards? Yes. She, yes. Is, she is uncomfortable? Right. She was lying. I no, I said I was comfortable. But the lie detector says you said no. Uncomfortable. Oh, you I, I, I answered comfortable. I said, are you uncomfortable around retards? And she said no. Exactly. So that means, was she telling the truth? I got, I got that. Yes. No, I said no. All right. Who cares? Oh, you know what? <laughs> That's the next question. I'm sorry. What are you, you know, know Ed, stop looking at her. Ed, and look at and what is the answer? Is she uncomfortable? She's truthful. No, she's Okay, she was truthful. Okay. No, I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> I asked her if she ever fantasized about making love to another woman. She said, um, no. 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 She was truthful. Okay. I asked her if she ever stuck her finger in a dirty place on a man. <laughs> she said, she, she said, said no. Yes. No, she said no. Right, she was truthful. Okay. I yes. thought she said yes. And yes. You did say yes? I Ed is confused to that. Ed. No, I get that. No. Get on the page. Get on the right page. You have stuck your finger there? She said no comment. Did I say that? I said no comment. <laughs> and then you said that was a yes. Oh, yeah, right. That's why you're confused. Exactly. Okay. Question 13, Ed. Huh? Ever farted during sex? She said yes. Was she truthful? Yes. Okay. Now he's gone back to his results. Good. No, and I, said, I asked her if she ever did anything naughty with a cigar. She said no. She was truthful. She right. said no. All right. All right. Then here's the key question. The president, I swear to God. I asked her, are you pretending to be attracted to me, Howard Stern, to help your career? She said no. Is she telling the truth? Truthful. She's truthful. Right. See? Right. I told you how We much. asked her, would you have sex with Howard Stern? She said yes. And she was truthful. She was. All right. What are you going to do about this? <laughs> I have to first analyze everything. The answer is the thought of having sex with Howard Stern nauseating. She said no. And what did you? Was she lying? No, she said no. She was truthful. Wow. Wow. We asked her if she ever pleasured, pleasured herself with a pencil. She said no. Had she? She was truthful. No. When 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 we asked her the question, do you want Howard Stern to make love to you? She said yes. Is that truthful? Truthful. She was truthful. We asked her if she'd ever been a member of the Crips, the, the <laughs> gang, and she said no. Is that truthful? No. Yeah, she was truthful. No. She was truthful. <laughs> we asked her if she was responsible for the death of Nicole Simpson. <laughs> she said no, but she knows who did it. She knows who did it. Stop it, Ed. Oh, we asked her a very key question. Is, Wait a minute. Is Ed not telling the truth? Yeah. Is Howard Stern physically ugly? She said no. No. And she means it? She means it. She means it. Then we asked her uh, in reverse, is Howard Stern physically attractive? She said yes. Was she truthful? She was truthful. She was. Yeah. Wow. So, wow. Howard. Perfect score. Yeah. Wow. And we asked her if she ever had anal accidents while having anal sex. She said no. She said no. She, she said yes. she does. Yes. I said I said yes. Number 25. Yeah. Oh, you're right. right. Heads off by what? They're all wrong. I'm sorry. Yes. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know if I... Go back and How read your... Are you, you sure? You gave me the wrong numbers. I'm, I'm, are you I'm, sure, I'm, though? I'll never listen again. Howard, Howard. Yeah. I followed him. We even checked. His, the numbers are perfectly fine. <laughs> I, I watched him. Every number he wrote down. Right. All right, I got an extra number in there. All right, all right. Easy an number. extra number's in there. Okay. Okay. Extra number. But do you think that th maybe the results are not accurate? Then, I don't they? know what to say. being attracted to you, she was truthful. She was truthful. And that's all you wanted to know, you know Howard. The, uh, you know, the toilet paper and all that you're not sure about. Well, honey, I'm. Uh, <laughs> how soon can we book a sexual uh, liaison? <laughs> Well, you are lovely, Vivian. I got to tell you, and it's not often that a girl could pass that kind of test. We've had others fail. Other girls have failed. Wow, you are for real. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to tune in and watch your show at the very least. <laughs> hubba hubba. What is it, Suttering John? I guarantee that if you if you asked me to go to the bathroom with you and make out, she would. No, I don't think so.
How much you want to bet? Would you make out with me in the bathroom? I would like to do it when we're in private. Exactly. Yeah, in the bathroom. That's, that's private. private. <laughs> we won't be in. That's, that's not private. romantic. That's, that's not the, the setting. That is not the most romantic place for no. sex. <laughs> How many dates will you give us to him? Like, you know, yeah, everything. John, have you no pity on this girl? I, she's passed the lie detector test. No, I'm saying, but it's... No, but I'm sitting there thinking, John thinks she's one of the girls who would go out with him. <laughs> she's lost to go out with me, maybe she go out with John. <laughs> Vivian Guzman is on something called Moral Court, and I found out something fascinating about her. She was a uh, on a small show, and then she passed an audition, and she this was a big break for her. Yeah. I found that out there in the commercials. <laughs> no, but actually, you're very happy doing the show. I am. You like it's the show more. being part of the Moral Court family. Will the Moral Court be back next season? Oh, we're hoping so. She's got a great work schedule. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, they tape, and then she got Monday and Tuesday off. That's no, great. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, yeah. you tape. Mm -hmm. how, how long is the taping? Um, sometimes nine to two, and then Saturdays it's like a really long day. It's like nine to like six. Nice. But then you got how many days off? I know. <laughs> well, great. I can uh, come out and see you, Howard. It, beautiful. We could have quite Stacey's a. She's free. I know. She could be here. I know. Oh, oh, oh exactly. So, <laughs> never had a Hispanic princess before. My goodness, I'd. I'd like to get your hands on her. What did you say? You're not going to say anything? Ed, what are you doing? Ed's rubbing the microphone. Oh, Ed, calm down. Ed could be our chaperone, Vivian. <laughs> Vivian Guzman's on Moral Court. Check her out. Well, get on the microphone, He's Ed. now making fun. What is girl. I'm originally from Brooklyn. I mean, I, I was born in Dominican Republic, and I'm half oh, Spanish. Oh. But I uh, came here when I was a month old, and I was raised in Brooklyn, Sunset Park, in oh. Bensonhurst. Boy, Ed's fascinating. Look at him. He is a mover and a shaker. You, you are horny, aren't you? <laughs> I don't have to ask Ed a lie detector question. She, she's attracted to you, Howard. She is. Yeah. You can and, come and, and you're attracted to her. caliente, Howard. <laughs> Buenos caliente? What did you say? Me pones caliente. Oh, muy bien. Uh, uh, me sabia se... Uh, what is that? You make me hot. Really? Mm -hmm. Let me just say to you, mis obvious te pesca en la cocina. Well, that's not a nice thing to say. Oh. <laughs> Howard es no maricón. Howard, uh, Howard muy es macho. Ma muy macho. Muy macho. Muy macho. And uh, uh, Vivian oh. es uh, muy bonita. Ay, gracias, Howard. Y, 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 sí. Tú también estás sabrosa. How you say, uh, I'd love to bang you like a Christmas piñata? <laughs> Well, anyway, Vivian, we'll check out the moral court. I have a gift for you. You do? Yeah. Oh, you do. <laughs> <laughs> is it a cookie? <laughs> Let me see what that is. Oh, you are a charming girl. <laughs> I can't believe you're letting her leave. Well, what am I going to do? No. Oh. You should go out with her. Oh, she gave you a i got to do the rest of the show, don't I? I I'm not saying right now. you got the rest of the day. Well, I'm going to talk to her in private. <laughs> yeah, right. Read well, it. this is a beautiful moral court gavel. I was You've hoping... always wanted to be here, Howard. Yes, I was hoping for a fuzzy taco. <laughs> Me, me, but I wrote for you. I dedicated it to you. You wrote, um, bang, you bang you. this and remember me. Love this. Yes. <laughs> what do you think of that, Ed? How romance is in the air. Come on. Ed. Come on. Ed, Ed, come on. You can't let her leave. Hey, now. <laughs> Well, you are a beautiful Don't girl. Let her just walk Let's out. Go back down to the Dominican Republic. What is it, Ralph? <laughs> Dude. What? How are you? Yes. Stop the show and just leave with us. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Walk yeah, out you right know, now. You know Ralph's work ethic. Yeah. Yeah. What's the What's matter with you? How dare you? This is a good girl. <laughs> Very good. Yes. Dominic, she passed the test. I don't. Uh, listen, I'm not challenging you, a nice looking guy, but let me ask a question, Ed. Can your emotions affect the test? Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait, Dominic. Ed is giving Vivian his business card. And <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Ed's looking at me going, hey, if she likes him, she could possibly go for him. <laughs> is that what it is? Maybe you're putting for the test. Yeah, I know. Ed's got the like this. All right, listen. Uh, Ed, I want to thank you. You are the uh, polygrapher to the stars. Thank you. Uh, Ed Torian. Call Torian Investigations at one 800 Nine three four three two four one, and he too can test any potential girls that you might have in your life and find out. Do that for me. Yeah, this is a big business. That's right. It's a big business. <laughs> what card are you giving her? You give her two cards. I'm confused now. Yeah. What, are you, what, what are you doing? Oh, oh, okay. oh yeah. Yeah. Mexico. You know he's got uh, cards for all countries. <laughs> I didn't work for the Dominican police. I love you. I want to marry you. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> Ed, who I shot Kennedy? Oh. Well, you are lovely, Vivian. Oh, Believe me. Thank you, Howard. There's no question about it, and I uh, wish you luck with moral court. And you thank gotta you. got to watch my show. I'm definitely going to watch them. Um, in New York, both in L.A., at 11 o'clock in the morning. And what is it, Rob? Yes. What do you want? Howard, yeah. listen to me. Yes. If you don't go out with this woman, <laughs> you are out of your mind. I don't want to hear that you got kids. I don't want to hear that you got mixed boys. Give this woman the gavel. Give it to her tonight. Have a go. Thank you. Thank well, you. let me tell you something. You and I are the hot couple here in New York. Yeah, no I want to be it. reading about you tomorrow. That's right. <laughs> You'll be reading about us in the paper. Scandal. Mm. World court reporter. <laughs> well, Vivian, thanks. we got to take a break. Mr. Chi is stopping by. Don't run into him because he'll steal you from me. Okay. I don't want him doing that. Nobody can steal me from you, Howard. Really, I'm your first love and all the right. love. Well, thank you, sir. Oh, my God. Ed, will you be quiet? Ed, 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 you're reading the moment. Ed's moaning. We <laughs> have to ask you to leave. He's moving in on my girl. <laughs> Here, take my car. Take this car. Take the five business cards. <laughs> we'll be back right after these words. You are safe. It's the Howard Show. Uh, hey, uh, so what's going on in the uh, lie detector room? Well, I'm hoping by this time everybody's done and then they're ready for uh, for us. Let me take a look in there and see what's doing right in the green room. Big day. Are you nervous? Oh, yeah, I, see, I see Ed Torian in there. I told him to study over his results. He's studying results. No, Howard. Homo, not homo. Did you go yet? Yeah, but the hardest part about the test, he'll go, you know, you know, what's your first name? And then you say John. You know, he goes, hey, hey, is your first name John? And you go, yes. And you go, and he goes, have you ever performed made a little guy? It's like, you know, it's like, it's like jumping up. And why don't I go in and have Ed do me next? All right. Should I, should I do that? Yes. During the commercial, should I get hooked in? If you want, aren't you? As long, you want to be ready to do it on the air, though. Yeah. We want to hear your questions answered yeah. on the air. All right, why don't I just walk over there now? All right. You and Casey should do it on the air. Uh, we're all going to do it on the air, except for uh, a couple of you guys who went ahead just so it wouldn't take forever. I know. So what should I do? Should I? How should we work this? Well, it'll take you a second to get hooked up. I mean, you go walk right over. Are right, you guys kill time while I do it? Doesn't, don't you have to hey, do it? Can I do a rap? rap? No, no, no. We're we're rap? Hello, guys are killing some time. <laughs> oh, cabby rap? Hey, Howard. My name is Howard. Cabby. I'm going to take the test. I really love penis. It's the best. Here's a trick. It involves your dick. <laughs> Ask me for my email address. So give us the no, Tammy, no, no, it's all, you'll be, you'll be, you'll, you'll be swamped. I can't believe that you told him not to email you, and he's still emailing. <laughs> can't believe you told him not to be crack, and he's a crack. Yeah. <laughs> told him not to be a homo. He's a homo. All right, come on. Let me go over there. Now, what are you guys going to do while I walk over? Well, you're going to be hooked up. We can yeah. talk to you. Yeah, it'll take you 20 seconds to get over there. Get all right, I'll put this up. Oh, Gary, have you, have, you, have, you, have, you, have you taken the test? No, I'm going to take it. Uh, it's going to be uh, me, Casey, Cabby, Howard, Fred. A couple of people will take it. All right, what you hearing in the... Uh can you hear me? Yes. What you're hearing in the background is uh, Ed Torian. Oh, okay. You got that up. Hey, Howard. Who's Did you go to the bathroom or anything? Because uh, I had to. I had to. I had to go to the bathroom. He said I should have told him that. You think that would have? <laughs> he said I should have told him that. No. Yes, it's very low though. That's not on. I don't hear it. It's not on. It's not on. I can hear you. Yeah, you hear me? No, no yeah, that yeah. didn't do anything. I'm gonna put it on a my board. Yeah, we need headphones on. Oh my goodness, I'm hearing fifty voices. Toyin, and I'm the best. <laughs> Is uh, Howard on now? Uh, yeah. Yes, you are. There we go. Come on. Hey, Ed. Oh, how you doing? <laughs> Why don't they put up the screen? I would like oh, to see. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, John. What are you laughing at? <laughs> hey, let's see what happens. Well, Stupid ass. Because I, I think you fail it off. You can put no, you same question. Somebody gave me different questions. Who gave me different questions? Oh, my goodness. No. What? Let's all calm down. No reason to be nervous, Howard. Right? As long as you have nothing to hide. Exactly. <laughs> Who gave you different questions? Whoever handed it. Somebody handed it. Did you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm sitting in the chair. you got to hook me up, Ed. Who gave you different questions, Ed? What questions? You get the same questions as everybody. No, those are cabbies. That's just this for cabbies. Same questions for everyone. Somebody gave me this. That's for cabbie, Ed. All right. Hey, get a microphone on me. Hook me up, baby. 
Okay. Somebody help that out. That's how we'd work it around here. John just said he thought you were going to fail. <laughs> no. John? Ow. Oh, my goodness. I think we're all going to fail. <laughs> John's running. Ow, ow. What do you got in my hair here? Ah. No, right okay. away, Howard's in distress. Oh, my God. Every time I take a lie to take the test, they kill me. <laughs> I'll come help now, you, is, Howard. The is that going to be the reason you fail this up? <laughs> the problem is it takes a long time to hook somebody up. That's why I, I don't know. like doing these on the air. But that's why I was saying, why don't you go get set up and we do a commercial. Scott, you just sit in the chair and make sure you're relaxed, okay? <laughs> Would you help me here? You see this problem? He can hook you up. I don't know what the hell. No, it's, it's my headphones are hooked into Ed's wires. How you don't that see that? Your headphones are right here. <laughs> yeah, we know. Oh, uh, I got a crew robbing. You wouldn't believe. But how does that happen? Fifty people go in and take the Ray test with no problem. Okay. Here we go. Just yeah, cooperate. You, have to move for me. you know what you got to do, Howard? What? Do me a favor. Take that shirt off. I was going to say, see, you're wearing too many clothes <laughs> to get a good result. And then after that, hold on to this. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then says, I'll take mine off, too. All right. It's my not, shirt is off. All right. Let's do it. Off. We're both naked. <laughs> right. My headphones in the way there, Ed? I'm not good. Uh, you're fine. You're fine, Howard. Okay. Right, go ahead. You know, it looks like you're having a gay experience right now. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of gay. I think this is a gay experience. Is this okay that this wire is underneath this? Underneath my chest? <laughs> Slide your pants off real <laughs> Take you my know what? Off. Wait a minute. Does Ed know what he's doing? I think Ed is nervous where he yeah, can help. Don't Howard. help me at all. Yeah, Howard touches the people. Open up the headphones so I can hear Robin. <laughs> um, I, think, I think Ed is nervous working with you for the first time. <laughs> okay, now cough. Open up the headphones so I can hear. <laughs> don't give them to me. Don't give them to me, Ed. Howard looks like he's being robbed. My staff is... My man are up. Okay, now my turn. <laughs> All right, Ed. I'm okay. putting my headphones on, Robin. Are you now ready? Uh, All right. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Get close to me, Howard. <laughs> Put your head on my lap. All right, right. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. <laughs> no. What do you think of that Ed tattoo, is, Ed? Ed is putting... <laughs> Ed, how do you like my tattoo? Hey, it's great. You like that? <laughs> nice, right? <laughs> That's you, Navy. That's right. Oh, my goodness. No, it means I'm gay. Ed looked at my dragon tattoo and thought it was U.S. Navy. <laughs> All right. If for those of you just tuning in, I'm about to take a lie detector test to question my sexuality. I am not afraid. Ed I know I'm straight. more connections to make. All right. Ed is still connecting me. Is everything fine? Or is it too tight? No. Ed's much better at this. The guy who gave me a lie detector the other time he made it too tight, and it screwed me up. Ed is gentle. Yeah, this is good. That is good. Yes. All right, here we go. All right, okay. We're, you're in there. All right, Ed. Before we take the test, go ahead. Do I want to talk? Yes, I want to say one thing. What? I am straight. <laughs> here we go. Despite whatever this test says. Here we go. Everyone, please quiet down. Now, Howard, no did, jokes. Howard, right. don't you think you should take your headphones off? Will you be affected listening? Yeah, will you be affected listening to us laugh? Just don't say anything, and then we'll be fine. Oh, we've got to be quiet. Right. All right, you want me to take my headphones off, Ed? Yeah. 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 All right, I'll take them off. Can you hear what I'm... I'm fine. Go ahead. He can hear you. All right, if you want to close your eyes, you can close your eyes. You can relax, Ben. No, I don't need to relax, but go ahead. You can close your eyes. How can I relax when I have a crew like this? All right, go ahead. Okay, now try not to move for a minute. Howard, just look straight ahead. That's it. You're going to feel a little bit of pressure in your arm. Uh-oh, that's right. a bad thing. It's going to be like that for a minute or so. Now, try not to move. All right. You're doing good, Howard. Don't, Don't say anything, Howard. Just... You're great. Not great. That's it, buddy. Oh, he just touched it. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Ed's <laughs> never ready. I, know. <laughs> I want to kiss your neck. <laughs> He's a professional. <laughs> All right, are we starting this, Ed? Is your first name Howard? Yes. <laughs> John, be quiet. Do you live in New York State? Yes. He's lying. <laughs> Look at the smile. Is today Tuesday? <laughs> yes. All right. Now hit him with the hit him with the axe. <laughs> Is this the month of March? Yes. <laughs> you had to think about that. 
Have you ever received or given oral sex to another man? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Have you ever given or received anal sex from another man? No. Have you ever touched another man's penis in a sexual way? Yes. Oh! See, that question wasn't asked right. Oh, stop it. Other than the, what we discussed on the air when I was a little kid, someone, you know, maybe do that. That's coming. That's, that's, question again. that's coming. Uh, Other than... He can't hear All right, we'll, go, we'll give you a second question, just on that question, okay? Which, all right, all right. We're not going to ask you anymore about that. All right, all right. All right. Because I think to upset you. All right. <laughs> Are you sexually attracted to men? No. Especially the ones in this room. Uh-oh. I don't know what any of these mics went off the chart. <laughs> Aside from what you discuss on the air, are you holding anything back about gay sex? No. <laughs> no, it looks pretty steady. Yeah, he's fine. What do you, you think? Mind? You've read the answer that all the truthfully. Yes. Hey, if Ed can do it, anybody can. <laughs> okay. All right, Ed, I have completed my test. I'm going to put my headphones back on. That is all right with you. That's great. And you should have found that I am 100% truthful. If you did not, then there's something wrong hey, with you. Keep your test. mouth shut. <laughs> should I tell you now or later? No, you should save the result. Don't tell me yet. Although okay. I'm dying to know. <laughs> By the way, that was the best lie detector test anyone has ever done. Who hasn't gone yet? Robin, how did I do? Uh, you you did what most people do. You start explaining instead of keeping right. to yes or no answers. Well, no, I thought that Ed, I thought Ed didn't have the right question, what we had discussed. Okay, people that need to go. But, it, but Ed did have it right. Ed yeah. had it right. He yeah. had it Ed right. Ed had it right. Howard, people who need to go are uh, Casey, Sanji, Cabby, myself, and Fred. All right, maybe and Ralph. Could, so let's take a commercial break and put those guys under. Okay. And put them in the lie detector, and then we'll announce the results when we get back. Yeah. Okay. I think that's what we ought to do. Right, Ed? Yeah, 100% right. Uh, Ed is working hard today. Thank you, Ed. Ed is a major part of the show Ed's now. Exhausted. Ed's exhausted from this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Relax, Ed. Can't go home. All right. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Alice. I would take you a commercial sign break at this you point. Sign a release. Sign a release. All right. Sign a release. Sign a release. Sign a release. Hey, hey. Hey. He's doing a good job. Tom, you're on the air. Hey, how are you? Hey. I think all you guys are going to fail. You're a whole bunch of bags. Oh, we're going to find out in a minute, man. Especially Baba Booey. I think Baba Booey's definitely going to fail. You want to know why? Why? Remember a long time ago what his wife used to do to him in the back door? Right. Well, tell me she didn't maybe use the pocket rocket back there, too, which would make him a <laughs> homo. As a matter of fact, I see on the TV screen that Gary's getting hooked up right now. Well, this gentleman brings up an, an issue. Have you ever had anything like that happen to you? I told you, when I was 19, I was with a, uh, no, 18, I was with a girl, Polish girl, started to fiddle. Yeah. And I clenched up. I couldn't <laughs> couldn't deal. Okay. That's not for me. Someone posed a question to me, Howard. It's uh, you guys call it gay for a man to have a sexual experience with, with a man. man. Yeah. Yeah, that's but, gay. You call me gay, but when a woman you're gay, Ka no, Kathy. No, no, no. When but a Kathy. woman has a lesbian experience, she's a lesbian. She goes back and she's with her man. She's not a lesbian. No, she's a lesbian. She's just being with guys because that's what you know. That's how she's got her meal ticket. Trust me. Oh. Dude. No, we're clear on it. Yeah. All right, here goes Ed Torian. He's, he's with Baba Booey. Did you go, you went, Ralph? You went? Ralph just went. He's I heard plunked. Ralph's uh, needle was all over the place. Yeah, we heard your needle was all over the place, dude. I, I saw the needle. Sure it, yeah, it looks a mess. <laughs> it looked confused like you. I'm sitting there, you know, and like everything, like, I don't know. As soon as he gets those questions, I just, I, you tense up? I tense, I get yes. all nervous. What do you start, think that means? I don't, I, I don't know. I'm just nervous that I'm going to fail. <laughs> all right, Garrett Mababui's on the stand. Let's listen yes. in. Have you ever received or given oral sex to another man? No. He's laughing. <laughs> Those big lips. <laughs> oh my. Have you ever given or received anal sex from another man? No. Yeah, 
Oh, look at that needle going wild. Well, you should see mine. That's nothing. Oh, really? Oh, Have you ever touched another man's penis in a sexual way? Yes. Oh. I know. Well, you know he had a molestation story. Well, he didn't have to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, he did. Are you sexually attracted to men? No. Uh-uh. Uh oh <laughs> so some kind of check mark. Aside from what you discussed on the air, are you holding back about gay sex? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, another check. Would you like to see my penis? <laughs> <laughs> They answered the truth. <laughs> yes. I know how you could beat these. Just lie throughout. <laughs> All right. Were you Were you watching? We didn't see yours. We didn't see yours. Oh, oh, oh. No. What was your Was your needle yeah, off the hook? Done it on the, should have done it on the ring. I looked at Ed. Looked at me like I'm he's sorry for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Who's left, Casey? Okay, Sammy. I just got to sign. You know. Okay. 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 Yeah, I think uh, John is gone. Fred, um, did Fred go? Why don't we bring in Ed and get the results now, and then um, and then the rest of the people can go. All right, well, who else is left? I'll tell you who's left. Fred's left. I might have to go again. <laughs> Cabby, Cabby has to go, but we have different questions for Cabby since he's admitted to stuff. Stuttering John, did you go yet? Yeah, he went. You went? Yeah, but if you, know, if you bring him in and get the results, then he can't be taking the people's test. <laughs> yeah, but he'll get some more results. Let's hear some now. <laughs> And then let's hear the rest of the yeah, people. Let's, John's to go further. let's see if we can flush out a few gay people. John, right go now. tell Gary I want to get Ed in with the results okay. so far. Okay. Then I'll do the turkey caller dudes who are here, and then the rest of the we'll people get can get up. tested. <laughs> I want to hear Casey's test, though. I want to hear <laughs> My needle and Ralph's needle was off the board. Though, so You're probably gay, John. <laughs> yeah. Me and John are going to go gay John. tonight. Big gay John. <laughs> I want to hear Cabby's test and Casey's test. Yeah, yeah. We're going to put those ones on the air. Yeah, well, you know, I, no, I'll, let, let's see what happens. Well, Everybody's trying to explain it. Now. Yeah. Oh, but, 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 uh, but wait a second. Cabby brought up a good point. He was just saying something about. Like, well, now like, Cabby has a good point. Now, finally, finally. <laughs> finally. yesterday he had no good point. No, like exactly. you consider like you know like I know a lot of like stripper type girls who go with chicks and they but they're into guys but they go with chicks. Do you consider them lesbians? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Even if they've only like a married but woman, are they? They're not. Rob, what are you trying to say? Have you gone with a guy? No, no, I haven't. I'm just. Uh, so what are you worried about? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Have I'm you not, ever I'm touched? Not. Have you ever touched a man? No. Okay. Yes. Oh, you yeah. have. Yes. Oh. In a sexual way? <laughs> well, no, it wasn't sexual. We were like, I was like in grade school. Like, all right. Like aside from grade. that, have you done anything? No. Okay. So then, what are you worried aside about? Aside from grade school, <laughs> because he, that wasn't like, like you know, that wasn't yeah, really it was clear. Oh, it was very clear. But I didn't talk have about it. Yeah. Here comes Ed Torian. Oh, right. Let's, this you is the man. Was a man, but, or was a woman? Ed, you can no. sit on my lap no. if you'd like. <laughs> Ed, I know you haven't tested everyone. There's three more people to go, but I'm interested. Okay. All right. There's three more people to go. But I'm interested in what you have so far, okay. results-wise. Okay. All right. Uh, All right. Yeah. Ed, I'm going to ask you a question first. <laughs> Ed, I'm going to ask you a question first. Yeah. Go ahead. Are some people, don't say who, right. are some people lying about their sexuality? Yes. Okay. Ah! Yeah. 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 Now, Craig, you took the test, too, did you not? No, I didn't take the test. Oh, no, Craig didn't darn. take it. Why is that redemption for you, Kathy? Because, you know, all these people, you guys sit there, you call me gay, blah, 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 but some, some truths are going to come out wrong. Right. Right. I'm, not, I'm not saying that anything this is, any of this is truthful. Oh, of course <laughs> not. I think before, everybody was saying, oh, yeah, okay, I'll take the test, no I'll problem. Take it, I took the test, and I'm telling you I'm straight, and I bet you that test is going to prove I'm straight. You know I, I failed it once, I'm going to fail it again. What? <laughs> I believe you. I Watch believe you. me. Watch me. I believe you and I believe you. Victorian will prove me right. Okay. All right. All right. Do you want to believe that I'm straight? Who would you like first? All right, Gary, what do you suggest we go with first? Well, who do you, who do you got here? All right, let's start with Stuttering John. Stuttering John. Yeah. All right. I think that his is going to be pretty... Okay. Well, that's Scott. Oh, I can't wait to hear Scott the pace. Uh, uh, Stuttering John. So that's my signature. <laughs> Okay. All right, get get the mic right on Ed's face. I don't want to lose a word that he says right now. Okay. You're the star of the show today, Ed. <laughs> okay. Sure. All right, go ahead. All right. Okay, now, <clears throat> excuse me. John, uh, when I asked him, uh, what's the number four? number four? He took a deep breath. Okay, number seven is, have you ever touched a man's penis in a sexual way? He was deceptive on that. He failed that question. Uh-oh. Right. Get out of here. Right. And we were talking about you know, my own penis. And then, uh, and 12 was, have you answered all questions truly? In between, 
touching another man's penis to the last question, he, he was uh, deceptive. On all the questions. Wait, 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 wait there's wait, only wait. nine questions. No, I mean, on, just only on seven he was deceptive. Only on one. Only on one. I was probably thinking about my own penis. Oh, no. Sure. Another man, it says. Oh, another another, man, another, another man. man. Do you think of your penis as another man's yeah, he penis? Was, he, he was all right, so one question. That's not bad. All right, so right, you have... Good. But so, you have so touched one the guy. No, but I'll take that. I think somebody think that dead. In other words, so I'm happy to say you touched me. All right, let's go to Ralph. Next, let's go to Ralph. Next, from when I looked over and uh, took a look, I think I'd be happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to Ralph. Okay, Ralph. Oh, go ahead, Ed. You're doing good. Okay. John, get your hand off my leg, John. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, when I asked him the question number six is, "Have you ever given or received anal sex from another man?" He just like moved out. He completely moved. I couldn't get any reading on that at all. I couldn't get any reaction. Ralph, well, what does that mean? I what does that mean? He got really nervous. Well, wait, 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 wait. What do you mean he you couldn't get any reading? It's APM. It says person moved. You moved on that question. Well, yeah, you said because I moved my arm and then you told me not to move. No, I told you not to move. He did that on purpose. He's been reading past. Right. past lighted so what are you right. saying? No, he I tried to avoid the know, question. Distort the testing. Man. We'll get him back in there then. Yeah, I'll do it again. What else? What else, Ed? <laughs> I'll tell you the same thing till I pass it. Number, all right. Ted, Go ahead. Number eight is, are you sexually attracted to men? Uh -oh. He was deceptive. Ah! 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 You did I pass yeah. any of them? Oh, that's your best friend, Howard. Okay, what about, so that's only two. Oh, number nine. <laughs> number nine. Those are two bad ones. I'm Hold. holding back about gay sex. Right. He was deceptive. Ah! Ah! I, mean, I said there was something that happened when I was in grade school that I never really yeah. talked about. Uh, it. What happened? So let me take it again. <laughs> let me go again. What happened in grade school? Wait, there's more. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Ed Torian has not finished. Oh, well, well, no, like, oh my God. Besides those two questions. Eight and nine. Uh, I couldn't get any uh, reaction to number six. Is uh, have you ever given or received an on sex from another? Ah! You already said that. Wait, what? He moved. All yeah. right, all right. right but wait, you wait, have wait, to wait. Really take the test. Yeah, and the sentence. Don't argue. Let me take you got it. it. Was it was vague on the key question? Because he moved. But you are deceptive about gay sex. And no, he's attraction deceptive to men. about his attraction to men. Right. Yes. Right. Wow. Dude, you're attracted to guys. I'm not. I knew yes, it. you are, I'm Ralph. Not. Admit it. I'm not. You are. All right. Dude, <laughs> Dude you are. The test on line. Yeah, but come on. Look at Eddie. All right, Ed, what do you got now? Now we're up to Benji. And let me tell you, there's markings all over this page. All right, let's go to Benji. Benji was deceptive on his name. He was deceptive where he lives. He was deceptive on Tuesday. He was deceptive on March. He was just a month of March. Right. Uh, have you ever touched another man's penis? <laughs> Are you sexually attracted to men? He's deceptive. Yeah, Benji's gay. Wait, 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 wait. When you said, "Is it my name, Benjamin?" I said, "Yes." But you no, were just saying that's a lie. I asked you if your first name right. was Benji, and then you said, "No, it was Benjamin." Right. I asked you if it was Benjamin. Uh, you failed. Okay, my name's really Kip. I mean, <laughs> all right. I've been hiding all these years. That's not my real name. What is your real name? It's Kip. Is it Kip? That's because he's really? sticking. Are you serious? No, it's just stick again. Are you doing stick or are you being for real? Am I doing stick? It's Where's your driver's stick. license, stupid? No, I, I, I'm saying, no, my name's Benjamin. He, you know what? He can't even yeah, be real. I was being real. Itself. Ed Torian, it's just proof. Yes, how was, how was, how, how did he, you know, that's the question. How, did he, when they, how do you fail March? How do you how fail Tuesday? Tuesday? How did he fail Tuesday, Ed? I don't understand. <laughs> guy's got a problem. <laughs> what about the sexuality stuff? Well, from 7 through 9, which is, have you ever touched another man's penis? Uh, are you sex, sexually attracted to men? And aside from what you discuss on the air, are you holding back anything about gay sex? Right. And he was deceptive. And you know what? It makes sense, Ed. I'll tell you why. The guy says to me the other day, uh, you know what? For a couple million dollars, I'd have uh, gay sex for a year with a man. You said you'd do it too, Howard. No, I wouldn't. No, no, I never no, said that. For 90 million, you would. said he no. did it once for 90 million, so, okay. Howard. So, so that's, that's and you'd have to tie me up and yeah. sedate yeah. me. with the guy for a year. You said you were ready to live with a guy for a year. Howard, for, for a million. A life mate. Howard, Benji, a million. Yeah, yeah, you said for 300,000. Yeah. Right, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next Let's up. go to Ed Torian. Next up is Howard Stern. Howard Stern. Well, the key question. Let's we'll say Howard Stern. Drum roll. Anything circle. below five minutes. I guarantee you I'm a man. Go ahead, Ed. I think you're attracted to me. You're a man. No, I said, you asked me, did I ever touch another man's penis? I said yes. Well, yeah, you said yes. So if I, if I was deceptive, I was lying, so I haven't. 
Uh, See, I admitted that I had. I told you when I was six years old, a boy asked me to touch it. I didn't. I knew it was wrong, and I walked away. So I answered truthfully. All right, you answered truthfully. But you said you yeah. touched well, it. Didn't. Thing says you were deceptive. Yeah. Right. All right. So then I was deceptive. So it shows it doesn't work. No, it does work. Went on there. Wait a minute. Go ahead, Ed. Go ahead, Ed. Continue. You touched a man besides that. That's the other question. Is that the only one you ever? That's the only one. Right. Because the next one, are you sexually attracted to men? You were truthful with that. What did he say? I said no. <laughs> I'm truthful. Of course I'm not. All right. I'm a hundred percent. I'm so heterosexual. <laughs> Bend over, Robin. <laughs> Me and you. Huh? Am I right? You're, You're right. right. Is, is there any deception on there? You got a questionable mind. There is all the all the place. No. Ed, is there any deception on there? No. No. I am a hundred percent. You A hundred percent man. You bet. Yeah. Just barely. I, I you that. pay. I, it wasn't yeah. you. I was questioning. Of course. Look at me. Who's gonna? What guy's gonna be with me? It was the huge homo bulbs in this room, Benji. Oh, All right. Now the one I'm really concerned about is our director, Scott DePace. This is gonna blow your mind, huh? Wait, wait, Scott, come on in here. No, this is Scott, big. come on in here. And this is Mr. Republican. This is Mr. Way. Republican. This is I don't like gay people. I don't want a gay kid come over my pass. You are so sure that you pass. We're gonna find out in a minute. Uh, Jeff, you claim to be Scott DePace's roommate from college. I live next door. You live next door, yeah. Where'd you hear? Well, I can only say that he never had a girl in the room. Huh. There was always tons of guys in the room. Ah. Ah. Everybody's had, gone through a dry spell. Had great party. <laughs> All right, let me let me ask you something, Scott. You have said on the air many times you are not comfortable with homosexuality. You wouldn't be in a foxhole right. with a gay guy. Yeah, you said that. Right. Say that. Okay. All right. Want to be. All right. Now let's find out why you're so afraid of gayness. Uh, I am going to bet right now that you flunk this lie detector test. Well, I'll bet I'll that. I'll bet you that yep. I'm not gay. I guarantee you that you have some gay thoughts no, and no. experience. Because I've never seen a guy. I have issues. No. I've never I seen a guy. Yes, it is. Scott, you have. I'm in Cabby and Ralph put together. No way. No way. I'll tell you something. You're as gay as Cabby. Let's go to Victoria. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. When I got up to question number six, have you ever given or received anal sex from another man? He, like, jumped. I mean, he completely moved. Uh, right. Yeah. Well, who couldn't... wouldn't? <laughs> All right, so then go ahead. So I couldn't get any uh, reaction to that. So, so he was deceptive. To... Yeah, go so ahead. Then I went to number seven is, have you ever touched another man's penis in a sexual way? He moved again. You know, I told him to stay still. He hey, got, now. Uh, you know, he got like... Uh, He's he afraid. the test. Yeah. Right. right. Go ahead. Go ahead at number then... eight. Are you sexually attracted to men? And, uh, he, no, he wasn't. Let me see on that one. No, he passed that. Right. <laughs> he passed that. I don't think he is. I think I'm, I'm straight. Happy. Yeah, but for some reason, I gotta say he something. had gay sex in this one. I gotta tell you right. something. Yeah. On that question, number seven, uh, six and seven, for some reason, I mean, he just, like, jumped. I mean, it was, uh... Because he's nervous about answering it, because yeah, something must have happened. I Listen, I was the first one to go. What about number nine? Shocking. Are you... Uh, shocking? You know what it was about. You. Are you... De it says here, aside from anything you discussed on the air, are you holding anything back about gay sex? Was he truthful? He was truthful. All right. Howard, uh, okay. I'm betting. I'm betting these people who jumped during the thing. I got some... Somebody sent me uh, uh, information on lie detector tests. I bet if you take his shoe off, he's got a tack in there. No, that doesn't work. Nah, that doesn't work. Wait, is there anyone else left? Last one is last one is me. Okay, Gary Delabate. I believe you're gay. Definitely. Gary, I tell you. I don't think Gary's gay. Gary, for some reason. Gary's effeminate, not gay. Number seven is: Have you ever touched another man's penis? And I said yes. He said yes. But I think you were lying about that. No, I think you know what? I don't think I was lying about it. I think I was just if if it measures your heart beating. Yeah, all that stuff. I'm You're very nervous. uptight about it. Wait, you get excited thinking about it? No, I get nervous. And tell me something. Have you ever touched a, a number seven? All right. Uh, a number eight, rather. Are you sexually attracted to men? What was the answer? Told me nobody was deceptive. Oh. He was deceptive. I knew it. I know you're into guys. <laughs> and Gary, says, Gary, what, what about what later? about number six? Have you ever given or received anal sex from another man? Well, he passed that. That was. And what about the oral sex? What about number five? Have you ever received or given oral sex? He was good about that. He okay. That. And, and what about attracted. number? And what about number nine? Aside from what you discussed on the air, are you holding anything back? He was deceptive. He's deceptive. Well, he's no. holding back you. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. Ed, did, did I fail on both oral and anal, or yeah. just on oral? No. You, you, didn't you moved. Fail either. You moved. You kept you, on moving. You made it impossible to get a reading because you're so uptight about it. Yeah. You failed right. on a track. You're such a homophobe. I only you moved move. once, though. Right. I, I didn't move more than once. No, you moved twice. I took a deep breath, though. It, I mean, it, it, Whatever. You, yeah. I mean, you're not supposed to. I don't wait. Wait. I got a question. I want to take this again. Are you? 
because I feel that thing around my arm, and then when he asks a question, then like... You notice how you're a pain in the ass that you can't even take a lie detector test? Did you notice that I sat there and answered all the questions? I know. I know. You can't even do this. I don't know. I, Dude, I, go in like a man for once in your goddamn life. Yeah, and put the thing around your arm and say, you know what? Here's the answer. Yes, no, yes, no. Ralph, well, just tell us that you like guys. And hey, what what is it, Al Pacino's baby? I have a question for the uh, gentleman who sounds like he's got completely dirty. Yeah. I want to know, are you telling me that besides Howard, I got flown out here to New York to be surrounded by a bunch of fairies? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, All of these guys have this sex issues but me. What was John's? John? No, he said that I breathe deep on the touch of man's penis. Uh, but, I mean... But oh, oh, please. Homo. Uh, Ed? <coughs> yeah. Okay. Because you breathe deep, that means that you're lying? All right, there's only a couple of guys left. We've got to get Casey in there. Casey and Cabby and Fred. All right, Casey, Cabby, and Fred are the only three left. Well, these guys are all afraid to take the test. And they're all afraid. So, Casey, what? Fred. Ed, why don't you go say Casey? You will once you share questions. <laughs> All right, you guys go finish up. Ed, thank you, and we'll wait for the results on these next three homos. Well, I just have to say, uh, Ralph has failed twice now. Yes. What yes. are you going to say now? You still going to tell me no. he's straight? He's gay. He has gay thoughts. I'm not going to. I'm, I'm not saying gonna he ain't acting. I'm not gay at taking tests. Howard, I just wait, he's like, I can't take it. It's uh, he, I don't I'm understand what I'm supposed to do. It doesn't work. How does that thing know if you're lying? It, it, it knew ben, I was ben, telling the truth. Benji lied about it being Tuesday in March. So uh, how can no, because be? Benji is a wise ass to the end. That's why he's never going to ever work on this show. He's never going to make it. Ralph is like JFK Jr. taking the bar. He's just going to keep going and going and going until he's straight. Right, 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 right. I was not lying. I was absolutely, I was nervous about it, but I tried to tell the truth. Just answer the question. You lied about everything. You lied about everything. Okay, so but my name is Benjamin. I said yes. Look at the recording. You just said your name was Keith. I so don't care whether you're gay or straight, to be honest with you. I don't care either. either way not, I have nothing wrong with well, Who cares what you are? What he's into. Uh, I don't care what you're into. Nobody wants you. You know what? When we come back, also, Ed's got the results from uh, John's cab driver from this morning. We did him. Oh, him, oh we forgot about him. Yeah. Yeah. It does a homo. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's gay. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's with these turkey callers? Do you want to get to them while they're taking the rest of the test? All right, here we go. Let's go uh, bring up the microphone and listen to Ed Torian and Casey. Just chewing gums are off the result. Get rid of the gums. Would you like to wrestle me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Casey's going to go. Here we go. Okay, Casey. Just look straight ahead. Try not to move for a minute, buddy. Uh, that's it. Yeah, Try not to gum move. Thing. Oh, you got gum in your mouth. Right, I don't think Ed's trying to give it to him. <clears throat> Everybody calm down. Uh, that's it. <laughs> well, not to move, Casey. Just look straight at you. You're doing good, buddy. That's it. Would you like to give Why her... close your eyes? You can close your eyes, I don't Casey. I what you say. The hair on his face is gay. Yeah. Would you, would you like to give the gobby goo to Henry Rollins? <laughs> That's it, buddy. Just look straight at him. What's he done? Are we on the air with this? He's Casey, this is like taking the SAT again. Oh, he's going to pass out. He's going to Hey, look at him. You know, he could cheat to pass that one. All right. Okay. Okay, Casey, look straight ahead. If you want to close your eyes, you can close your eyes, Casey. Yeah. You can relax now that you way. You better turn off your brain. Casey, like I, we never close my eyes around another man. No, he's closing <laughs> All right, just look straight ahead. <laughs> Try not to move. Casey okay. looks relaxed. Gary, you're getting me now. What's your first name, Casey? Uh, Kyle, are you, Kyle Casey. Are you known as Kyle? Yes. I guess. Well, it's my oh, oh my he can't even get the. You see, this is what happens every time. Uh, all right. Let's throw out the question. Do you live in New York State? Yes. You have gay facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> is today Tuesday? Yes. Uh, I think Dan Marino has a nice ass. Yes. Is this the month of March? Yes. He doesn't even know. That's a lucky guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't asked him anything he knows so far. Okay. Think so. <laughs> Have you ever received or given oral sex to another man? <laughs> no. Oh, that sounded bad. That sounded bad. Look, I see that. Look at that thing move. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ed's, Ed's freaking out. I want the results right away. Casey um, in the house. He's, he's marking that it's deceptive. Yeah, you yeah, think so? Yeah. He put a little mark on it. Mm -hmm. be... Have you ever given or received anal sex from another man? No. <laughs> oh, point five his, on the his voice cracked. Oh. Check. Check. Oh, boy. Look, at, look at that meter going nuts. 
It doesn't prove anything. Hiking. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, my God. Have, have you ever touched another man's penis in a sexual way? No. Oh, look at that thing. It's off the hook. Knocking the other ones over. It, the, the needle is going wild. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Oh, my God. The, the needle just took horny goat weed. <laughs> went to Are you sexually attracted to men? No. Oh, watch the needle. Whoa. Oh, it's, it's, like it's, 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 it's actually... I don't know what that means, but it's pinning off the... I think he beat me. It knocked That's what's needle. called a galvanic skin response. A galvanic skin response. All right, well, keep, right. Going, keep going, Ed. Don't scare him. Don't listen to us. Aside from what you discuss on the air, are you holding anything back about gay sex? No. Oh, that's the needle. Look. Look, it can't I can't help it. It's funny. This guy is so oh gay. Oh, God. This guy is so freaking gay. <laughs> Let's buy him a dress. How all of us <laughs> yeah, Ed, give him a dress. Ed, give me the results right now if you can. Have right. you answered the truth? Yes. Look. No, no, no. I was laughing. Ah, uh, look at him trying to... Look at him trying to... Trying to, try to throw it up. Yeah. 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 Can I buy you a drink? <laughs> <laughs> Ed, give yeah. us the results right now. Ed's never coming back. Oh. Ed doesn't even want to sit in there, does he? <laughs> He's disgusted by this guy. <laughs> Did you have him sign that release yet? <laughs> yeah. Still sign the release, Casey. Yeah, he wants to give him the real results. <laughs> right. Give us the result right now, Ed. Okay. You got it right in front of you. All right, you have the questions in front of you. Which one? Okay, here we go, Ed. Number five. Have you ever received or given oral sex to another man? He was deceptive. Oh. <laughs> I saw the needle. Hey, I got a question. Right. And, and are there different levels of deception? Because it seemed like Casey's was a large level. Well, you know, Dude, he got worse as it went along. You know, when I it was, was laughing. Get the mic on it. You know, it bothers Casey. These questions bother him. Yeah. No, they don't know, bother me. I don't care. He just re, re you know. Is he lying very heavily? Uh, yeah, number six. Uh, number six he was. All right, number six. Have you ever given or received anal sex for another man? You're saying he said no. He's lying. Yeah, he's lying about that. <laughs> well, he's, uh, he's uptight about those questions. <laughs> Have you ever touched another man's penis in a sexual way? He said no. Right. Is he, he lying? He was deceptive. Deceptive. <laughs> Are you sexually attracted to men? What oh, he said, what, go ahead. Wow, that one is no doubt. He, he's he definitely he said, he said no, but he's deceptive. He's attracted to all sorts of men. All what sorts of men. Hey, Casey, what are you doing later? No, this, this, <laughs> aside from what you discussed on the air, are you holding anything back about oh, Casey? Definitely. He was deceptive on that one. Oh, he was. Yeah, definitely. You're a homo, Casey. Yeah. You right. failed every question. <laughs> you what did I tell you? So you see, you see me laughing, right? Hey, Howard. Yeah. How the girls that? in the office are going, oh, no, Casey's gay. Yeah, but well, <laughs> number one, he wets his bed. Number two, he has trouble getting it up for girls. That's it. He's gay. Yeah, stop. I'm not gay. gay. The I'm evidence is in. I'm telling you, look, I'm a, man really? of my, I'm a man of my word. I'm telling you, I'm not gay. All right. Yeah, you he just haven't done anything. Sign the release. Maybe. But if, if you even fail that on the test. Ed Torian has the results. Yeah. Ed Torian has the results of Fred and Cabby's homosexuality test. Well, let's get to it. I think we ought to bring him in. Uh, is Dominic. That, is that the gentleman I met outside? I almost beat up. <laughs> <laughs> he would not give you a lie detector. No, he wanted me to pay him five hundred dollars. What happened to Ed? He used to come in for free, and, uh, and nobody uh, offered him. Now it's um, a cash and carry. Give business. out his business cards. He's yeah, but the last time he was on, he was a little weird. Remember that with the girls? And yeah. Got excited? I mean, nah, he was. Great. He's always been great. Ed's a great he guy. He never complains when it's girls. I think it was because it was a bunch of guys. Was a bunch of homo. Right. Right. gay guys. Right. He, maybe he, he got excited. Mm. Push up on any boobies. Maybe Jackie got a hold of him. Don't hold out for some money. <laughs> you know, they make an awful lot of money there. Ed. What happened? You want to give Dominic a lie detector? You're getting uh, the. You did 10. You're tired. You're tired. It's too How much many work. What do you usually do in a day? No, I can do just so many. Okay. It wasn't <laughs> sex, it was a test. Yeah, I see. <laughs> Ed all of a sudden became a star. Not breaking oh, I remember in the old days. Yeah, he's not oh, taking a ditch yet. I remember in the old. <laughs> I remember in the old days. Ed Thorium was like a guy, hey, you want a lie detector? Yeah, whatever I give you one. And I remember when you called. Somebody, somebody got a hold of you. Who, me? Yeah, somebody gave you a talk. I sounds like Beatles. Who grabbed you in? No, one of your partner or something. Ed looks like a different guy. He's got his hair combed, new black suit shirt. Yeah. He used to call Howard Sir the first time you came. No, never, 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 never would do that. Never, a sir. Ed, let's go right to the tests. Okay. Okay. We're not going to get the truth out of Ed. First of all, with Fred. 
Okay, Fred, you got some problems. I knew it. I knew it. I, knew it. I called it. We didn't need you to tell me that. I called it. I called it. Does, has, does, he, does he have a gun? Do you have a gun on you? Please, Dominic, don't ruin my bet. It's a Dominic show. So what are Fred's problems? Uh, number first six. All, okay, first of all. Number five. Fred was deceptive on his first name. Oh, God. Right, well, because his is. name is Eric. He's confused. No, he, it's, uh, I asked him if it's Fred. And what did yeah, he say? he changed it. <laughs> he told me, yeah. <laughs> well, he was lying. Oh, he, his he real lying. name. His legal name is Eric. His real legal yeah, name so is Eric. Right. So does this right. prove that the test is right or what? Yeah. Uh, right, Freddie? Yeah, yeah it Casey. Doesn't. It just proves that I am confused yeah. about my name. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Ed, fabulous work so Very far. Okay. Number five, have you ever received or given oral sex to another man? What did Fred say? This one was, uh, number six. What number five. Right. Have you ever received the next a... one? He was deceptive on. I don't have the questions. With you. Number five. I'll give you the questions. Number Every number, number five. Seven. He wants to. He said the deceptive well, was number seven. Number seven. He's deceptive. I don't have the questions. Okay. Number seven. Know. Have you ever touched another man's penis in a sexual way? Right. He was deceptive on. That. Deceptive. Yeah. I never have. What about? Is yeah, that no. the only one he was deceptive well, on? No, no. When I finished that one. Go ahead. <laughs> Go, get the mic next to Ed, please. Number eight, whatever number eight is. Are you sexually attracted to men? Right, he was deceptive. He, he said was. no. I he laughed, was deceptive. actually, at that question. And he number lying. Yeah, that means you're lying. Number no, nine, doesn't. aside from what you discussed on the air, are you, holding anything, are you holding anything back no, about gay he, sex? He passed that. He passed that, okay. All right. That was no problem. So you feel he's deceptive, that he is attracted to men? <laughs> no, that's not what he said. Yes, uh, yes it is. Number not, eight, that's are you sexually attracted to men? And he said that you said uh, he is. you I'm are. Saying you are. I laughed at that question. Come on, Ed, speak the microphone. No, he, uh... He likes men. He likes men. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you. If you say so, Ed, I guess I'm doomed for life. Let's go to Crazy Cabby, who was the last person you did. Poor Cabby. Is he the only one left? We asked Cabby the following questions. I'm going to jump to number, um... Four. Is everything you said on the air about gay sex true? Number four. Well, that might be a different question for Ed. Oh, he was truthful about that one. He was. Number five is, uh, oh, wow. uh, number six, rather, are you gay? He was deceptive. He failed that question. I knew he was. Because he said no, but he is gay. He's gay. He's gay. <laughs> I'm not gay. <laughs> he told us on the air that his last gay experience was in 1996. Was your last gay experience in 1996? He said yes. And he was deceptive. He was deceptive. He's had others. Right. Uh -huh. Are you attracted to Howard Stern? How did he answer that? He, he said, uh, no, but he's attracted to me. Ah, yes. <laughs> I knew it. The dude, the dude calls me five times a day. Oh, yeah. He's attracted yeah. in a sexual way? Yeah. He's attracted. He's attracted. Oh, I'm, I'm attracted to your, to your whole thing, sure, man. Sure, sure. Have you ever told, and, and then finally, number nine, Ed, have you told us everything about your gay experiences? Uh, he, was, <laughs> right, Ed. he was deceptive, right? He was deceptive. Oh, he's got a lot more to tell you. He does. He does. He told them back I said that I never told. I, I no. said, have I told everything? I said no. Because yeah, you I haven't. haven't. You haven't. You haven't. No, and you've been having other gay experiences besides yeah. 1996. Hey, dude, admit it. I couldn't remember the exact year. It's been a while ago. Oh. Like a week. Dude, you are 100% homosexual. I can't even look at him now. He's like, Ed, is it fair to say, after a full show of this, that the only two guys who are sort of dealing in a real manly way is myself and Stuttering John? That's right. That's John it. only had one problem. Right. Touching oh, he's coming at <laughs> So the only guy, Casey was gay. We knew we knew that Cabby, right. Ka Kathy, whatever his name is, is gay. Yeah. But now it turns out he's even more gay than we thought. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ralph has gay issues. Fred has gay issues. It's exactly as I predicted oh, down the line. No. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. Thank you for here. I'm telling you, these guys are all. I'm sitting in a room full of homos. <laughs> I'm the only man here. Ed, you only only have man. uncovered something today. Like you would, wow. even like Ed's going to pass out. <laughs> See, this is a lot for him. You know what? Ed, was that what it was? It, oh, it was man. draining to you. It's not so bad when we have the girls in here, but when it's all the gay guys. Oh, God. Yeah, it's just talking. You know. All these fags. Because Ed's all man. Yeah. Has oh, Ed ever flushed out this many thing. gay guys in one city? You know, I can read the test. <laughs> Let's do Ed. Oh. I can read the test. Ed, Ed is all man. Oh, Ed Torian is all man. I wasn't deceptive. I just moved. <laughs> hey, Howard. Howard, uh, speaking of Tabby, one more thing. Angry Black showed up outside. He must be 
yell at him. Oh, no. Well, that's one thing, but Ed Torian, I want to thank you. Okay, yeah, well, yeah, from Torian Investigations. Right. Okay, yeah, well, thanks a lot. Thanks, Ed. Okay, you did a great job today. I know it was very taxing for you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks no, a lot. Get out of here. Yeah, there's a lot of gays in here. You know, if thanks you're a lot, in this room, Ed's afraid he'll be converted. Thank you, Ed. You know, We're gonna you give you, your career is not shot. You uncovered a lot of gayness, and there's nothing wrong with it. No, his wallet's just full. He's got to carry it. That's why he's exhausted. Uh, <laughs> you're going to sit in the middle of those guys' dominoes. <laughs> Get out of here, you. <laughs> Get out, Ralph. Homo. Big homo. <laughs> Ralph, hey, you're gay. Hey, Cabby. No, I'm, I'm not gay. That's ridiculous. I, Do you see how I can, am I gay at all works? I knew Fred had issues. Yeah. Well, I know ask you a question. That means you're gay. No, nope. because you surround yourself with gay men. No, nope. ah. yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. but you're one of the gay guys. You know what? You I'll tell you something. So you are so good at hiding. No, you are so good at hiding. No, I'll tell you the truth, Fred. I am. Fact, I, know, I know. I'm not gay. I never had these feelings or thoughts until you put them in my head. I knew you were gay like, no, no. when I saw you drunk and you had That's gay true. rich and you were loving him. Like oh, I yeah. never saw you uh -huh. be loving toward a man or right. woman. And I right. never, That's I didn't it. see that scene, but I you remember some, I Howard's remember. reaction was, but let's Fred's gay. I don't, I don't uh, by the way, I don't that, hold it against you. I love you. Oh, yeah. You're well, my brother. No, no, I'm right, right. I, have to how, I mean, Fred, how could you say Howard put these thoughts in your head? Because, because he's, he's so easily he's, manipulated. He's always the one that's like saying, oh, I think you're gay. I think you're gay. It's like, in your course, you can start asking questions. Jesus, you have gay feelings. Like, I rubbed the gay juju yeah, out of the hall again. All hall. the guys who are, listen, you know how you know I'm hetero? Beside everything else that I look heterosexual, I'm going to tell you something. You are? Yeah. I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> you look you do? I'm not uptight about gayness. It's not an issue for me. Then why do you bring it? Live and let live. No, it is an issue. Why do you bring it? No. I have to. I am not a homophobe. But right. wait a minute. Let's ask the following issue. I passed the test. I don't what? think you're hiding anything. I you? think you're uptight about it. Oh, I'm so uptight. I flunked the test. Right? Everybody who flunked out. You can't even. You can't even answer the questions if you're gay or not. You're so screwed up. I didn't say. I. I didn't say you had anything. You like Ed? I don't know how to take the test. What do I say? I'm just saying. I passed. Go ahead. You always hang around. With gay guys, yeah. Well, that's I, true. I you have no problem. You realize you were hanging around you, with so many gay guys. You tell the truth. Who knew they were all gay? They had I thought Tammy was straight. Was straight. Oh, hey, if you're not gay, then straight. let me bang you. <laughs> what? Father issues. My you know, father and I get along issues. fine. But there was still an issue. Of Why do you want to be gay, gay so though, Dominic? I always had him as gay. I have to apologize. Nah, yeah, gay. I'm so all man. You have no idea. I'm so with people who are, I have had sex no with a man. <laughs> what is it, John? <laughs> and KC, I knew you were gay. Dude, I'm telling you, I'm not gay. All right? Dude, the lie detector. But a lie detector has and it's no water. All right, it's all wrong. Yeah. Casey, Casey, the Howard, only one who doesn't know you're gay is you. Uh, yeah. I'm telling you, I'm not gay. It just proved my point. Let's go to Double A. Double A's on the phone. Hey, Casey, you big fat. Congratulations, Howard. Thank you. No homo there, buddy. No problem, Bob. Boy, is it all around? Johnny Boy pants were flying. Me and right. John, we are not attracted to men. Oh, yes, yeah, <laughs> boy. Kick <laughs> ass. Go after the women. Thank you, Howard. Let me just let me just tell you one thing, okay? All the people in here, what is about eight people, right? They right. say uh, ten percent of the population is gay, right? Well, right. This right. guy said that over. Half of us was gay. Come on. Yeah. So what? It's a so bunch what? of crap. It doesn't matter. You're, 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 you're in the show you're business. business. Right. Right. It's right. It's the industry you're in has a lot of gays. So you're you telling me, I had about 80 guys on my football team. You're telling me a couple of those guys were gay? Absolutely. Yeah. No. 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 We're telling you, you were one hey. of the gay guys. Joe, so you're, uh, you're <laughs> on the air. Welcome to the air. Yes. Hey, I got proof that Jabby's gay. How do you know? I got. I want to find some K Rock, and he made me come up for four more sex on him. Uh, there you go. Yeah, and you were you were no good. By the way, Cabby, I think Wait, you should what? have learned. You should have learned something from your test. You're a gay man. I'm not gay. I yeah, feel good about it. I'm you know what? Add one I feel add good about the fact that I was able to come on this you show should. And, and, and be you perfectly should. honest. You should. And you know what? I feel good about the fact that my point was proven that this room and a lot of rooms around this world, there's men who have had either thought about it or done it, and they all deny it. And you know what? I don't have to deny it, and neither do you. You were 100% right. right. I you admitted your gayness, and let me say something. Okay. Come you on. were right about the men in this room. Yep. A lot of them in there have gay tendencies. And wait, a minute, wait a minute. There could be one Fred, you included. Oh, yeah. You there could be another factor. Okay, whatever. Well, that means your book, Miss America. How about put on a dress. The, how about I could put on a dress from here tomorrow. I ain't going to have to think uh, about gay sex. Yeah, yeah. You're just trying to ask me for the question. I don't mind putting on a dress. Oh, sure. God. What about the I'll put on a broad Hey, Fred. 
Yeah, hon. Do you think maybe the, the reason why it was it, the, that you that you fell was because was, you had gay rich on your lap and stuff? You think maybe that was why? I was no, gay. No, I was pissed off that I had to wait so goddamn long, and it's like oh. everybody's, everybody's like in here. Everybody's got an excuse. No, no, no. Well, 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 here's the well, deal. Well. Everybody's getting on the air. And given the results of the test, this one flunked, that one flunked. It's like, and after all, you're going, Jesus Christ, what chance do I have? And oh, I my God, Fred, stop it. You know, stop what? Stop it. Hey, stop Fred. What? Gay, if you've hey, thought about it. I mean, it doesn't really mean you're gay. Hey, Fred. I mean, come on. Do you think it was gay having gay rich in your lap? I have no idea. I don't even recall it, John. I really don't it remember. Tender, it was a tender moment. I really don't remember. Tender moment. You know, was, was, hey, Fred, what's the big deal? So you're gay. Who cares? But I'm not gay. One more factor. <laughs> you know, maybe John. You can say it all you want. He's really upset about, about it. Oh, he is. Yeah. And the idea that he... Hey, I didn't flunk the test. Wait a minute. Did, uh, I don't believe that. The idea that he idea. got more gay if he heard results. Yeah. No, but that's the worst argument of the That's not what I said, Robin. I said nervous. Already? Have you uh, guys taking any anti-anxiety drugs because that affects your results? Fred right isn't. No. It I'm taking a box for OCD. It affects the life of I don't care. Oh, no, you're what? saying that you're the so following people oh, with are going to have yeah. gay thoughts. And this, I'm going to end this discussion. Yeah, the following go. people. How about you, Howard? Do you take anything? Like Nothing. Relax Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, doesn't matter. The following people were... <laughs> you didn't take anything today. No. But the following people and their results have gay tendencies. All right. Who are they? Ralph? Right. No, it didn't say. It said I moved. Shut Fred Norris. Oh, yeah. It said I moved. Howard Fred Stern. Howard Stern. No, I had nothing. Yes, you do. No. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Stop it. You're trying to give a list, and I can't even hear. I will give you the list again. If I can get uh, get uh, no interruption. Fred Norris. No. <laughs> I'll do it again. I'll start again. Start it all. I'll start again. Start it all. You want. Start again. There I go. Let's start again. Fred Norris. <laughs> Fred Norris, no. Eric Norris, no. and Fred Norris, no. and Howard Stern. Okay. <laughs> Ralph, no. KC. It was like a big fat one because it wasn't me. Oh, KC. Suck it. Uh, uh, a man who admitted to gay sex yeah, and I, it's proven by like Cabby. Whatever. And there you go. And Reggie. I, and you yep. and I and John are the only ones. That, well, you didn't, uh, take, you didn't, you didn't take it. Oh. You didn't take it. You didn't take it. You know. And I know Fred's angry about it, but I passed. Yeah. Yep. I'm not angry about it. I'm angry about the fact you're trying to characterize me in a specific way. I'm just saying. All I'm not saying I don't, mind, I don't mind that I flunked the test. I didn't all right. The following pass. people flunked the test. Why wouldn't you expect to pass it, Fred? Because these things spook me. The following people flunked the test. Would you be fair with that? Uh, okay. The following people flunked the test. Fred Norris. <laughs> Eric, Eric Norris. Eric Norris. Oh, it's the Dominic show again. Absolutely. Ralph Sorella. I want to go again. Ralph, this is an outrage. Out. Ralph is claiming that he moved on one question. Yeah, but he, he failed before, failed. doesn't matter. How many times no. do you take yeah. it? He failed the te the question about I've attraction moved. to men. Twice. Right. Well, I, there's men who are attracted. Dude, dude, uh, dude, you're gay. You're gay. Sorry, when you plunk no, that question, second, you're gay. Wait a second. Wait a second. Would you look at a, a good-looking guy and say no. he's attracted? No. No. Oh, come on. I won't. You, you, you come on. You, you, you say that all the time. Right. Come on. To make you feel comfortable. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The lie detector. you down, you little faggot. It's real. It's real. The lie detector's with you is smoking. You're the only way to prove you, you're not gay is to go with Irma. I'm going to go nail your wife now. Wait a minute. Casey you're did silly. almost break the machine. Yeah. No. <laughs> Look. Hey, some, guy, some guy touches your hog, and I'm gay. You oh. failed. You failed the test. You I failed the test fail. because the test you is failed. stupid. Okay. Casey, come whatever. On out of the class. I was laughing whatever, at every question. Whatever gets you come through on, the night, pal. I'm telling you. I don't wet my bed. I don't have trouble getting it up, for girl. Because I got mental problems. I haven't got gay problems. Yeah. That's that's a mental problem. No, it's no, not. I'm quite happy. You're, you're mental no, because no, you're gay. No, my sex. And you are mad that you're gay. No, no, admit you're gay. No, my sexuality is one thing that I'm comfortable with. Admit you're gay, and then you'll be, and then you won't get in bed. I'm not. So, what is it, Casey? Uh, Al Pacino's baby. Too wound up about this. Yeah, because he needs to argue with me. I'm telling Good. you, that I'm not gay. Look at him. Look at, look Al Pacino's baby. There's one thing he's been overlooked about this whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it interesting that Casey's polygraph came out in the shape of a penis? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. All right, let's do some news. Dominic, can you stay? Oh, you have to leave. What are you going to do? You have a client going to jail today? No, like a divorce today. A divorce. I still have the largest divorce in criminal practice. It's still wonderful and working hard. And I'll see yeah, you Dominic, go make some more money for me. Get, get out there. Yeah, yeah work hard. And Ralph, when are you going out with Dominic's ex-wife? I have to call her, but probably this weekend. You'd rather go out with Dominic. Right. This weekend? Yeah. It's your last chance. Is it me or her? 
You can have both. I can I'll make sure you have good Dominic. Don't worry. Don't worry. Women. You know what, Ralph? Ralph, Ralph, Ralph you go, you go it's, not, it's, not like, it's not like I'm going to go have sex with her. We're going to go hang out. We've been huh. trying to do the I'm Dominic anyway. I'm bothered. And now, but what? you're not bothered, Dominic. Somebody just gave me a kiss. Oh. Oh. Hey, the guy's like wealthy. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. I like that feel. All right, get out of here, please. Hours ago. I'll tell you what. Dominic up you know, for his phone number as well. This is good for the TV show. Watch Dominic get out of the seat. So I'm going to ask a uh, guy who's in law about uh, if I can call for legal advice, John. And that's a problem. No, but then he's going to be, uh, you know, All right, everyone get out now. It's Lucky too much noise. Girls, get out of here. Everyone leave. It's too much noise. Oh. Whoa. Holy Christ. Pleasantly surprised. Look at these broads. Oh, yeah. Hello, How lady. How let these girls go? They look like, uh, like Trump's movies. losing his touch, man. I would have definitely taken one of these girls and made her the apprentice. Absolutely. He's hitting me with two guys in the finale. I'm trying to figure out who I'm most attracted to. Nice triple package. They look like Playboy chicks. That's what I'm telling you. I thought it was like Charlie's Angels they were promoting. The hell's Thanks, going? Robin. <laughs> now, let me figure out who's who. Because unlike, Hi, unlike, unlike the rest of America, I haven't been watching the show because I'm all caught up in my own Michigas. <laughs> uh, Katrina. That's me. That's you. Erica. And Christy. Hi. Hey, now. Hey, now. You're wearing a Brooklyn t-shirt, Christy. You from Brooklyn? Uh, I'm a big Brooklyn fan. Are you from Brooklyn? No, I'm from Los Angeles. Uh, it turns me on. <laughs> Where are you other two brothers from? New York. Nice. Mm -hmm. Miami. So, I mean, I guess everyone's asked you this already, but I haven't. So, you won't take the money from Playboy to show you? No. 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 Why, because you're like all business women? It's really difficult, and it contradicts everything we've tried so hard to prove in the business yeah. world. You know what? We thought about it. It just follows your name around more so than anything else. Let me ask you something. Here's the way I look at it. I mean... Are you really business women? Yeah, I mean, let's oh, be honest. Yes, oh, God. we are. I mean, come on. <laughs> That's where they found us. I, I thought love it. FHM is no more business-like than Playboy. Did you see the shoe? It's pretty I, classy. It, yeah, but I'm just saying, you know, so listen. You're all young girls. How old are you guys? 27. I'm not that young. Are you 27 too? Uh-huh. Well, let me tell you something. <laughs> are you or are you not? Yeah, that's close. Well, how old are you? It's <laughs> close. Oh, you don't give your age? Just, one, of, one of you guys is 30, right? I'm 30. Oh, big deal. That's good. That's, that's just nothing, baby. I'm Howard? proud of it. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, I should mention that you can see one of these women naked. Where? Where? Oh. Uh, Christy? Oh. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, that's that's Wait, Howard. On com, Christy was in an episode of The Wretched you Diaries where, that I watched yesterday where she swims nude and I... So, honey, you're not... Kill a no, body. No, 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 what no. kind of businesswoman are you? I own a restaurant in Santa Monica and I own properties. I have a broker's license. But you're not a fan about being naked. No, I'm proud of that episode no, you that look you right. saw. You should be proud of it. And it was um, eight years ago when I have an acting career. It was the very first thing I did. And I'm, I am... But that's one of the reasons I didn't do Playboy. How much does Playboy offer you to get naked? We haven't disclosed that amount. Why? It's because Just because it was a good number. It was a good number. And we had to think twice about it. But Over 250000 No. 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 Oh, because oh. for that, you're doing it, right? Oh, uh, I don't know. That yeah. was about the line. We kept negotiating and kept going higher and higher. And still, once I saw that number that I probably would have done, I just couldn't do it. Yeah. Do you negotiate together as a group? Or is it an individual yeah. negotiation? No, it's, it's, I mean, they don't, they, I guess there are certain people. They wanted apprentice, like. gr no, they wanted apprentice girls, and then they started negotiating maybe with two of us, and then they added three, and I mean, they were trying to see how much, how what? many girls they could get and for how much money. They were definitely trying to be hardballs. All right, like now, that. Chrissy, you were off, I mean, you've been naked in, in Red Shoe Diaries, so right. when they approached you, I didn't actually talk to them. At I, all. I was, she was right the away. only one that didn't even pick up yeah, the phone. exactly, she didn't. I don't get it. I'm telling you, if I was hot like you guys and I had good body, so people see, see your boobs. They may do I, it. I, uh, do I think sure any that. less of 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 Erica because I saw her boobs? Well, I wouldn't be Erica. I'd be Erica that posed in Playboy. No, you would. Yes, yes, yes you would. Yeah. No, no way. The only chick that posed in yeah. Playboy. Yeah. Well, yeah. You follow our name. But, but but people are going to think you're kooks anyway for being in a reality show. Yeah, come on. No, because it's a business reality show, and we get over 23 million viewers. It's a smart show. But it is. from what I hear, you know, like having not watched uh, every episode. Uh, what I see and what I hear in the press is that there were tons of cat fights. Yeah, you know what? That's so funny because I always get mad at that question. We had one woman in the show, Omarosa. The black chick? Yeah. Who's the one she that got accused of being a racist? Yeah, America. America. You're so going to take the lie detector test? I got a guy. Absolutely. Oh, yes. Good. Yes. Let's right, do go, it. go out yes. there now and get hooked up. Will we'll yeah. listen in. Talk to you? Is this how that works? No, no, no. You'll come back you'll here. Come back. Right. You'll come back here. Go out there. If I'm nervous from the show, what did she say? You're going to be so proven. You know what? We support Erica 110%. She'll be proven right there. That'll be the end of it. She's insane. She's got some killer bot.
Look at these chicks. <laughs> What's going on? Well, should I say out of the three of you which one I really want to have sex with most, or is that rude? <laughs> no. We think you're going to say it anyway. <laughs> Who do you think I want to have sex with most? Katrina's a young No, you think, no. It, you think it's you. I actually don't wasn't you? even thinking Krista, about that. Krista, you do think that. Howard, I, I don't <laughs> think that. Maybe because I knew it up easily. No, I'm not going to tell you which one no, I no. want to have sex with. Beth will get upset. Mm -hmm. But I'm just thinking... When are you getting married, Howard? <laughs> sorry, Robin. Oh, Hell sorry. no. Not me. Are any of you thinking of dating me? Because I could... Because <laughs> maybe he'll marry you. Maybe I'll marry you guys. <laughs> We're actually both engaged. Are you really? Yeah, yes, we are. Mm. Take care. <laughs> You're like, bye, get out of here. <laughs> Good appearance. Who are you engaged to, Trump? No. No. Did any of you ever think that you wanted to have sex with Trump? Would you have... No. 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 No way. So you guys, so your whole angle is your businesswoman. We are, and we do FHM think, because, I'm sorry? Well, don't wait. you think you've been labeled businesswomen who cry, businesswomen who fight with each other, businesswomen who can't get along? I think in a way that's kind of reality. You're not going to get along with everybody. For the most part, for example, I could only speak for myself, but I get along with most of the people on the show. There's a couple that I won't be inviting for dinner anytime soon, but you can't get along with everybody that you work with. See, but with. my point is, do Playboy, because anyone who's on a reality show, like in my mind, is a little bit off. Right. I think we're all a little crazy, too. Right. Honest. So if you're worried about your image, mm -hmm. you don't go on a reality show. If you're really serious about business, you don't get there evaluated and, and filmed by people. Everyone knows you guys want to be famous a little bit, somewhere well, in the back of your mind. We never knew that it was going to be this big. Right. I think that... Um, it was still going to be on TV. Right. Yes, and it was a calculated risk. It was really... I was really skeptical about doing the whole process. But what, what's your regular job? I'm a real estate agent in Miami. So you're real successful at it? Yeah, I've been, doing it, I've been doing it for eight years. You're making over six figures? Yes, I am. Katrina so, does very well. I, I do very well because I'm passionate about what I do. And by the way, Howard, I'm from Miami, and you're no longer there, and it's very depressing. Thank you very much. Because I actually got through college listening to you every morning. So. Oh, you're sweet. Mm. I wish you were naked right now. In but Playboy. I'm saying maybe the Playboy thing could change your image from, you know, the caddy girls to, you know. To the naked ones? To the naked girls. Girl. To the naked caddy girls. Do it. Yeah. And Christy, hell? you yeah. definitely should do it. Oh. You've already been naked somewhere. Yes. And honey, you're smoking hot. She is. Yes. Thank, thank you, thank you. And thank you. Katrinka should do it, too. Katrinka. <laughs> Christy, what's your, uh, what's your fiancé do? He's in the green room. He's, um... He owns an advertising agency in Los Angeles. No, that's He's gay. a New Yorker. Though. That's a gay uh, occupation. He sounds like, oh, he's yeah. like one of those metrosexuals. <laughs> he sounds right. a little fruity. He What's is your, a huge Howard Vance. That's a little fruity. <laughs> no, 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 no. What about the broad who wouldn't come in here? What's her name? Erica. Oh, What's the one that oh, wouldn't come in here? Amy. 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 What's her problem with me? I'm a dirty guy or something? I, I, I have my own opinion. <laughs> well, <laughs> Amy, Amy's us. doing other press this morning. We're well, going to find out in a minute whether Erica... Use the N-word. Yeah. I say yes. It's Ed, guilty. Ed Torian, the best lie detector guy in the country, is going to ask her a series of questions. And we'll know. He, we, we, we already know her? the answer. Yeah, we, we, already, we were there. We know the answer. Why do you think the uh, black woman made up those... Uh, if she's a she looney did. tune. I mean, she, and she's trying to get all the press that she could get, so she's making up stuff left and Wait, right. Wait, did you just say she's a looney coon? <laughs> a looney tune. You said coon. Oh, I heard, I heard, I heard the drink just say coon. <laughs> no, a looney tune. <laughs> You said Looney Coon. <laughs> you go take a lie detector. He's a Coony Loon. That's right. All right. Let's, uh, find, let me go find out what's happening in the... In the, um, the lie detector room? No, it's called the Ed Torian Honorary Grill Room. Oh, I think awesome. what's happening is Ed Torian's hitting on Eric. <laughs> it wouldn't have been funny if he, we, we tuned in and Ed had her up on the desk. Ed is a total pro. <laughs> yeah. I got to tell you, we're like a, a minute away from doing this, but... There's nothing funny than watching Ed try to get that chain around her breasts. Uh, oh, I love that. Like, I, I got a touch. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't Ed let me help him with that? Oh, it's so funny. All right. So, all right. Let me take a couple of phone calls then while we're waiting. And we're going to find out the results right here from Ed Torian. It's so exciting. It is exciting. It is. This is a chance yeah, for her to fill in. Finally, finally Howard. It's, it's finally about getting to you. No, yeah. We'll, we'll solve the this. The asking so many questions. We should have just come in here in the first place and taken this thing. I Does go out. you guys stay away from Amorosa? She yes. stays away from us. We've been in town all weekend. We haven't seen her. So wow. The whole cast gets together and we haven't seen Amorosa. Do you think all. she really heard the N-word or she just completely in her head? In her head. I mean. No. Do you no. think she's lying outright or do you think she's... I think she is. You do. Was it strategy or... Let me tell you something. I was her roommate, so I, I 
feel like I know Marosa very well. And the second day there, she told me that she felt very lonely because of her race. Well, I'm a Hispanic woman, and I never once... No kidding. You're yeah. Hispanic? Yeah, no oh, one ever knows give me that. A break. But I'm Cuban, and no one ever... I mean, I was born here, but no one... Honey, you're whiter than I am. I am. Mm-hmm. Actually, I'm now Hispanic. I'm tan because I got a big tan. <laughs> I did you for the press? Yeah. yeah. Well, Christy and I weren't yesterday. What's your fiancé do? He's in commercial real estate. Yeah, huh? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. I don't know any man who does that. <laughs> yeah, a real man sits behind a radio desk and does stupid things. You're goddamn right. Fights the government. Yeah. You know, by the way, do you realize that we are in the most incredible time? That they, like, right now, when have you ever seen a disc jockey fight the United States government? Absolutely. It's I think about weird. that all the time. Thank you. And look at you, how you're fighting the government and you're doing the show. And I'm with my chicks. Yeah. I was listening to you all morning, and I'm a big supporter. Do any of you girls want to defy the government by having sex with me right now? <laughs> I mean, like, maybe not all the way, but... Ne- Thank you. Oh, Jesus there's a sex. We have a volunteer. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Christy. Uh, yeah. You walk Jeff. in the room, you're the chick I want. Oh. I noticed that. I noticed you looking at her, Howard. I did. <laughs> but we don't want to make... It. I'm so happy. You're probably used to that, though. We don't want to make the ad executive mad. That's my type right there. When she uh, walked in, I knew that was your type. Yeah, that's you my were type. saying, do you want to come? I was so. like, I could tell already. Yeah, I saw the chemistry right away. You didn't see it either. <laughs> <laughs> there was I, a certain chemistry. It was all on your part. Most girls just see... You don't see the chemistry. I'm the one who sees it. <laughs> well, just to be different, I'm going to say I'm attracted to Katarina. Well, Katrina. Oh, Katrina. Katrina. <laughs> Katrina. 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 No Steve, wonder you have no rap. Steve, you're on the air. Hey, how are you doing? Just got to say that the, um, I want to say hi to the ladies and tell you guys that The Apprentice is the best show on television. Thank, Thank you, you so much for your support. Down. Yeah, I can't believe I blew it by not watching the episodes. But do you realize now Trump is the only star of the He really is. He's the biggest winner of all. He is. Financially, too. He's yes. doing so well. Yeah. Right. Did you guys get paid at all? Peanuts? No. no. We haven't even gotten in our check yet. That's I don't what I'm saying. I don't know why you think it's going to benefit you. You've got to do the Playboy thing. <laughs> Yeah, at least make some money. Yeah, out Trina, of it. it's all about the money, right? Yeah, you know what? We did it for the experience. It was a surreal experience. I would do it all over again. Steve, what's your question? I, well, I just want to say I can't wait for tomorrow night. And uh, Katrina, don't take this the wrong way, but my comments to you: um, in the several episodes, you mentioned to uh, Donald and a bunch of the other apprentices that you wanted that you're a number one real estate agent, and it wasn't because of your body. Give me a break. If I was the, if I was looking for real estate in Miami, and you were my broker. I'd be looking at every building <laughs> in Florida. Thank you. I'm very flattered, but actually, women are the primary decision makers in my industry, so I can't really use sex to the extent that you think I may use it. But I do. I, I'm, I'm flattered. I got to yeah. tell you something. I, I mean, I've gone to look for houses, and if you get a hot woman showing you a house, sometimes it could work against them too. You think, yeah, they don't know anything. It's so true. Yeah. Yeah, I'll look at a but house with her, but I'm not going to look at more houses. Yeah, but right. I'm not going to spend yeah, a million that, dollars because she's hot. Right. The thing right. is, the thing is, is that you may look at more houses, but they're wasting your time because obviously their intentions are not to buy a place. So. Yeah. Because like, like if I, I'm looking at a house with you, I'm like, hey, do you mind wearing a shorter skirt with the uh, when we go tomorrow? But also, maybe you're going to spend more money on a house. You bump up the price because you're trying to impress her. Is everyone now ready? Yes. yes. To find out whether Erica used the N word. I now turn your attention to the greatest lie detector man of all time, <laughs> Mr. Ed Tort, the king of all lie detectors, my hero, oh, Mr. Ed Torian. Erica, how are you? Erica. Okay. What do I do? Can put I put this a... on your ears? I can't because. Oh, I'll do it. For you. Hey, guys. Are you guys there? Ed. Hey. Yeah. No, it's Erica. Erica. I have. I have one ear listening to Ed. Is Ed? Yeah, Ed. And one guy. One ear listening to you. All right, guys. listen. Oh, okay. We yeah. are going to quiet down. We're going to let Ed. Hi, Ed. Hi, how you doing? We're going to let Ed do, ask you the questions. Let's clear this up once and for all. The girls here support you. They say you never use the N-word. I didn't. She what didn't. you need to do is answer yes or no, as Mr. Torian has told you. Okay. Ed Torian knows the truth. He is the best I've seen at this. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot. That's scary. Here we go. Take your headphones off. Gotcha. Is your first name Erica? Yes. <laughs> is today Wednesday? Yes. You didn't know that. <laughs> well, you fail already. <laughs> Did you? You live in New York State. I do. Yes. Yes. That's right. Do you intend to answer the truth? Yes. She says yes. Have you ever referred to a black person as a nigger? No. Interesting. An emphatic no. An emphatic no. 
Have you ever called a black person a black person a nigger? No. Interesting. Emphatic again. Not the same question. <laughs> Have you more. called a person a black person a nigger in the last twelve months? No. <laughs> what the last three months? Did you call Omarisa a nigger? No. No. She said no defiantly. <laughs> Have you ever referred to Omarisa as a nigger? No. Omarisa. <laughs> Omarosa. Omarosa. Serious. This is very right. serious. Yeah, you're not taking it. Omarosa. <laughs> Omarosa. No. Right. Have you ever called Omarosa a nigga in your mind? No. <laughs> no. Interesting. Making a distinction about the mind. Oh, my goodness. This is Mr. Eckler. <laughs> Would you marry a black person? <laughs> Probably yeah. not. No. Yeah, say yes or no. No. Okay, good. Interesting. Oh. The answer was no. That doesn't mean no. Okay. Uh, no, that means Are you a racist? <laughs> no. She is not a racist, she claims, but we'll find out. Do you think blacks are intellectually inferior to whites? No. The answer was no. Yeah, Mr. Edtorian can barely get out the question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, Do I you think white answer. people are smarter than black people? No. An emphatic no again. Would you be upset if you had a child and married a black person? No. Respect. That question is a key question. I don't even understand that question. Me neither. <laughs> do you get annoyed when black... <laughs> uh, uh what is this? Do you get... Do you get... <laughs> do you get annoyed when black people are out into movies? Oh, what? Are out into movies? No. But is that out All right, I'll say it again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Do you get annoyed when black people are loud in the movie? No. Okay, good. Do you get annoyed when black people are loud in the movie? I don't know if Ed knows the question. <laughs> I wish I could hear you guys. All right. Do you get annoyed when black people are loud in the movies? No. I do. <laughs> All right, okay, I'm sorry. That's where she gets annoyed by you. Yeah, you get annoyed by me, I'm sorry. A little. <laughs> okay, do you think black people are lazy? No. <laughs> if you lived in the 1800s, would you... <laughs> this is too much. Do I pass or fail? Come on, Ed. All right. If you lived in the 1800s, <laughs> if you lived in the 1800s, would you have owned a black person? No, I, no, I don't think so. No. No. The answer was no. We all would have. I would oh, excuse them. me, Artie. Who said you would have that? <laughs> what are you guys money? saying? I would have had a whole stable. <laughs> I mean, geez, it's the opposite that you were doing so much. I would have had Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel a general mistrust towards Jews? No. <laughs> it's really the Jew question. I dated a Jewish boy. It was like my first love. All right. Okay. That's a lie. Okay. We're going out to another set of questions. All right, go ahead. <laughs> what the, where are we going now? Have you ever fantasized sexually about Donald Trump? No. <laughs> Have you ever had a lesbian experience? No. Interesting. I thought these were strictly race questions. What's the sex stuff? Shh. We're almost through. <laughs> Have you ever fantasized sexually about another woman? No. Hmm. I don't believe that. I think that's why. Find out in a minute when we get the results. Do you enjoy the smell of your farts? Oh. All right. No. Enough with these questions. <laughs> right, we're almost through. We're almost through. No, no, no. Almost through. Almost through. Uh, are you sexually attracted to Howard Stern? I just met him. Well, are you sexually attracted? Yes or no? I don't think so. Not yet, Howard. No. <laughs> Not yet. Yeah. Tell me yes or no. No. Sorry, oh, Howard. It's because I'm black. Yeah, I'm Jewish. You're a Jewish. black Jew. I'm a black Jew. Half Jew. Okay. Are you se are you sexually attracted to Robin Quivers? No. <laughs> but that's a lie. Who can resist my Robin? Well, she doesn't want to marry a black person. How many more? Two more. Do you own a vibrator? No. Mm hmm. Maybe I should get one. I don't believe that. Is that machine even on? <laughs> Of course it is. It's Mr. Editorial. <coughs> Do you think blacks scream racism, racism oh, when they want to chisel something out of somebody? 
Yes. If I understood your question correctly. I didn't even understand it. No, I don't even understand it. Okay, okay, okay. I think she's got another purpose. Ed, ask if she's attracted to you. All right, when you have sex with Donald Trump to win. What? No. No. <laughs> Do you get nervous when black people walk behind you on a dark, lonely street? No. Oh <laughs> I do. I thought there's only two more questions. You can't Ed tell. Ed lies. Ed lies. Ed lies. <laughs> Are you turned on by my thoughts? Have you answered all questions truthfully? Yes. I guess if you'd have sex with Ed Torian. Would you have sex with me? <laughs> <laughs> no. <I let's> no. <laughs> no. Now, Ed. Did I pass? Yeah, Ed. Well, there's a couple we'll... of questions there's a problem with. Uh -oh. Which one? All right. I'll, I'll explain to you when we go all right. Wait, no, this is important. Which so, one? Ed, do we have to? Hey, Ed, do okay. we have to wait for the results? You want me to come in? I'll come in with the results you, now. You got them right now? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. All right. All right. Okay. Come on king, in. get out of here. Oh, he is the king. Ed Torian. <laughs> well, I love that guy. That's fantastic. I like Ed. Wow. Yeah, media results for this. We are about to find out there were if what? Problems with some questions. Amorosa. Is that her name? Amorosa. Omarosa. You can call her whatever you want. Though. Whatever. <laughs> we will find out. If Erica, in fact, used the N-word. And a few other things. That's right. I think she lied on the 1800s and the farts question. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Are you turned on by my sports jacket? <laughs> what about you, Chris? Do you ever have lesbian sex? Look at you. I'm not hooked up. No. No, I've never had lesbian sex. You're lying. I haven't. Really? No. You've never had any other girls? Good job, sweetie. I could tell Katrina has it. No, no, I haven't. Yeah, you're a straight arrow. Hello. I'm back. Good wow, job. Wow, you some good job. Good you job. stood up to every yeah, question. Yeah, you can take a drilling. That's I hope so. That's awesome. Well, that's what happens when you have nothing to hide. <laughs> you got oh, some killer bod. All of you. She does, doesn't I do, she? I do not. Not compared to these ladies. You're no. kidding. Oh, please. Oh, yeah. I you're selling yourself short. Trust me. I sit next to them, and I feel like a little oh, a mini me. Are exactly. you engaged, too? No. Mm, I have good. a boyfriend. Oh, do you? Yeah. What's he do? He's in sales. Or uh, it's not. It's a little boring. Bankruptcy management division. Of I get it. <laughs> <laughs> hey Ed, how you doing? How you been? All right, you've you've done so something here. A few questions that I I'm I messed up on. I'm very well. Yeah, probably the sex question. You lied about. Right, so I might have. <laughs> Mr. Torian. All right. What is the best way to do this? Do you want me to announce the question? And you can tell us whether it's true well, or false. I'll go through the chart. Okay. I can't believe you said you had no sex in America. <laughs> well, hold on. I can't hear Ed. Hold on a second. I'll I'm sorry. Which one she passed and which one she failed. All right. Good. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. <coughs> Mr. Ed Torian. We're right. hearing an analysis now. Right. All right. Go ahead. She was truthful about her name. Okay. That's what I'm going to know. Right. And she lives in New York State. And she's never referred to a black person as a nigger. She told the truth about that. There you go. There you go, baby. That's the bottom line. Thank you for that, Ed. And have you ever called a black person a nigger? She was truthful. Truthful. Okay. Right. That's important. Right. All right. And um, in the last 12 months, have you ever called a black person a nigger? She said... No, she's truthful. She's truthful. Right. She'd have to be because she she's never called. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I right. think that right. would be the case. We should have right. done this months ago. <laughs> right, because right. ended the whole controversy. And Mr. Ed Torian uh, knows the truth. Right, okay. So go on, Ed. Yep. You call Omarisa. Oh. Right. Omarisa. Well, I don't even know. Whatever her name is. Who cares? Osama, if you want to. No, she didn't call her that. She was truthful. She was truthful. There right. you go. Oh, look at you. This should have happened on Oprah. Yeah, vacation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And the other call Omarosa. A nigger in your mind. Truthful. 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 You might you be the most non-racist person I ever no, met. Honestly, if you right. knew me, you'd know. I'm oh, not, I know you. Funny. I can right. tell from your body you're not a racist. Put all the ones down. Are you a racist? She was truthful. Do you think blacks are intellectually inferior to whites? Uh, she was truthful. But there's one all the way down. Do you get annoyed when black people are allowed in the movies? That was my fault. Do you think black people are lazy? There's one question here that she had a problem with. Which one? If you lived in the 1800s, would you um. own the black person? <laughs> I 
I didn't. Under, I was like, I don't know, because maybe, maybe at the time, I don't know. Right? You know, that's a misleading that's, question that's because misleading. that's misleading. Because you don't know what you would have done in the 18th. You don't know, know where you right. were. Where right. your situation right. is. Yeah. I was the only one who knew how to answer that. Yes, I would. But I would you're know. assuming something about your situation. Yes. You could have been in some place else and not had any money. All we're saying. I would have had some money. All we're saying. Like, is, I know that. If the options there, you might say, all right, I'll. If it's just you know, you're putting it on the table. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she's probably thinking, if it's Denzel Washington, why not? I'll take him home and I'll use him. Uh, that's right. I'm a Lisa. He's not leaving. Right. Right. I want to know if she'd, rather have, if she'd have sex with me and you, Ed. Not, right, go ahead. Ed. I'm not in that jacket. Do you feel a general mistrust towards Jews? She was uh, deceptive on that question. Really? Oh. Yeah. Wait, that's strange because I have a boyfriend. My first love of my life was a Jewish kid. You didn't trust him. That's why you dumped him. No, right. he went, oh, I could not. He was such a, a good kid. He was yeah. deceptive. Don't feel he bad. Most people don't trust that's, the Jews. Um, it's all right. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> and she's fantasized sexually about Donald Trump. She oh, she has. I have. Oh. You have. Oh. That's oh. That's oh. Great. It's true. I am not attracted to Donald Trump. Well, uh oh. I don't know. Know. Have you ever fantasized sexually about another woman? She told me no, but she was deceptive on that. Oh. Of course she has. Oh. And you know what? I know she has. Yeah. I can look in her eyes and know she has. You've thought okay, about it. That's the one question I'm like, I'm going to get. I might get a little sick on that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Ed knows. But not. That's, all right. Go ahead. All right. Do you enjoy the smell of your father? Yeah. Now that's key. Oh. Yeah, she failed that one. No. She <laughs> failed. I know it. You love it. I laugh. Trust Excuse me. me. I not like the smell Excuse of my me, darling. You know you'll. Everybody likes to smell the wrong part. I love my phone. Yeah. And you're going to love them when I'm in bed with you later. All right, go ahead. Okay. And are uh, you sexually attracted to Howard Stern? She told me no, but she was what we call deceptive. Uh, of course. She's sexually attracted. You're turned on. I'm you're giving him a wink right, right now. Why don't you step into the ladies' room right over there? I'll meet you in there. And she's sexually attracted to Will Rob and Quivers. Oh, my God. I knew it. <laughs> she's <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Wow. Which proves she's not a racist. Yeah, that's exactly. Uh, yeah, that's true. No, I, I think we have proof positive, Gary. She said yeah, she's going to she's gonna do you. That would be even better. <laughs> what else are you finding there, Ed? And would you have sex with Donald Trump to win? She was. She, said, she told me no, but she was. What does that mean, to win? To win, 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 to win the um, contest. Um, I oh, she, 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 you would have. Yeah. She would have. Yeah. Nah. I don't want the job that bad. <laughs> and you get nervous when black people walk behind you on a dark, lonely street. She told me no, but she was. Uh, Everybody said, does. Really? Uh, well, whenever so someone because, because whenever when someone is behind, walks behind you, me, that's right. You're right. That's why. So I you are said, yeah, you are yeah. telling yeah. the truth. Yeah, that's true. Right. Unless, it's a, unless it's a black person you own, right? After <laughs> behind you. In the eighteen hundreds. In the eighteen hundreds, you would not have been nervous. Oh, I probably should have. Well, Ed, the final question, of course, is would she? want you and uh you don't think so what does the tape say the tape machine blew up at that point mr ed torian you are the best listening to you the entire time you are considered the top guy and now i know why thanks a lot you gave me the answers i needed to know thank you ed you want this? Does she want this? Uh, Actually, you know what? You should take yeah. it as a souvenir. Yeah, yeah. they made it. It's proof. Well, girls, you are well, delightful. Okay. Your cover of FHM, the inside pictures, beautiful. Oh, and we're going to have a signing, signing on Friday. Now, what is that about? Tower oh, Records. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. On uh, okay. at Columbus Circle. Is it Columbus? No, yeah, Lincoln at, Center. At right. 1 o'clock. Tower hmm. Records, Lincoln Center, 66 and Broadway, Friday, oh, 1 o'clock. Friday. One. Take care, Ed. Bye, Ed. Hey, uh, Katrina, did you announce the winner of The Apprentice accidentally? No, I was not drunk at a club, and I did not announce the winner because I don't know yet. Mm -hmm. Trump hasn't decided. How, Howard, you didn't ask me about Oprah. Well, I guess I was gone for so long. Did we talk about it when I was What gone? about Oprah? We don't we, even know. Yeah, I heard you were on Oprah yeah. and did almost you? saw her. Like, Oprah wasn't <laughs> nice to you or something? It wasn't nice to me. She just stuck me in the audience and put her on the couch. Because yeah. you're white? I don't know. What, why was, uh, what was your theory on that? Why? I, I actually, I was, I felt so deceived i asked them where she'd be sitting and um she um, also didn't want to be in the same segment as i did she wanted to be in the following segment and i said absolutely not i want to be able to respond put her in my segment where will she be sitting where you're sitting okay next thing you know she's being hauled up onto the couch and the argument's completely unfair and i'm like flagging down oprah to even respond it was miserable i, I read a lot that uh, a lot of fans of the show yeah. the apprentice are really upset with oprah they really feel that uh, upset, yeah. she mishandled you uh, didn't allow you to respond properly and as it turns out from mr ed torian the best lie detector guy in the business That's right. so telling the truth <laughs> no. uh... did you at any time call oprah the n-word no. <laughs> did you think of her as the n-word no i, I was not. upset uh, though you were upset and was it was upset. probably not fair because because 
uh, they allowed Omasara to have all the. Uh, the well, airplane. I understand that Oprah sort of took her side. It's yeah, and, you know, right. they cut out something at one point, and I made them cut it out. She directly asked me, um, you know, did you say the N word? And I'm about to say, no. I, I, if you knew me for more than five minutes, you know I'd never say that. And I go, if you knew me, and Oprah cuts in and says, but I don't know you. And I made them cut that out because I'm like, you guys didn't even let me respond right. when I was asked to respond. I Do was you understand furious. why now I say Oprah is Satan? <laughs> I, no, I'm not joking. Under the guise of being this teacher, healer, there is a shiftiness. Mm. There is an agenda. Mm. And only I see it. And now you see it. Your <laughs> eyes have been opened. I was crying that day, big time. I'm really upset. Of course you were. Very disappointed. Didn't even expect it at all. thought yeah. Oprah was a nice woman. I was just so excited. <laughs> walked in. I'm like, fair, balanced. This is going to be great. And then well, I walked out. What? Just, I just got like hit in the head. And don't you list Oprah on your website as one of your heroes? That's me. No, that's that's. Oh, you do. Sorry, Howard. <laughs> do you now list Oprah as one of I'm, your heroes? I'm really disappointed. I, I really thank you. I'm really disappointed in how Erica was treated. But I think that Erica's come out the winner in all of this because now America knows for certain that she didn't say that. So. This is the only show you really get a shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Howard, you have nice teeth, by the way. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> what a blatant come on I out of nowhere. And there's no wearing Megan shirts. Have you noticed that? You Howard, we're matching. You have beautiful eyes. Thank you, Howard. I know you're in love with Christy, but... Um Oh, I would, I would ham. I mean, Both I would make us. love to. <laughs> I would make love to Christy. Oh, so much. Oh, Christy. Yeah. I want to give yeah, you my crucial out. head. Like you would kick any of these girls out. No, I wouldn't kick it. In fact, I'd take all three of you at once, and you'd see how bad I was in bed altogether. <laughs> I'll tell you. It'll blow your mind. I'll tell you, what I'd like to bang is Amarusa. Oh, yeah. oh no, uh, you would not. Yeah, uh, I'd, oh, I'd bang the crazy right out of that broad. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, she's looking for you. There's a lot of banging. There's a lot of crazy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Check out. Katrina, Erica, and Christine, the May issue of FHM Magazine, available at newsstands now. The girls will be signing copies of the magazine this Friday at 1 p.m. at Tower Records, Lincoln Center in Manhattan. Are all of you wearing panties right now? Yes. You are? Yes. Really? Everyone wearing a bra? Yeah. It's kind of mine's sort a stick-on thingamajigger. Right. Not really. Thing of a what? A jigger? What? <laughs> you just said nigger. I I heard. That's what I heard. Oh, oh, here we go again. <laughs> get toward it. I heard it, Robin. I heard it. Let's Think get it back in here. Get in here, man. Jigger. <laughs> Do you ever refer to a black person as a jigger? <laughs> <laughs> How about my bra as a thing of my jigger? So none of you girls have had lesbian experiences. No. no. Although Eric has had thoughts. <laughs> With uh, Robin. In your thoughts. <sighs> Christy, you really getting married, huh? I am. May 1st. Oh, you already have a date. Oh, oh yeah. Coming up. Two huh? weeks, yeah. You're yeah. a little late, Howard. How many guys did you have sex with before you were a uh, man? Not too many. When did, <laughs> you, <laughs> when did you meet this guy? I met him two years ago. <laughs> Just the right amount. I'm not a duck. How many the times? Right I like that. That's a good answer. How many times a week do you have sex with this guy? Like twice a day. Twice a day? I yeah. love it. That's, that's, that's why I'm marrying him. It's not going to It's not gonna last. Oh. It's, 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 almost, gonna last. it's almost that's disgusting. Too that's, that's too much. That's almost too much, much sex. <laughs> twice a day? They're both, mm. Well, yeah. It, it what, they're both first. nymphos? No, it's beautiful house. It's <laughs> when, when you meet the right person, it, it just works. Yeah, I sure. never thought it would yeah. happen, but it worked. Yeah, well, I'm divorced, so. <laughs> Thank you for the vote of confidence. Right, and you will be too, trust me. No, no, no. This is the man. What about you, Katrina? I'm actually engaged. He thinks I'm a straight arrow. He told me I'm no fun. But I'm engaged to my high school sweetheart, so you're not going to like that either. So he's the first Eight guy you had sex with? He's the only guy. Really? Oh, oh really? wow. I'm Poor girl. girl. <laughs> what a load of crap. That's that the is. first guy you ever had sex with? Yeah. And you're going to marry him? Howard, he's hot. He is hot. Let me tell you something about hot. You're not going to like me, I'm Howard. sorry. He's he's not, and he's normal. Like, like, he's a good guy. You know what? Listen. I'm going to tell you something. What? How old are you now? 24. And you've only had sex with... Like, all right. Trust me. <laughs> it is never going to work. Hey, Howard, we've been together for eight years. You're going to be filled with doubts. Oh no, Ben! I hope you're not listening. He's not gonna. Howard's no longer in my. Has he made love to other people? I what? I, I, um, no comment. I see you're hesitating. I don't know. You have to ask him. You ask him. Okay. Has he at least gotten some from somebody else? I mean, I think it's important. Yeah, I want to know too. You don't even know if he's good in bed. Of course I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Who do you compare it to? <laughs> I know he's good in bed. All right. So, compared to Kwame, he's good in bed. Oh, he's my God. He's probably at home right now thinking about Christy. <laughs> Maybe he it. is. He's probably doing Eric on the side, quite frankly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, look. He actually, you know what? He actually loves all my girlfriends. They're great. 
I bet he does. Of course he does. Ted's ready to explode. Are you going to bring out the chicks into the bedroom at all? Or are you, like, real straight? No, I, I'm, I'm pretty straight. Yeah, oh, man. Sorry, Howard. I don't know. I don't know. My my mom, like, I think she only did my dad. And she looks pretty miserable. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, you're on the air. Hey, hey now. Uh, what's hey going now. On? What's up? Hey, girls. I know you guys don't really like my mom, but she's black. But it's true or not. What? What? Well, have you been tuning in for the last? No, yeah, Erica took the, the lie detector. No, we, we don't like her because she's crazy. Can you imagine you could not like a black person for some other reason? <laughs> Good one. <laughs> All right, final question, and then you guys, I'll let you out of here. And you, you, know, you were very brave to take the lie detector Thank test. Thank you. John, you're on the air. Howard, you are the luckiest man in this world right now. You have love three you hot women in there? That's so sweet. That's right. That's very Thank you. Yeah, three smart, ladies. Smart too. I can't even watch the final episode because none of them are on today. No, we'll be there. No, we'll all be there. We're all back live. Naked. Okay. All back live, not getting paid. I know, you're right. Yeah. Howard. Yeah. Great businesswoman. Yeah, I'm looking at you, your bro. I'm looking at FHM. Great businesswoman. FHM, you guys all dialed up with the makeup, got the special bra and panties going on. Is that what they're doing, the bra and panties thing? Yeah. Who's it? Oh, this is the girl that wouldn't come on the show, I guess. Which huh? one? Amy. Amy. Which one is it? Amy. 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 I can't tell who's who. But, yeah, Amy. What's up, music? <laughs> we should say, if you turn, start training the page, you'll see all our individual pages. Yeah. Listen, which one's Amy? Amy's the one right next to Erica, the blonde. This one? That one, yeah. yeah. Hey, am I wrong or she's got belly fat? Oh, Amy's skinny. Let's be honest. No. No, she's really, she's actually, she's really skinny. Yeah. I'm not sure why she didn't do it today. Why? She was busy. Man, you all got yeah. chick-ass bodies. Yeah, what's going on? Hey, uh, Chrissy, you got the boob implants, huh? No, they're real. Those are real? Mm -hmm. Get out of Let's go see them. They're not real, are they? Easy. You they're are not real, are they? They're not. Let's see them. Oh my God! Look at the size of these melons. How about this? No, 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 no. Oh my God! Nice. They actually look really natural, they're, they're, though. They feel. Who natural. did those? When have you been looking? I have a woman doctor. Well, no, honestly, when she, when she, I didn't know until she said something, and that brought us together. A, you, yeah. a, you have a woman doctor do this? Where, where in New York or was in Newport Beach? In Newport Beach, where's that? California. Los Angeles? California. Yeah. But you girls all lived in the same house, so you yeah. saw each other. Yeah, so we saw each other naked. Yeah. She had one yeah, of the best much. boob jobs I've ever The first seen. time Katrina met Show me your boob job. Come on. Let's oh, come on. Like, yeah, what's the big, big deal? deal? Wait, that was the funniest scene when they both found oh, out that they had each, that, she, that they had fake boobs. Katrina and, like, and I barely knew each other, and we were talking about breast implants. Oh, Katrina, you got fake boobs, too? Mine are real. You're fake. Real fake? Let me check Well, and Katrina oh, reaches nice. over. And, and, and just and grab her grabs boob. my boob. Yeah, I'm standing there in the middle, and then all of a sudden I see Katrina reach over and grab... Christie's boob, and I'm like, what the hell? But when you've had girls do that, stuff, girls care. feel yeah. each other up it's all the time. It's not a big deal. Let's see uh, those Cuban melons. <laughs> come on, Castro. Come on. What the hell? So you two guys felt each other up when you met, huh? And you run around naked in the uh, on yeah, the apprentice. Huh? We, we live with each we other. Have cameras so. everywhere. Yeah, there's cameras everywhere. Okay, so what do you walk around like? What do you sleep in panties? <laughs> yeah. Not on the show. Not the show. No, no, no. No, no but I mean at home. What do you sleep in at home? Yeah. Panties. Naked. Naked? <laughs> depends. It depends where I'm... <laughs> Chrissy, you're naked when you sleep at home? No, I don't sleep. I sleep in panties. Panties. Thong panties or just regular panties? Really, really tiny thong panties. Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Actually, this is a complete lie. I sleep in boxer shorts. <laughs> <laughs> My man's boxer shorts, so it's okay. Everybody cleanly shaven? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. You too, Katrina? Yes. Everything, huh? Yes. No. Well, yes. <laughs> you too, you're getting me in trouble here, Howard. You're cleanly shaven? Oh, yeah. It's like, what about you, Erica? Yeah, it's the New York thing. Nice. I like you. <laughs> well, when you own a black person, you have to be cleanly shaven. <laughs> all right, I'm going to... I can talk all morning about this stuff. You have a million questions. I have a million questions, actually. You have to all come back. How far did they get? How, did you guys go far in the thing or you get fired? Earlier? I was the first woman fired. Oh, yeah? yeah. She shouldn't have been. Whatever. Who cares? It was like you know, it's stuff. true, though. It's like... Uh, Let me tell you something. Whoever gets the apprentice job, they ain't going anywhere anyway. No. Losers. They're not gonna. They're not gonna give them a real job. They're just gonna pay them the money. I wonder. We don't even know where they're where what, they're working. What organization? There's, I think it's gonna be the Miss Universe pageant. Exactly. That's just I, my I, no, no, I think it's, I think it's Trump vice. Right. Oh my God, no, that would be horrible. It would be <gasps> fun. Uh, I think I it's the Trump vice. Oh. All right. I he did say it would be one of his lesser companies, yeah. not the most. Yeah, like a company that doesn't sure. matter. I think Trump's buying a pizza. Can we come work for you, run. Howard? Yeah, you can work for me anytime, honey. <laughs> you better believe it. I could use three girls like you <laughs> around here, my Charlie's your Angels. Apprentice. Yeah, <laughs> Howie's Angels. Would you would you replace me, Fred, and Benji with these three? 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the girls will be signing copies of the magazine. It's Friday at 1 p.m. at Tower Records, Lincoln Center in Manhattan. We'll be back. I'm going to play Star Jones Ragging on me. Yeah, I can't wait. To um, and also, uh, that broad area in Huff Huffington is coming in. I don't know anything about her. I just know she was married to some guy who was gay. Sort of rich and in politics for a little while. Oh, oh, he didn't become gay or something? Someone told me that. No, I don't know if he became gay. That's no. not my... Uh... <laughs> wow. No. He became I didn't gay. know that. If I was, was hoping he became gay. Yeah. <laughs> That's a better story. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, we'll take a break, and then I'll become gay. <laughs> no. Right after these words. Yeah. Hey now. Hey now. Hey now. Tomorrow, Pamela Anderson. Hey now. Pa Pamela Anderson. Hey now. The hey now. Hey now. Pamela. <laughs> Pamela Anderson. And Nicholas Page. Right. Uh, porn star Karina Taylor and her dad will be by, too. Are they taking the lie detector test? Why do I think they're taking a lot? Is someone's taking a lot? No? Yes, I think so. Did That's you what they were coming for. Did you ever call Amoroso and they <laughs> Do you like to smell your own farts? <laughs> Did you ever hear Amoroso say Guinea? <laughs> <laughs> do you think this is funny? Two niggas in a guinea walk into a bar? <laughs> Family Anderson, um, hey, as long as, as, long as uh, Ed Torian's here... Can we hook her up to the lie detector? Yeah. I don't yeah. know if she'll go for it. Oh, she'll go for it. She does what I say. <laughs> sure. My little love slave. You said get into my bed. I don't see her there. Who's more attractive, Tommy Lee or Ed Torian? <laughs> Do you like Dutch ovens? <laughs> <laughs> Do you like the smell of your own ass? <laughs> When you're smelling your ass, do you think of how it starts? The, those questions are always so insightful. The best. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's one of my favorite bits you do here. <laughs> that, that is just absolutely fantastic. Hey, is uh, Pam Anderson here yet? I don't want to... There's a moment of her. I guess not. I can keep going then. And Torian's here for the lie detector with Karina Taylor and her dad. I'm, I'm wondering if... here early. I'd like to uh, hook Pam up, too. <laughs> oh, Pam. goodness, his head will explode if he gets to put that belt around her. Pam, have you ever given yourself a touch up? And... <laughs> Are you attracted to me? You know, that little <laughs> wire thing he puts around your chest has to go right over her breast. He'll never make it. Pam, did you ever hear Tommy Lee say the word Nick? <laughs> 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 Do you like the smell of your own farts? <laughs> We got to get to that. Are you attracted to Ganji? <laughs> she was truthful about that. <laughs> she, was, she, was she was very truthful about that. <laughs> I'm looking at that on the monitor laughing at your impression of it. I'm laughing at you. Do you want to bang Howard Stern? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, she was uh, she was truthful about that. <laughs> All right, well, maybe we can get uh, Ed. As long as Ed's here, maybe we can use his services on Pam. Would you mind? Gave you a Dutch oven. What do you need to ask Pam? <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's crazy. <laughs> what do I need to ask her if she was attracted to me that night at Scores oh, and would she have had sex with me? That's a question. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever sleep with a colored guy? Yeah, yeah, uh, 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 black guy? <laughs> I don't know. They're saying, oh, this, oh, this question's crazy. I get it. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Fletch, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hello? Yes, Fletch. Hey, uh, He's a good-looking kid. <laughs> Hook him up to the lie detector, Ed. Uh, yeah. Jake Gillenhall, what are you going to ask him? Uh, I'm going to ask him if uh, he ever overheard Tim Burton say the word Nick. <laughs> <laughs> While filming Batman, did you ever hear Danny DeVito say the word Nick? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I was truthful about that. Yeah, I know, yeah. He wasn't in those movies. Oh, no, wait, I can't even. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, know, I, I can't even ask this question. All right, I'll, I'll try to figure it do you like anal? <laughs> <laughs> hey, put all those down for uh, Pam Anderson. <laughs> all right, i got to take a break. When we come back, Pam should be here. If not, I'm going to read the email. And there's, people are saying a lot. I know there's a ton of people on the phone. We'll get to that. And with any luck, uh, maybe Pam will submit to a lie detector. Oh, yeah. Uh, which would be great. Make you horny, baby? <laughs> Pam, uh, are you attracted to Gary Delavete? <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know who that is. Hey, dude, she's here. Oh. But, but let me tell you something, man. This is how hot Pam Anderson is, right? What'd she do? No. I was watching 
the Pam sex tape with a gay guy. Yeah. Right? And the gay guy looked at me and he said, you know what, Case? I would do her. No BS. What were you doing with a gay guy yeah, watching TV? I got, a, I got a friend who's gay. And he comes over and watches TV with you? Well, yeah, it was with a bunch of the boys. And yeah. just hanging out. Huh? I was by myself. Just watch TV by yourself with a gay guy. With a gentleman at home. All right, let me take a quick break, and then uh, we'll... What's Pam wearing? Oh, or don't I you know, know? I didn't see her yet. Oh, you didn't see her. Did you right. watch television with a homo? <laughs> Actually, Casey's B was being deceptive there. He was being deceptive. All right, we'll be back right after these words. Don't turn away from me. I make you nervous, don't I? Yes. Why? I don't know. What do I do? You're just cute. Really? Would you be willing to take a lie detector test? <laughs> as to whether or not you... Yeah. I just took trim spa. I'm a little edgy. Would you go under the lie detector test and I will ask you one question. Do you <laughs> think I'm cute? You're gorgeous. You are insane. Yes, I would say. You will. Will Why you, are you be arguing with her? Would I you need a lie detector. You a compliment. Yes. I want to hook you up to a lie detector. <laughs> go ahead. Hook me up to a lie detector test. Gary, hook her up. Okay. I have a, I have have a professional lie detector, lie detector guy here. Guy okay. here. And I'm going to ask you point blank: Do you think Howard Stern is attractive? Sexy. Sexy. Mm -hmm. You don't believe me? Well, we're going to know in a minute. I tell you that all the time. I don't believe you. Why do you have oh, Tom's with you? I must. I have a little bit of. A, I must what is it? We, of we've hooked many women. We, we've talked to women who said it, but have not passed the polygraph. And okay, some have. Go All ahead. Right. Take her in the other All room. Right. You're good in the other room. Yeah. I, and I'll have you mic. Right now? Right now. Okay. Go ahead. This is finally we're going to know the answer. I'm shocked that she's scared. doing this. Look how gorgeous you are. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you wearing Curious. panties look under out. that? Look out. <laughs> now I'm getting some. Look at the little ass on her. I have to have sex with that. Holy Christ. If she thinks I'm sexy, then I'm having sex. <laughs> right here, right now. That's right. You here, in the bathroom. <laughs> you find how it's starting repulsive. Hey, Ed, are you there? Make sure this works. I don't want to miss a minute of it. Very professional. you got to move a little bit closer. <laughs> of course he does. Move closer. Hey, Ed, I hope your head doesn't explode. <laughs> move a little bit closer. Put Pam on. Uh, give Pam some headphones. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just being truthful one. about that. Okay. Okay. Let me put this around first, okay? okay. All right, go ahead. Get her set up. It's going to hurt. No, yes. Hurt. Raise your arms up. Give us some headphones. Well, he has to get this on first, he said to Gary, so the wires don't get crossed. He's touching her boobs. <laughs> I told you, his, oh my he's got the okay. best job today. Let me put those on her. Ouch. i got to go under okay. the muscle. Baby, now we're going to find out if you really do think I'm sexy. Okay. You're not nervous? No, not at all. I do think you're sexy. Let's see if you really believe it. Look at where that belt has to go. Looks like an orthodontist right. appointment. Look at Pam getting annoyed. I... Oh, Pam, I... just take your lie detector. I'm taking it. Pam, are you, am I annoying you? <laughs> Ed can't get the belt around Pam's breast. I know. I love that. Are you? You're nervous, aren't you, no, Pam? Just, why am I so out of breath? Why? Because you're around a sexy guy, Ed Torian. <laughs> Pam, have you ever called the Jew a nigger? <laughs> what? <laughs> Pam, I just just answered the question. Pam, let me introduce you to Ed Torian. Ed is considered the number one lie detector man in the business. He had works for all kinds of corporations. He can spot a lie a mile away with his machine there. Okay. And he's definitely our number one. Okay. He can spot a mile away. And while you have her hooked up, ask her if she enjoys anal. I want to know the truth. <laughs> you also got to ask her about that night. Don't hey, we are about just scores? asking yeah. one question. No, maybe I'll throw a few in. If you feel like answering, you can. Okay. All right. What the hell? As long as I got you hooked up. Do you enjoy Bukaki? <laughs> <laughs> Pam, have you ever gotten Bukaki? Pam. You guys are confusing. Pam! Yes. Okay, you got to put your feet together. Okay. By the way, Pam Anderson's book, Star, is available in stores now. And Pam is going to be signing copies of her book today. Are you going to wear that green outfit at the store? Not this yeah, one, now. Wear that one. Wear this one? Yeah. <laughs> well, what are you thinking of wearing? I want something fun. But, you know, something comfortable. Pam will be signing copies of her book today at 1 p.m. at the Borders on Wall Street in Manhattan and tonight at 7 at the bookends in Ridgewood, New Jersey. Well done. Okay. Calm down. And why did she... I've had coffee and trim spa. I've never 
Yeah. I'm hoping I'm losing five pounds before. What's going on, Baba Bowie? She's almost ready, but by the I'm way, ready. she's wearing panties. She is wearing. I know. I saw her panties. Cute and pink. The pink. The, like my book. I'm matching my book. That's the whole book matching thing. But you're not wearing a bra with that, are you? No. Oh, okay. Why don't somebody hold that for? Yeah, yeah. hold it for. Oh. <laughs> if you pass this test and it turns out you think I'm sexy. I'm going to jump right on top of you. She's having a hard time with that. No, I'm holding it. I'm okay. I'm relaxed. Okay. okay. Pam, I've never made love to a walrus. <laughs> Pam. I'm a PETA member. That's just are you, Pam, are you a member of PETA? <laughs> yes, I am. Pam, what the I'm hell does PETA mean? All right, Ed, I'm going to turn it over to you now. Are you ready with your machine? No, not yet. She's well, not ready yet. Not yet. Right. Pam, I can see Did your you like panties. I had, I had bagel in the book instead of PETA. Look how support sexy. all the other breads. Look at her legs. Are those perfect or what? Would you ever snap a coyote's neck to make a pair of shoes? No. All right. You're being deceptive. How do I get on the list of guys you'll bang? All right, well, let's, let's go. see if you are car close. I'll forget the West Coast. All right, let's go you're to... You're almost done with this. Aren't you almost done with this radio show? Here we go. Can you do it for a while? Let's go. Okay. See, oh, I'm getting squeezed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this way, uh, do you enjoy being squeezed by a Torian? Yes. All right. All right, here goes Ed. Let, let, Pam, answer in a serious manner. Okay. Okay. Yes. Is your first name Pamela Anderson? Yes. No. My first name My Pamela, Pamela Anderson. Pamela. <laughs> My last name is Anderson. <laughs> start again, Ed. Answer okay, for first name. Let's over. start again. All right, he's nervous. Obviously. Is your first name Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Is your first name Pam Anderson? <laughs> no. Say no. No. That's what it's got down here. Right, right. My entire name is Pamela Anderson. Pamela Denise Anderson. All right. right. Okay. Okay. That's sexy. Oh, I get it. You see, that's what they wrote down. <laughs> Wait, don't show the questions. No, but that's my first and last right. name. That's here we go. All confused. The, answer, the answer would be no. Yeah. Right. The answer is no. Yeah. Okay. It's going well. Yeah, it's right. no. okay. okay. I've got some suggestions for the suggestion box. Right. <laughs> oh, you sexy. Oh, God. I don't mean you. I mean Ed. <laughs> so Thank you very much. Ask Alex. me. Go ahead, Ed. Have you ever done a colored guy? <laughs> yes. Hmm. I didn't know that. Good. What is this? Right. This has nothing to do with... Okay. This answer. <laughs> Have you ever called anyone a nigger? <laughs> no. <laughs> These are the Alvarosa. Not even during Quite. sex. <laughs> Ed needs his glasses. <laughs> Where's my glasses? No, he just wants to look at Pam. <laughs> Where's my teeth? All right, have you have you ever been turned down by Howard Stern? Yes. You gotta see the answer to that. <laughs> what do you mean? It scores you were turned on? Right. I'll ask you that. Yes, yes. We have soft lips. If Howard Stern was single, would you have sex with him? No. Well, why, if she finds you sexy, would she not have sex? You're East Coast. Shh. I'll move. Come on, what they all say. Move. Is Marcus Schackenberg annoying? <laughs> no. Let's see. <laughs> not all the time. <laughs> Marcus Schackenberg. Schackenberg. Schackenberg? Let Ed do his magic. <laughs> <clears throat> do you think Tommy Lee is stupid? <laughs> Not all the time. <laughs> Say yes or no. No. All right. I bet you that's a lie. <laughs> yeah. Ask her, if Howard Stern lived in California, would you have sex with him? If Howard Stern lived in California, would you have sex with him? Maybe. All right. Say yes or no. No, we're too good of friends. No. You can't have sex with friends? Pitch. No. Pitch. Pitch. What do you got? Okay. That's really too easy. That's what you think. <laughs> All right. Do you love sex? Yes. <laughs> Todd. Please let that be true. <laughs> Have you ever had sex with girls? No. I don't believe that. That's a lie. I know. You thought she was into girls. I know she's into girls. <laughs> Big lesbo. <laughs> Have you ever had a threesome? No. I don't, I don't believe that. That either? Yeah. No. We'll see. We'll see if it's true. Just that <laughs> day. On and... <laughs> yes. Go ahead, Ed. All right. Did you want to have sex with Howard Stern that night and scores? No. It's a lie. I think she wanted it. Those are my friends. You're getting confused. We'll see. Okay. She got jealous. <laughs> Was Scott 
Baylo, quick in bed. Baylo. <laughs> Scott Baylo? Baylo? Sure. It was Scott Baio quick in bed? Oh, no. Baylo. No, she said no. Okay. All right. <laughs> Scott Baylo went to say to Wendell with John. <laughs> have, you, dead. have you had sex with Tommy Lee in the last three months? No. And she had to count, though. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Think about that. That's interesting. <laughs> okay. Have you had sex with Kate Brock in the last three months? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, yeah. Yes or no? Yes. Oh. It's sex with Kid Rock. Just one. Oh, why? He's a nice guy. Oh, come on. <clears throat> Last three months. Yes, the Kid Rock and no to you. Wow. Oh. Uh, you know what? I'm not that. I'm about I'm in his league. To, yeah. I'm in his league, and I probably got a better physique than him. Have you had sex with more? <laughs> Guess not. Jeez. Have you had? Oh, this is one question. <laughs> yeah, What's going on? Through. Go ahead. We're almost done. All right. The pressure. Have you had, have you had sex with more than ten guys in the last year? No. Why? <laughs> <laughs> She's getting close, but no. I'm so serious. <laughs> Sexy. Is Kid Rock as big as Tommy Lee? Oh, they're about even. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Kid Rock's that big? Ooh, I'm okay, this. I'm a thing. Getting a lot of data here. Wait, go ahead. Say it again, Ed. Do you find me Ed Torian attractive? <laughs> yes. Thank you. A lot. <laughs> he doesn't even want to evaluate that. <laughs> yeah. He wants to believe. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hey, yeah. Oh, wait a second. Gary has a question. What? Go back to the Kid Rock question. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because if they're about even, the answer is yes, and then we'll see if that's a lie or not. Is right. Kid Rock as big as Tommy Lee? Yes. All right. I'll All right. ask again. Well, no. Is Kid Rock as big as Tommy Lee? I have to see them next to each other. Oh, you know the answer to that. Yes or no? It's just different. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, We're not depending on... Well, okay. I want to get technical. All right. Okay. All right. We'll skip All that right. one. <laughs> Would you sleep with a man for money? No. I don't believe that. Well, she won't out of the house need any the money. Kids. I don't believe that. I have my own money. Well, how much right. do you have? Not very much, but I have enough. Right. Does the fact that I have 10000 in cash on me make a difference? <laughs> no. Have you ever smelled your own finger after picking your ass? <laughs> oh, my God. Yes or no? Yes or no? No. I don't believe that. I bet everyone's done that. Uh, oh. What? I do that. I don't. Gee, that's terrible. Especially okay. after I work out. Well, she right. that. That's why she want to Go ahead, Ed. Okay. I might try it later. Is Howard ugly? No. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. What are you laughing about, Ed? <laughs> I want all these notes. Are, am, I safe, can I, am I safe to go now? No. no. Okay. Okay, I'm what fine. What do you mean? That's it. We well, have that's it? the last question. All right, come back in. Howard's sexy. I forgot number 18. Oh, do number 18. Have you ever had anal? Yes. Oh, you have. Did you like it? No. Do you like it? Depends. Uh -huh. it depends. Yes or no? All right, get back in here. Okay. okay. Back in. <laughs> Jeez. Let her out come in with the results. <laughs> oh, I like that. Did Marcus Schreckenberg ever give Scott Baylow a Dutch oven? <laughs> yes. Scott Baylow. <laughs> have you ever been in bed with Scott Baylow and Marcus Schreckenberg? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had sex with a colored girl, Amoruso? <laughs> oh, oh, that's man. gross. That's too Come on. Come on. Well, that's too bad for you. You can get out of line. Well, who was he? Who was the Rodman? Who was the nigga? <laughs> <laughs> no. Was it, was it Dipsy Russell? Him. The nigga you had sex with. It. <laughs> was it Was it Quammy Jackson? Yes, Bale. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Pam, uh... You're so beautiful. I'd love to have you. Are you there? Oh, here she comes, She's man. She's not listening yet. I love when your hair's all messed up. I love it. Hey, Pam. Hey, what? Pam, you are so beautiful. You know, I know I can have you. Can we do dial a date with you? Oh, come on. Be quiet. She's not going to go out with you. you got to be a rock star or something like that. No. Please. No. Or surfer. Did you ever smell your face? Have you well, had sex with a goat? Ed is going to come in what with the results. That? That, that's already doing Ed Torian impressions. That's me. Oh. Ed Torian. But what's a gook? Oh. See, you're not a racist. I love that about you. Is your first name Pam Anderson for this? 
<laughs> Denise, it's your first name, Pam Anderson. That's so funny. It's your Happy first name, time. Pam Anderson. And I said, yes. <laughs> yes, uh, Magic Bill. How are you, Howard? Hey, now. Ed is coming in with the results, so ask your question quick. I'm wondering what was up with uh, between Pam and Angie Everhart. What about them? What about them? Well, well, when you guys, about a week and a half ago, you had them on the, on the E-Show. That's right. And they were shooting, uh, I don't know, the, the calls were almost coming out. Yeah, there was something wrong. No, uh, Angie? Yeah, between you and Angie. Was she wearing the fur coat? I think that was it. Uh, that was it. Yeah. No, that was somebody else that wore a fur coat. I think it was Angie. No, no I think those were you were jealous over Howard at. Oh, maybe. And you two were fighting over me, I think it was. That's what I think That's what it was. was. That's what it was. This is my test result. All right, here's Perfect. your test results. Perfect test results. That's what I... Okay. Ed, please tell us all... All the results. All the results. Was Pam telling the truth, or was she lying? Did she... Was she deceptive? Here comes Ed, and, and Pam, get right. ready for the answer, because this guy's about the best in the business. Right. I'm the best. Okay. She was deceptive on some questions. Oh, what? Oh. Yeah. Okay, which one? Okay. Excellent. Oh, no. Let me get out my expensive data. <laughs> God, see, this doesn't work. Is she Federal the sexiest woman not... you've ever given a lie detector test? I'm telling you. Uh, what a knockout. She's one of the best in Hollywood. You bet. One of them. Oh, God. This is like, wait, I was deceptive in some areas? Yeah, okay, let, Ed, let Ed talk. Okay. Okay. I gotta get my pizza. I'm so doing. Oh no, that's all. <laughs> yeah, there's a table. I'm sorry, I'm a little disoriented. <laughs> <laughs> get it together, Ed. Okay. All right, Ed. He's, I know oh, how beauty is. Looking good. Gary looks good. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Look, Buckle All right. The first question she was this boy called Deceptor was on her name. <laughs> on her name. Right. Well, so that was a confusing question. Right. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Got that wrong. And number two. <laughs> Got your name wrong. I got my name you were wrong. truthful about doing colored guys. She, she was truthful. Yeah, she so you have made it. love to black guys. Right. Yeah. How many black guys? One. Who Two. Model. One. Who, who do you play for? That's who do you play for? Who no, who what, you team, play for? what team was he on? No, he wasn't. Was he an athlete? No. No. Model. Musician. That's just a long time ago. You won't know him. From your hometown? No. Hollywood. Famous guy. But, well, like, no, not really. He wouldn't know. Did the colored guy's name rhyme with Bobby? <laughs> no. <laughs> Am I still... You should just hook a lie detector test to this microphone. You're so being at the end deceptive. Of the okay, so what... So you're I, not a prejudiced okay, so, person. See, I wasn't being deceptive. Yeah. Right. Okay. Good. All right. She told the truth. Right. But, um, she's called somebody a nigga. Oh! oh. I haven't. <laughs> I may have said that word. Yes. But you not to it. somebody. Yes. But you no, said, said it. She said it. I've, I've maybe said it. Right. I mean, you can't get by Ed. Right. Why did you use, did you use it in bed with the black guy? No. Maybe it's part of the sexual oh play. He said, "Please call me the N word while you're doing no. it." No. No. I have we no have tape of that. I said that. Well, I'm sure I've said that word. <laughs> she called the gook a nigga. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do we have tape in bed? Uh, Pam in bed with the black guy. So you can be using the N word on the show, just nothing else. Yeah, isn't that weird? <laughs> Yeah, it's a good one. Wait a second. Wait a minute. This is you and Dad. At you, in fact? <laughs> no. no. All right, so you have used the N-word. You were deceptive and Ed Torian picked up oh, on it. Okay. Good for you, Ed. Sorry. Right. You busted her. Right have, on top of it. Have you ever been turned on by Howard Stern? She's been turned on by you. She oh, has. You were deceptive. Was that that? Be oh, honest with me. When, when, when yes. did I turn you on? It scores? No. When? No, I gave you a kiss one time, and I thought, gosh, his lips are really soft. When did you kiss me? At like scores. Goodbye or something. No, nothing major. You kiss me on the lips? It's the little things. Did you kiss me on the lips? Yes. One of these times. And you were not repulsed? No. She was turned on. I'm turned on. Yes. It's very sweet. Really? Oh, you're very sweet. I'm yeah, a very sensitive truthful. guy. I don't think you've ever gone out with a guy like me. I don't think you have. A, a, a woman man, they call me. <laughs> <laughs> a metrosexual. A metrosexual. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and I wouldn't, uh, and I wouldn't, and I wouldn't hit you. I wouldn't disrespect you. That's 
<laughs> no, seriously. I mean, why, why, why am I well, always... You have a girlfriend. She's very pretty. No, let's say my girlfriend was in a... magazine. Around. Right. But very let's say, beautiful. But well, let's say she wasn't around. You're telling me that I, I couldn't get a shot at you? What's, what, 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 what did I do? It's, it'd be too complicated. What's complicated? Well, wait a minute. There are questions here. Wait, maybe she was lying when she said she'd never go out with you. Let's see. Yeah. yeah okay, yeah. Let, let, let Ed Torian speak. I'm okay. sorry, Ed. Well, she's been turned on by you. She has. Yeah, okay. Well, that's more than most men can say. <laughs> <laughs> if Howard Stern was single, would you have sex with him? And she told me no, but she was deceptive. She see? Was deceptive. Huh? Wow! Look at me. She would have sex. No wonder you can't look at me. You can't. You can't stop thinking about me giving it to you. See there? You were deceptive. Oh boy! You want me? Boy, are you I easy? I guess I didn't even know it. You want me? Yeah, you want him. You want him. This is your uncle. <laughs> you no, want me? That's Ed Look him up. <laughs> that's the guy. This is the lie detector man. Have you ever referred to a black person as a moon cricket? <laughs> I am, oh my God. I am fulfilled. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't, I, that was she was my accepted. Neighborhood. No, he's a truthful. Okay, well, good. Okay. okay. Ed, All right. go ahead. This is great. <laughs> I'm very curious. I, this thing I don't even know about yes. myself. Yes. Oh, liar. Nice. Oh, what liar. else is there, Ed? Mark, is Marcus Schreckenberg <laughs> <laughs> annoying? Whatever. The, is he yeah. annoying? What did, was she telling? She, no, she told me no, but she was lying. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's that surfer dude. No, that's no, the I, model. That's oh, yeah, model. of course he's a, he's annoying. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Okay. Not for you. Do you think Do you think Tommy Lee is stupid? <laughs> she told me no, but she lied about that. <laughs> <laughs> you think Tommy's stupid? Oh, no. <laughs> I get that. Right. I guess so. Dumb as a rock. <laughs> <laughs> and he's love. retarded. Wow, you lied. This is great. Go ahead, Ed. And do you love sex? And she, she was truthful on that she was Oh, truthful. yeah. Oh, I knew that. I could see yeah. the hunger in her eyes. Uh, my God! I'll tell you, I was out of tension Talk during that. Me. Okay, we're almost through. It's so great that you love sex. I love that about well, you. Well, doesn't anybody? No, no. We, we had, had a girl in here the other day. There's a girl on TV tonight on our E show, Playboy Playmate, uh, Kara Welk Wakelin, who can't have an orgasm. It just well, lies that's in. Why she doesn't? Like she doesn't. Sex. Yeah, she hates. It's like she just. She's not gay, but she goes. I just lay there and watch TV and hope they finish some. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I had a girlfriend like that once. We had the teacher. How did you teach her? Did you just loosen her up? No, well, she had to use things. Vibrator. Yeah. Then she, then this she girl claims she uses vibrator. It doesn't work. Doesn't work. How'd you like to use that Tori? <laughs> hey, go ahead. What else is Pam okay. uh, lying about? Okay. Let's see. What was the next one? Uh, have you had sex with girls? But she told me no, but she lied about that. <gasps> Yeah. Wow. I've never had sex with girls. I've kissed a girl. Uh, oh, so well, that's, that's, oh, well, there okay. you go. That's okay. the same thing. Oh, I've seen you do stuff with girls. No, but never sex. Not, <clears throat> not full sex. blown. All right, but okay. you've had you've had something going there. Right. And have you ever had a threesome? No. No. No, she was truthful about that. She was right. truthful. That's yeah, right. That it was the truth. Right. She All was right. truthful. See. What else you got there? Anything else? Yeah, there's, uh, oh, there's more. It's so funny. Did you want to have sex with Howard Stern at Scores that night? She said no, but she did want to have sex with you. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah. Honey, you wanted it. Right. I know you did. I do. I blew it that night. Well, you were into it. I don't remember. Yeah, I remember. Okay. I can't believe You know what? We all I, told you you blew it that night. I blew it. You didn't believe were you it there? that night. Mm, you were you there, She Robin. was there. Yeah. But she you left. Were all I you, didn't see that part of the evening. And you said to me, hey, let's get out of here. And I was like, oh, i got to go home to bed because I have to go to work. And I, I you knew I should just come in. If I hung in there long enough and you got drunker and, 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 and sleepier, I could have taken advantage of the situation, I'm sure. You were both single at the time? Right. You oh, were I would have regretted it. How about an F. Mary kill? Marcus Schreckenberg, <laughs> Scott Balo, a <laughs> Boratorian. All, All right, right, go ahead. What else? <laughs> was Scott... God damn it. Scott <laughs> Bayo. Scott Bayo, Bayo yes. Yeah. Scott Bayo quick in bed. She, uh, she said no, but she was deceptive. Oh, she lied. <laughs> it's in a book star. <laughs> By the way, wear that outfit today to your book signing. Really? Yeah. What are you doing? No, I That's... have something else. Similar. What is it? A, a teddy like that? No, because I gotta wear some. Yeah, I've got some other things. Wear that. Wear this for the book signing. Yeah. By the way, Pam will be signing copies of her book today at 1 p.m. at the Borders on Wall Street in Manhattan, and tonight at seven at the, at the oh, Book Engine Ridge, New Jersey. Oh, I'm, I'm coming. You are? Oh yes. <laughs> yes, Ed. Then they'll come. Right. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Ed. 
Have you had sex with Tommy Lee in the last... Talk into that microphone. <laughs> oh, sorry. Was she truthful about having sex yeah, with Tommy? Yeah, she had sex with Tommy. I don't know. Oh, I did mean. in the last three months? Yeah. She said no. Oh, she no. said no. No. Oh, that was with Kid Rock. I'm sorry. Oh, right, right, right. But no was truthful about Tommy. Right, not Tommy, but uh, Kid Rock. And you had sex with him. You have to keep going back to that I well. Go back? No, we're not together. No, it was just... No. Where were you that you had sex with him? He came to visit you or you visited yeah. him? Oh, he was in L.A. It was just, you know... And then you were like... Sweet guy. I like him. So he must nice give guy. it to you good. If he keeps going back. He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. It was a booty call. <laughs> Had anything else? Why? Well, um... <clears throat> Let me see what the other one was. Uh, have you had sex with one of ten guys last year? She was truthful. She hasn't had sex with ten guys last year. Okay. She was good about that. Well, Ed, once again, you've proven your abilities. Yeah. Right. Okay. Is Howard ugly? What did she say? She said no. Was she? And? Yeah, she was truthful. She was truthful. All right. Okay. I can't believe it. Right. Ed, thank you so much. Right. So, Howard, you. you you missed an opportunity. Would I you like? It. Would you like to carry my balls in a spoon? <laughs> Yeah. Can you? <laughs> uh, Damien, what is it? Hey, bud, man, i got to tell you that you pulled the biggest Jedi mind trick. She was only supposed to answer one question you got. That all out of her. That's just amazing, man, how you do that. It was is, great. Is it, that, is it that she's that stupid or is she stupid? No, I'll no. tell you about Pam. Pam is not like stupid. Pam. And I'll tell you what, Pam's a good sport. She likes to have fun. And yeah, she's, so not, she's just so loose and fun, and I love her. You dick. So there. All right, here's the deal. Karina Taylor's a porn star, and we interviewed her a bunch of months ago, and then I happened to find out that her, step her stepfather and her stepmother kind of help her with the business. Right. Her mother and her stepfather, that's who it is. And she and walks around the house naked. She walks around the house naked, and I said to the dad, I go, so, dude, you watch your daughter, your stepdaughter's pornos? And he goes, yeah. And I go, you don't get turned on. He goes, no. And then why are you watching them? So I said to the dad, would you come down here and take a lie detector test as to whether or not you get turned on by your daughter? Because da the daughter's really hot. Oh, yeah, smoke it. And he said he would. He's here. So come on in, Karina and her dad. I don't even know the dad's name. Karina's super hot. Stepdad. And there's dad. And he looks like a stepdad. Looks like a regular guy. <laughs> really do. I think Karina. I mean, I'm not into all the porn stars, but she kind of has an innocence I like. She doesn't look like some... Um... Whore. Right. <laughs> she doesn't look like a whore. She looks like a good-looking chick who's kind of hot. Hey, Dad, I don't know your first name. Uh, Steve. Steve, how you doing, man? Fine. Steve, I found it remarkable. Hey, hi, Karina. Hey. How you doing? Good. How you you look doing? great, baby. Thank you. You really did. You did too. She actually, she, she, in fact, Karina is known because she looks so young. Yes. And guys dig that. The younger, the better in these pornos. Well, especially some, some guys. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, some guys really go for that. Not me. No, <laughs> I'm a stand-up guy. Okay. Steve, so you are the stepfather of Karina. How many years have you known her? Well, since uh, I was like 18 months old, right? Yeah, you're, 20, oh, my. you're 25 now. Yeah, I'll be yeah. 25. So, so 25 years, Yeah. more or less. All that. 24 years. So, so uh, she's a very attractive woman. And Karina, you describe you walk around the house naked. I do. And, I mean, you've got a body that doesn't quit. And, Steve, remarkably, you say she walks around naked. Sometimes you even walk around naked. Well, he sleeps naked. Sometimes, yeah. And you see her, and you do not get excited by her. Well, you're taking this, like, this is not an everyday, all-day-long thing that she walks around. Okay? Understood. This is once in a while, okay? All right. But, Steve. But you watched this in morning in the hotel. Oh, oh you two were in the same room? Oh, well, yeah. yeah well, well, we had another guy with us, too. Wait, you shared a room, and you were naked in the room? Well, I had to be. There was one bathroom. And, Dad, you look at this, and you and even though she's a stepdaughter, yeah. and, and remarkably, you say you watch her porno films. I've seen a couple of them, yeah. And you enjoy her in a cowboy outfit? That's your favorite? Oh, hey. No. Well, it's barely legal. It was not a cowboy outfit. It was like a farm type yeah, setting, it was a setup. Where, the, that type of setup. where they did it. it wasn't... What did you like about that particular video? The farm type setup. Uh, I'm from Arkansas. You're farm like the farm day. Day. Yeah, I hear you. I'm from Arkansas <laughs> Farms. Your daughter, it's hot. <laughs> yeah. So you related you to it. And you, you identified with the Arkansas setting? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. And remarkably, you say you watch these films with your wife, yeah, Karina's mom, yeah, and you do not get aroused watching the films. No. 
And I still don't understand why you and watch they it. They could anything. They critique them. They critique them. Like, for example, what does your stepdad Steve say to you about the films? Well, I mean, they they think that they're they're great, you know. And then I've got my mom who's like, okay, well, you look good like that, or they need to put more makeup on you or something, you know. She's they critique them like it's my job. I could not watch my daughter <laughs> in a porno film. I couldn't. I okay. couldn't do it. You couldn't even look at her picture of her nude. I could not. I could not do it. Why? Because this is my baby. Okay. I suggest, and I'll be surprised to see this. We have Ed Torian, one of the top lie detector guys. Okay. I think you will not pay. I say you watch those films and you do think about your stepdaughter sexually. There's no way you don't. No. I no don't way. Think so. Bet she fails. How much you want to bet? <laughs> 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 um, I don't know though. A while ago, when I was showing my breast for the camera, he kind of looked off and. Of course he did. Yeah. <laughs> because he yeah, had a reaction to it. <laughs> because he gets turned on. Nah. No, yeah. not at all. Second time, the second tape. I looked, and believe it or not, I could care less whether mm -hmm. you or any of your fans do. First time I saw the actual nipple was in there while ago. Yeah, that was really? the first time I yeah. saw the nipple since I've had. But like, yeah. But what is it? You walk around the house naked. No. Well, well, not. It's like you're making it like it's it. It's like we do this. We sit down there. We detect your test seat. <laughs> yeah. All right. I come have on. One more question. Do you ever watch other porn? <laughs> not that much. Not a lot. I, I mean, once in a while. It's not. So then you use that porn to turn yourself on. Steve, no. I don't need that to turn on. No, he has my mom. My mom is a very beautiful woman. Steve, okay. if you pass this lie detector test, I'm going to say you're a very unusual man. You're a man among men. <laughs> I will say that. Well, well, I'll try. That's all I can All right, right, give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Steve, take off your headphones. Gary, Casey, come in and help. Take him to Ed Torian. Karina's stepfather, stick to Ed Torian, the most noted lie detector man in America. <laughs> Meanwhile, how hot are you? <laughs> What's going on with you, baby? You been making any movies lately? Um, not movies. I did a music video. And, a music video? Uh, yeah, for Monster Magnet. Really cool rock band. Yeah. Oh, guys, cool. Um, you, you, get, you getting into hardcore porno more and more? No. No. I got to figure you're making tons of pornos with that face and body. Um, I made a whole lot while I was out there. And, you know, since I came home back, or went back home to Arkansas, I haven't been back out there. Right. I have stuff that's coming out now that I did way back in October. Mm -hmm. It wasn't with films? my new boobs. Um, a couple. Wow. But are you slowing down? Are you going to continue? What are you doing? I'd like to do more like music videos and things like that and kind of steer away from like all the hardcore stuff. Who are you working for in porno? In porno? Who? Yeah, what's the company's name? A different ones. I have a new video, Lewd Conduct number 20. That's um, anabolic. It's one of my dirtier scenes that just came out. Three Pete Sin City just came out. Then Laura um, can't even keep up. And you've got your KarinaTaylor.net, right? That I'm working on. It's uh -huh. under construction. Um, people can email me through that, though. These are new boobs? These are new. These are just a few weeks old. These are babies. How do they look? <laughs> you would. Yeah. Let me see how your new boobs look. Okay. Let me take a look at them while your dad's out of the room. I don't want to look at them while he's here. Let me see. Oh, look at the size oh of those. Goodness. You went real big, honey. No. Well, how big are those? C's or D's? They're all they're it's 380 cc's of saline. I have a roommate who is tinier than I am, and she got 450, and I just I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh, well, what, what, what are those? Silicone? No, these are saline. Saline. Uh huh. All right. Dude, I love are, them. Are I they, think they look great? Um, like you can't even see the incision. Really, it's right there. Why they put it on? Why did they put the incision on the? Uh, on the why did they do it through the uh, nipple? Um. My nipples were really, really tiny, and oh. we wanted to go this way. They kind of stretched with them. I think they, I think the doctor did fabulous. Well, you, you, they look nice. It was a female doctor in Little Rock. Is that right? Dr. Little Hughes. Rock? Yeah. Oh. You're, You're making it there on your chest. You're making it like we're <laughs> yeah. crazy down yeah. there. All right, let me go over to Ed Troy and let's find out if your stepdad thinks you're sexy or not. I, I, any guy who sits and watches your films and he's your stepdad, I say he's turned on by you, but Steve insists he is not. And he is ready to be lie detected. Steve looks like he is calm, cool, and collected. Seems like a very conservative guy. Not as wild as I thought yeah, he was going to look. Walk down the street and say, "Oh, there's a guy who, you know, looked at his stepdaughter's porn." Right. I think he's an unusual guy because uh, if you were my daughter, I wouldn't want to look at your porn. I'd be, I'd be very freaked out by it. But he says it's no big deal. He's not turned on by it. Ed Torian, are you there? Yeah. Okay. All right, Ed, it's time to give Steve, Karina's father, lie detector. We're going to know whether or not he gets turned on by watching his daughter's porno. Okay. All right, Ed, go ahead. 
Sorry, Steve doesn't look like Pam Anderson, pal. Right. All right. Okay. All right. Steve, give, give Angel the mug a shake and burn. <laughs> Those are the wrong yeah. questions. Oh, no, I'm sorry. All right. All right. All right. Have you ever watched Karina's films and gotten roused? No. Alright. Do you want to have sex with Karina? No. I do. Stay very calm and collected. Have you ever pleasured yourself watching one of Karina's films? No. I'd love if you flunked that. <laughs> it's all the sedatives that gave him on the way to the show. That's what it is. He's falling asleep over there. <laughs> Have you ever have you ever pleasured yourself thinking about a man? Oh. Hell no. <laughs> uh, I take it easy. Just want to know. There's fighting man. words in Arkansas. <laughs> Arkansas, <laughs> man. You're not some wrong. Get you in the head, Torian. <laughs> Do you hate black people? Uh, not all of them, no. Not all of them. <laughs> One or two. Okay. Have you ever thought about Karina while having sex with your wife? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Victorian scribbling. Writing down Karina's oh, phone number. Working very <laughs> seriously. Go ahead, Ed. <laughs> Have you ever snuck into Karina's room? Oh, I can't. <laughs> <Carry on. laughs> Have, Have you ever snuck into Karina's room and gone through her panty drawer? No. <laughs> I don't, I don't have any panties. I don't even have any on right now. Really? Really. I don't believe you. You don't? No, I don't. You want to say? Yeah. My oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. You are telling the truth. Steve, she's telling the truth. All right. Go ahead, Ed. If you were stuck on a desert island with Karina and knew you would never get off the island, would you engage in sex with her? <laughs> oh. What? See? Is it crack? Is it crack in the cosmic egg? <laughs> How long have you been a lunatic? <laughs> Five minutes. Go ahead, right, Ed. Okay. If Karina, if Karina came onto you... Wow. Who's Karina? <laughs> All right, leave that alone. He's doing his thing. He's doing well. Steve is answering seriously. He's a very tough question. No, I want, I want serious answers. All right. Do you find Karina's ass to be a turn-on? No. Hmm. Boy, this is, this is amazing to me. Well, we haven't heard the results yet. Oh, forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get turned on by looking at Karina's private parts when she parades around naked? No. Interesting. I'm usually bitching while I'm doing it, so that could be part of it. Trust me, that doesn't slow a man down. <laughs> Can't even hear you. <laughs> Do you find your stepdaughter sexually arousing? No. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Have you ever fantasized about having sex with your stepdaughter? No. <laughs> Do you wish your wife would allow you to have sex with your stepdaughter? No. <laughs> Seems very calm and collected. Yeah. Can't rattle them. They're working well. Well, Steve's pretty calm, I have to say. Have Just you ever touched your stepdaughter in a sexual manner? No. I'm going to. Because <laughs> he'd get his balls blown off if he did. He would? Yes. Who are you doing that? Me. Oh, you would? <laughs> yeah. He's a pretty tough guy. It doesn't look like you could handle that. <laughs> Looks like he could overpower you. Does turn you on to see your stepdaughter naked? No. All right. We're going to ask this every way possible. Well, I want to make sure. I want to make sure. I think, all right, one more question, Ed. Go ahead. All right. Have you ever fantasized about having sex with Howard Stern? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. That's interesting. You and Pam Anderson. <laughs> name all the black people you hate. <laughs> now, that you. would be name all you, you. like. <laughs> Do you trust Mexicans? <laughs> Pardon? Do you trust Mexicans? Yeah. Tell the truth. He just said never he said, thought about it. <laughs> he said yes, he does. <laughs> Is that it, Ed? No, one more. All right. All right, okay. Have you ever used the N-word? Yes. 
I guess. It's always Pam Anderson. What Don't feel bad. What are you talking about? <laughs> I think you know. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's, were you upset uh, by your daughter was doing a black guy? Were you upset when your stepdaughter did a black hey, guy? Hey, hey. No. no. How did that get, how does anything like that get thrown in there? Well, I don't know. People just put it in. <laughs> what do you mean, how did that get in there? Uh, yeah, they did. Well, were you outraged by a question, Karina? <laughs> they did get upset, are you saying? You're offended? <laughs> Why would you be offended by that? question be part of this test? I don't know. Have you ever gotten hot after watching Karina in a sex movie? No. All right, come on. We answer. Ed, come on in and let's get the results. While using the N word, were you turned on by Karina? <laughs> uh, I got to know. I, I say your yeah, stepdad did not see. pass, but maybe he did. Let's see. It'll be interesting to get the results. Yeah, it will. <laughs> we see your breasts again? again? Before he gets back Before in. Before your dad gets in here? Thank you. <laughs> That's all welcome. I needed to say. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that so important to me? <laughs> Why is it? I, I don't know. know. You know what? I went out the week after I had him done because I just had him done a couple weeks ago. And, I mean, like, I didn't have any trouble before, like, with guys trying to mm -hmm. dance with me in clubs and stuff. But, I mean, man, it was like I was going to have to beat people up. Well, hey, and, guys dig that. Yeah, and I had such a blast just turning all the guys down. I'm like, you can't touch this, you know. <laughs> no way. Yeah, girls love that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Little CTs. Bastards. Yeah. Well, you all know, right. that's what they get. Here comes your stepdad, Steve. He looks cool, calm, collected. All right. Is it possible that stepdad Steve does not get turned on by his hot porno star daughter? You say no. I say it's impossible. <laughs> I say there's a reason he's watching those pornos, and it ain't to critique her performance. I don't think I'm going to be doing any more pornos. Really? Why? No, um, because I've done so much, and I went through a lot. And How will you make a living if you don't do porno anymore? Uh, I'm going to be a stand-up comedian. Stand-up comedian? <laughs> no. Stay in porno, honey. What? You'll get screwed. Less. Artie doesn't want the competition. <laughs> You'll get screwed less. <laughs> Ed Corian, you're the man with the answers. You're the guy who knows the truth. You are the one who can root out the liars from those who are truthful. We turn the microphone over to you. Is Steve telling the truth when he says, listen, I'm not turned on by my stepdaughter's pornos, and that's that. Right. All right, Ed, let's hear it. All right, let me tell you what he was deceptive on. Oh, right. uh, there were some things, huh? Right. Have you ever watched Karina's films and gotten aroused? Go ahead. Do you want to have sex with Karina? You're saying he was deceptive. Right. You're on saying he does. Me. Right. <laughs> have you ever pleasured yourself watching one of Karina's films? He was truthful about that. He, he was he truthful. Has not. Yeah, okay. Mm hmm have you ever pleasured yourself about thinking about a man? He said, no, he's truthful. Right, thank God. <laughs> Hell no. You ain't black he ain't a homo, I'll tell you that. Yeah. That's right. You ain't black people. Mm -hmm. He was. He, she said, yes, he was truthful. Right. Okay. Well, he said some. <laughs> not, he said all, not, all. not all of them. No, that's no. That's yeah. right. Let's make not that clear. He didn't say he hates all black people. I hate the guy who took my wallet. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> all right, Just go like ahead. I hate some Mexicans if I yeah. didn't take it. Take it easy, <laughs> <laughs> can't say that. <laughs> Go ahead, yes. Okay. Do I need to get a Xanax back out? <laughs> Go ahead. What else you got there? So are you saying that in the lie detector, right. while Steve has never pleasured himself... He has been turned on. He yeah. has been turned on. But there's other people in the video. It may not just be me. He said by you. We're talking specifically wow. about you. Right. Okay. Steve, it could okay. be subliminal. Or some kind of something. I don't consciously feel like I do. Right. Yeah. I'm disgusted. <laughs> <All right>. Me <laughs> too. You're disgusted. <laughs> Me too. Me too. See, I'm telling you. It had to happen. That's right. She's a woman. All right. Have you ever stuck, snuck into Karina's room and gone through a panty drawer? She, he's never done that. He's, he's never had a panty drawer. Gone through. Right. He's never done that. All right. <laughs> if you were stuck on a desert island with Karina... And knew you would never get off the island. Would you engage in sex with her? He said yes. He was truthful. Oh, oh my God! That's a nice hip off. Now, why, Steve? I'm curious about that. Why Can would I get you? A barf bag? Why would you break down the rules for the uh, desert island? Um, I don't know. He said never get off. Looks like you're gonna be there till you die. Uh, I guess. See? I mean, these questions. You see, Steve. A lot of detectors are good. Yeah. But they're really pretty subjective to who's asking and and the context overall. Of the he question. has to defend the fact that he got caught. If I was on, <laughs> if, I, if I was on an island with one of my daughters, you would yeah. never. I would break never the break the. I would right. never have sex with her. Okay. I would just use my own hand. Okay. 
See, so there is, you would have sex with her in certain situations. See, he'd be having a problem, too, because I'd be using my own hand on myself, so it wouldn't work out. Uh, believe me. <laughs> Steve could overpower you. No question about it. No. <laughs> no? No. He's a pretty big guy. I know, I know he can overpower me. So, yeah, you're, he's having you. He's having That's you. Right. <laughs> there ain't no two ways about it. So, you see, Steve, I'm telling you, I knew it. You're turned on by her. No. You may not be acting on it. <laughs> no. The, the lie detector found. The lie, de the lie detector found what? That you've been <laughs> that I, thinking about that her. That at some point in time I thought about her being attractive. Okay, whatever. No, but you were turned on. Well, and then all men okay. think what they're Then I don't know what turned so. on is because some of the questions that were asked me were like, do you get an erection? No. No, you well, didn't do that. Time. Well, anything else, Ed? All right. Do you find Karina's ass to be a turn-on? He told me nobody lied. <laughs> All right, I got it. Let's hear it for my nice ass. You have a nice ass. <laughs> okay. and, Steve, your ass isn't bad either. I'll be honest with you. I've seen you. Thank you. All right. All right. And the next one is, do you get turned on by looking at Karina's private parts when she parades around naked? He told me no, but he does get turned on. Right. Oh, my God. Well, of course he does. He's a man, and you're not technically his biological daughter. you got to stop all that walking around naked. You're teasing your stepfather. <laughs> you're out. killing your father. <laughs> no, you're not. No. You're, you'd rather she stay, uh, continue to act this way? <laughs> well, in spite of what you think, it doesn't bother me that she does. Well, and I don't feel like I'm sexually aroused or turned on by her. I would notice it oh, right off. Geez. Wow. All right. Yeah, I, don't, I don't mean that in any bad way. My mom has pictures. All right. Ed, is there anything else we can learn from this interview? Okay, this is officially the craziest thing ever. <laughs> you find your stepdaughter sexual arousing. He told me no, but he was... He lied about that. He, he does. <laughs> hey, for every guy out there that doesn't, I still have my stepfather that does something. <laughs> he does love you. Steve, real, <laughs> Steve, real quick, was Scott Palo quick in bed? Right. Uh, Anything yeah. else, Ed? Do you things. wish your wife would allow you to have sex with your stepdaughter? He told me no, but he lied about it. Oh, <laughs> You're going to church when we get home. All right. Uh, that'll do me a lot of good, apparently. All right. Going <laughs> and you can, wear a little you can wear no panties to church. I said no panties, and I would do it, too, because wow. I don't have any panties. That's great. Why don't you own panties? Isn't there an occasion when you're it's your time of the month or something you need panties? That's what tampons are for. I see. So you never it. you never wear them. <laughs> it's very I, I, exciting. Yeah. Well, and so there that proves my point. Right. If you want to believe the lie detector, as we know, lie detectors can, uh, you know, as you said. But I mean, we asked the question a million times. There wasn't once that he asked that question, and he didn't find that he was deceptive. Yeah. All right. In Steve's defense, i got to say, I've taken lie detectors tests, and, and I've been telling the truth, and they said I was lying. But they only asked you the question once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, who knows, Steve? Who knows? I still maintain she should keep her clothes on at home, and you shouldn't watch her pornos, but that's my point of view. <laughs> you know, at least you're not acting on it. Yeah, it seems that he's... Well, he's, we didn't ask him like that. Just like I said, I'd shoot his balls off. Right. <laughs> Steve, <laughs> you're a good guy, Karina's father. Coming in here, subjecting yourself to the lie detector test. Yeah. A very brave man. Ed Torian, you're a brave man. Okay, thanks a lot. Bro. All right, thank you. Okay. You got, Is that all the results? I think we've gotten them all. Yeah, we got most. All right. And Karina's ta Karina Taylor's website is karinataylor.net. Email me through the site, and I'll let you know whenever it launches. I have karinataylor.bravehost.com. There's a, a guest book that I signed up where people can come in and... And what if I want to get those movies of yours? Movies? Yeah. Um, well, your videos. Do you, doesn't your dad help you with the business or anything? No. They, no? No, they just critique it. Oh, they just critique it. <laughs> yeah. That's it. All right. And then also look for me, um, Monster Magnet's new video, Unbroken, is going to be on Headbangers Ball this weekend coming up, and I'm in that. I'm so excited about that. Cause I always wanted to do a rock video uh -huh. when I was growing up. Uh -huh. I think that's like, so cool. Hey, Steve, what's up? Steve, you're on the air. Hello. You want to talk or not? Hmm. I don't know what happened to Hello? Steve. <laughs> this guy was going to say he passed a lie detector test despite the fact that he was lying. So you never know with these lie detector tests, right, Ed? I mean, they can be wrong, can't they? Yeah. And they can be beaten. They can be beaten. If you're a yoga expert. If you're a yoga expert. Obviously, Steve's not. <laughs> yeah. Steve, you a yoga expert? Yoga? Apparently not. Uh, I do yoga. <laughs> All right, you two. Thank you. We're going to take a break. We'll be back right after these words. Thank you, Karina.
Yeah, I don't know how Sal did it. He took, you know, Ed Torian, the lie detector guy? Yeah. He took him, he took his voice, and then called a, a nun. Really? Like, and, yeah. How did he get a hold of a nun? He just called, like, some church or something, like a black church. He got, like, a black nun or something. I don't know what he got there, but... A he, black he, nun? He, uh, listen. Hello? Do you find me, Ed Torian, attractive? I find all men attractive and handsome. Have you ever had sex with girls? Never. God don't like that. God don't want that. Have you had sex with more than ten guys in the last year? No. I'm, you know how old I am? I'm a, I'm a way up in age, so I don't even want to talk that anymore. No, leave that alone. Have you ever smelled your own finger after picking your ass? No, I, I don't even do anything like that. <laughs> this is a holy temple. You got to keep it clean to see God. Have you ever called anyone a nigger? Yes. You know, they, uh, we all use <laughs> slang sometimes. We all have sin and come short of the glory of God. Have you ever had anal? Uh, I don't know all, all about that, you know. And so uh, we just go from that. Have you ever had a threesome? Oh, no. Uh -uh. You're getting worse and worse. So God bless you, okay? If Howard Stern was single, would you have sex with him? Lord Jesus, we come before you with Howard Stern. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, send your healing to his mouth, his mind, and all of them. <laughs> In the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> I don't think she's a nun. I think she's a female minister. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know. Sal said some nun. It says, Ed Torian calls nun. Nun. <laughs> That's not a nun. I don't care what it is. It's funny. Yeah, she was truthful about that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she was... <laughs> In the holy name of... A little deceptive. Jesus. <laughs> I love the pause before the holy name of... Jesus. I got let me talk to Johnny now. Johnny's got some crap going on in his Yeah. Johnny, I got a stunt for you today. What's that? I'm going to hook you up to a lie detector. Right. And I'm going to ask you, did you make love to Jessica Simpson? I, I, it's going to be a big fat if you no, push and I'm going to pass. You're going you're to take it or not? I'm not? You don't have a lie detector. I got a lie detector test here. I got a lie detector test here. I bet you won't take it. I bet you won't take it. Yeah, I, I'm. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not going to be taking that test. Hold it, Ed. Come in here. Ed Torian is that a is licensed hilarious. polygrapher. Ed you mean he's got eight wives? No, he's a polygrapher. That means four wives. <laughs> <laughs> you won't take the test, will you? If you got some balls, you'll do it. If you're telling the truth. <laughs> you got... Ed, True tell Johnny. God. Ed, tell Johnny your credentials. You've done a million lie detector tests on this show and in real life. Tell him your credentials. How you doing? Hey, I'm doing all right. All right. Go ahead, Ed. Tell him your credentials. <laughs> What's going on over here? Gary, let him talk. <laughs> What's happening, Ed? Gary's molesting me. I've been doing it 25 years. I've done Howard's show for 10 years, and. Uh, you're going to ask him the question, did you have sex with Jessica Simpson, the right. superstar chick in your new movie, Duke of Hazard? Right. D Duke. D yeah. Duke of Hazard. The other guy got You'll say yes or movie. no. <laughs> Once we have you hooked There's up, only one Duke now. you say yes or no, and then we know the answer for sure. What do you say? Well, I'll tell you right now, the answer is no. Will you no get to the test up? or no to sex? I've never passed a test in my life. This so, is what you... Uh, I, I come on, man. You're the guy who gets tasered. You get your balls shaved. You take colonics. Come, come on. on. I mean, blunt force trauma is all right. <laughs> Are you but, uh, afraid you know, to get in the lie detector? No, I just... Yeah, I'm not going to take a lie detector. Oh. Can't stand the, uh, the lie detector, huh? Johnny, That's go funny. over in the other room and get in the lie detector. <laughs> come on. Right come on. now. Right now, if you got balls. If you're telling the truth, you're telling the truth. I'm telling the Tell truth. No. All right, then come on. We'll <laughs> what have you got to hide? What have you got to hide? Just come relax. On. It's all set up. How big are your balls? Come How about if we only ask about Kate Moss? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I won't boy. even ask you about that one. You Johnny womanizing. Now, I got nothing to hide, but come I'm on. not taking a lie detector. Why? Why not? I'll just show it to you. Come on, I'll show it go to you. Go in the other room and look at look it. Look at his ankle. Johnny, yeah, go in the other room. I'll just put the head of it in. No. <laughs> no, really. Right. Just Johnny, get over there and look at it. Yeah, just look at it. Come on. Go look at I'll it. it go in the other room and look at it. Okay, I'll right, look, look at it. I'll look at it. I'll look at it. Go look at it. See, it's legitimate. Go ahead. Ed, take him and show him how it works. Okay. And drug him and put him in the chair. I think Johnny would rather get shot. Look at Johnny pussying out. I got a mic in the green room. You can hear it. That means he did her. 
Uh, you know, this it. is a guy who would do anything. <laughs> Sit in the chair. How does he put it up? He's got it up. Show him how you put it on. Let me hear that. This goes around the front party. This goes on your arm. Will alcohol and amphetamines affect the outcome of the test? <laughs> well, we take that into consideration. Ed, strap him in now, quick. He said, strap him in now, quick. All right, guys, lock the door. Lock the door and strap him in. <laughs> Sit down. He's sitting. Come on. Are oh, you sitting? All right. All right. That's Paul. Get hooked up. Hook him up. Hook him up. I don't have the question. I got the question. I'll you tell you what they're. You don't worry about the questions, Ed. You let me ask those questions. <laughs> I need the questions. Johnny's nervous. Hold on. Hold on, Johnny. Johnny's nervous. Oh, what's he got to hide? What else can we ask? I've seen this guy get tasered in the nuts, and he's not nervous. Wake up, Johnny. I really have. I know. <laughs> can Johnny hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, Johnny. Yeah. You're a brave man. Now we're going to know the answer for sure. Absolutely. All right. Are you ready to begin the test? But he says alcohol and amphetamines affect the outcome of the test. I just want you to know. That's all right. All right. That'll probably help you. When did you drink? Uh, about 45 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> you had a party last night, right? Uh, yeah, for a little while. And what are you doing on amphetamines? Well, they're, they're, I like them. <laughs> <laughs> they help with food. What the hell kind of question is that? What do you mean by that? <laughs> All right, here we're going to have the answer once and for all. Anyone who asks why you're taking amphetamines has never taken amphetamines. <laughs> Thank you, Artie. Exactly. All right, I'm going to ask Johnny five questions, as long as you get him strapped in Well, anyway. first he's got to set the parameters. You know, Ed's got to ask him his name and stuff like that, all just right. so they get the baseline. So Why bother with that? <laughs> because we want to be able to read the results. I might be lying about everything. Right. Well, we'll know in a minute. <laughs> he's not in the Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> I'm going to ask you if you really love amphetamines. The machine might explode, Howard. <laughs> Johnny Knoxville, ready to undergo the test of his life. He can shut up all the tabloids now. If he fails this test, his wife will divorce him immediately. We have her in another room. We have her in another room <laughs> to cut his nuts off if he flunks this test. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica Simpson, we've, it has just been reported, is listening very nervously. And Nick Lachey is very upset. Kate Moss, angry. Just listen to all the people who are listening to the show. Yeah. Oh, I need the questions. Are you ready? Wait, hold on for a second. Do I'll your baseline the... thing, Ed. Do your baseline thing, Ed. Like, what's your name and stuff? All right. All right, go ahead. Okay, Johnny, just hold on for a second, buddy. <laughs> buddy. <laughs> Is that how he loosens everybody up? Like buddy. Buddy I'm a people person. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Okay, you're going to feel a little pressure in your arm, John. Just look straight ahead. Try not to move for a minute. I like That's how we strap him in. That's it. You uh, nervous, Johnny? No. I, I Yeah, no, I'm feeling great. I feel like a million bucks. <laughs> at, at this point, in order to get an accurate reading, we should take Johnny's headphones All off. All right, take Johnny's headphones off. All right. If Johnny feels a hard protrusion, that's Ed's crotch leaning into him. Okay, buddy. Tenderly. But I, can you play it back in the room so I can hear what they're saying? No, that's the trick. <laughs> You'll only hear Ed Torian. That's why I don't want you to say you were I'm confused. sure it affects the reading, the headphones. Here we go. Okay, go ahead. Well, hold on for a second. Do you have to ask him his name and stuff so you have some yeah. standard? Go ahead, right, do all okay. that. Do all that. All right, hold on for a second. Well, come on. All right, all right. <laughs> ask him if his name is Johnny Knoxville. All right. Is your first name Johnny? Yes. I ask him, uh, are you married? Are you married? Yes. Are you happy? No. Are you happy? <laughs> are you happy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? Here's the big question. Get ready. Uh, okay, hold on for a second. Just right. hold on. Tell me when, when you're ready. Okay. Okay, go ahead, Howard. Go ahead. Did you have sex with Jessica Simpson? Did you have sex with Jessica Simpson? Nope. Did you tongue kiss Jessica Simpson? Did you tongue kiss Jessica Simpson? Nope. <laughs> All right. 
Did you, did you repeat that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Have you ever called Amorosa a nigger? <laughs> oh, wait, that's wrong test. Wrong test. Wrong test, I'm sorry. Okay. All right, all right, here we go. Okay. Are you ready? All right, go ahead. Have you ever had sex with a farm animal? Have you ever had sex with a farm animal? <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> Do you think Jessica Simpson is an idiot? <laughs> Do you think Jessica Simpson's an idiot? No. <laughs> Have you ever used the term nigger? Have you ever used the term nigger? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Have you ever pleasured yourself thinking of Jessica Simpson? Have you ever pleasured yourself thinking of Jessica Simpson? No. <laughs> All right, I think we got enough. All right, I think we have the uh, information. Yeah, we need. got Jessica covered. I think we got it covered. Okay. All right, ask him this real quick, though, as long as he's in there. Don't untie uh, well, him yet. Uh, ask him, uh, if me, Ed Torian, unzipped your zipper and reached into your pants right now, would you mind? No, not me. Yeah, no. you. Yeah, hey, you. Hey, ask him. You ask him. Hey, yeah. You ask him. Oh, All right. <laughs> you tell him. I just say, are you attracted to me, Ed Torian? Uh, are you attracted to me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Get him out of there, and in a minute, we're going to know. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. And you go compile the results. And analyze the results. Okay. All right. All right. Johnny will be back in here. We're unstrapping him right now. Johnny Knoxville, the star of Dukes yeah. of Hazard, opening Friday in theaters everywhere. Yeah, he's going to work with Bird Reynolds. Turns out we found out from the lie detector test that Ed Torian did Jessica Simpson. <laughs> All the results were back. Yeah. Did you ever, ever think of me, Ed Torian, <laughs> while pleasuring yourself to a Dutch oven with Jessica Simpson? <laughs> what do you think the results are going to be? I think he failed. You think he's had sex with Jessica Simpson? Of course he has. So do I. Get Johnny back in here. See, Johnny, you stepped up like a man. See, I took a test. You got nothing to hide. Very nice. Now let's get the results. <laughs> got nothing to hide. <laughs> you, got, you, you, didn't, you got a little swagger in your step. Yeah, yeah right all excited. now. Yeah, <laughs> excited now. Wait till you flunk. <laughs> you think about it, though. He's a star of a studio movie who admitted to taking amphetamines and using the N-word. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who, who in here hasn't used the N-word? Me. Me. Uh, <laughs> Actually, just when I got a bet on a nickname, that's the only time I use it. Oh, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, it's not every day. Oh Sometimes you get out of The man was losing his shirt. <laughs> get out of hand, there man. may be appropriate times, but that's not one of them. Here comes Ed Torian with the result oh, yeah. already. All right. Now you're going to find out, ladies and gentlemen, once and for all, if Mr. John Knoxville. John Knoxville? Is that his John Knoxville the third. John R. Knoxville. Your real name isn't actually John Knoxville, is it? No, it's Philip John. Right. First name's not Johnny. Is so you... it Knoxville your real name? No, 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 no. I, see, he lied there. So you lied there, so it's yourself yeah. is a lie. The first question should be a lie. <laughs> well, the first question was a lie. Was it really? <laughs> was the first question a lie? Yeah, he came back to set the one out. His first name's not John. What is it? Well, you know, acting it's Johnny, and, you know, real name's Philip. Right. What? You didn't ask real or accurate. All right. So. You were deceptive on your name, and that's true. Yeah. All right. Let's Barry, see how accurate this is. You're not Barry. dealing with some whack job. All right. Here we go. Okay. Question number one. Is your name Johnny? Right. You failed that one. He failed his own name. <laughs> right. Okay. So? That shows you, though. You, you, you got to throw the test out now. That means it's good. Oh, it's good. Okay. Question number two. Are you married? Yes. He's truthful. He oh, is married. So he did tell the truth there. Right. All right. We knew he was married. <laughs> Question number I didn't know that. Yeah, he's married. Oh, no good. one knows it because he's always on dates. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know he's married. Good. But seriously, aren't you always reporting? Every minute I'm reading you're making out in clubs and you're, you're you know. Uh... Do people make up all this stuff about you? Yeah, I'll go out to I'll go out to clubs a lot and have drinks, uh, you know. But you know, I'm not making that in any clubs. You're what? not. Not no. even with like like Kate Moss. You're no, not getting no. into fights over girls. And... I've been in plenty of fights. Over girls. 
He's about to get in one right now with a Torium. <laughs> All right. And, okay, this is the big one. You ready? <laughs> What's the big one? Question number three. Are you happy? Are you happily married? Are you happy? Are you happy? happy? Yes, he's happily married. He is happy. Oh, yeah. look at All you. Right. Well, of course, well, you, you get, get to cheat. I guess you're happy. Sex with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> of course, he's happy. So far, I believe your test. Yes, go ahead. Here's the one that everyone's going to be talking about. Question number four. Did you have sex with Jessica Simpson? This is the big question right here. No, he did not. He did. He's telling the truth. Yeah, he's telling oh. the truth. He didn't have sex with her. You he pussy. Didn't, you, didn't didn't have, you didn't have sex with Jessica Simpson? Did you tongue kiss her? Okay, that's number five. Did you tongue kiss her? Yeah, he he failed that one. He tongue kissed her. He did tongue kiss her. Oh. <laughs> so you didn't have sex with her, but you tongue kissed her. I didn't tongue kiss her either. You made out. So you wait. failed. He failed that one. Can't wait for the See, toilet paper. Go question. ahead. What's okay, the next we're question? We're going to skip question number six. What's wow. that? I can't say because it, it never made it to the air. What? You're kidding. What was it? Give, oh. me, give it, me an it, idea. It involves toilet paper. Oh. You're kidding no, it never me. never made it to the air. Stop. Which one was that? Well, if I say it, then it won't make it again, Ed. It's say the it very anyway. next one. I'll figure it out. Did you ever use your tongue... Uh, as in a strange area. In a strange area, in the, in the dirtiest of areas. It was basically the question. What is the answer? No, he said no. He was truthful. He didn't okay. use his tongue. Then. He did no, not he didn't do use that. his tongue. All right, all right. Go, go ahead. Okay, number seven. Have you ever had sex with a farm animal? No, he was truthful with that one. <laughs> I don't believe that one, even though he passed. Now I know your test is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you were lying about that. Here's one I'm dying to know the answer to. Go ahead. Number eight. Do you think Jessica Simpson is an idiot? What did he, he said? No. He's lying. He's lying. Oh! Ah. <laughs> so how many months did you work with her, Johnny? Three. Three months? Yeah. And you thought she was an idiot? No, I don't think she's an idiot. How soon did you know she was an idiot? I don't think she's <laughs> an idiot. The test you think she's an idiot. You're not being honest. Yeah, but that I don't I don't I don't uh, put uh, any faith in those tests. Okay. Go ahead. Question number nine. Have you ever used the term nigger? And he said yes. And he was truthful. He was. When did you use that word? I can't even believe it. Well, when was the last time? Yeah. When's the last time you used that word? Why would you use that word? Um, you know, they're uh, retelling stories or jokes or, you know. Right. You don't have to remember that joke. No. <laughs> did you say the N-word while you were doing Jessica Simpson? <laughs> All right, Ed, go ahead. Number 10, have you ever pleasured yourself thinking of Jessica Simpson? That's the key question. Did you ever pleasure yourself thinking of Jessica he Simpson? He said no. <laughs> he told me no, but he was lying. Of course. Ah. Well, we'd all be lying there. And here's one that I need to know the answer. So to. you do go to your trailer and think about her. Did you do love scenes with her in the movie? No, like, she's, she's my, well, I was going to say she's my cousin, but it's uh, it's the South, so, yeah, right. you know. So you're telling me, you, did you ever, like, go back to your trailer and, like, think about, hey, she's so hot, I'll just knock one off to her? I used to knock them off in the trailer, but, you know, not about Jessica. She, really? You, she never flashed into your brain. It says you're lying. It says you're lying. It says you didn't. I, I happen to believe the test. I believe Ed Torian. He's the, considered the greatest lie detector guy of all time. Really? In three counties. No, everywhere in this United States. All right, do you want the answer to the last question? Yes. Which was? Last question. Have you ever been attracted to me, Ed Torian? All right, that's uh, the key he said, question. No, he was truthful with that. Yeah, he was. <laughs> Who's going to give you a polygraph, Ed? That's right. <laughs> well, Ed Torian, you've proven yourself once again. There you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you very much. Keep the keep the thank you. Thanks, Ed. The great Ed Torian, everyone. Okay, uh, nice evening. If you ever need a lie detector guy, Later, call Ed. Ed. Take care, buddy. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, Ed, See you in the showers, easy. Ed. Okay. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Dad. See you later. <laughs> Let me know if you want me to sign that for you, Johnny. <laughs> the great editorial. Well, you passed. You didn't have sex, but you did. Uh, so you do pleasure yourself to her. Well, I want to move over where I can uh, see Artie. Can you hear out of this? Yeah, go ahead. Because <laughs> he's so handsome. <laughs> Thank you. So was it good making this move? I mean, you're really sort of happening now, man. No more doing stunts, getting doing tasered. Doing movies. I mean, it's really happening for you. This is going to be a big movie, I guess. Yeah, it was, It actually was a fun movie to shoot with all the, you know, you go through driving school and we did big bar fight scenes. Did and they test this movie yet to see if audiences like it? Yeah. And really did they like it? Well, yeah, tested well. Uh, and whatever the tracking means, it's doing that. You know, it's, I think people it's know about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because they, they put in the paper every day pictures of Jessica Simpson in her shorts. Yeah. This is what it's about. I Good mean, move. people want to see her in her short shorts. Absolutely. Yeah. Too bitch she's not topless. Well, I'd how go. do you feel about the uh, guys from the old Dukes of Hazard coming out and saying this is wrong to remake this film and they're 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 uh, oh they're asses. The smirching the name, our good name. It was what a family uh, film. It yeah. was a family TV show. Yeah, yeah. It was some family show. Barbara. <laughs> Whatever her name was, Bach. Barbara Bach running around in little short shorts the whole time, and guys whacking it to it. <laughs> I mean, what, 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 that show wasn't uh, a family show. All was that it? wholesome. 
Yeah, I wish I wish they were on board, but but the guy uh, that one, I think his name's Ben Jones has been raising so much hell that yeah. it's just yeah. everyone knows about it. Good for him. Yeah. Yeah. Helps the movie. He's pushing to our movie. Yeah, Did thanks. you work with Burt Reynolds? Yeah, absolutely. He's a, he's a real ass, right? No, he's he's oh, actually very it. sweet. You got uh, the kid. No, him. he comes on the set and he hugs everybody. And he's, he's crazy, right? No, nah, he tells the best stories. Really? Just the best. I mean, he was the biggest star in the world for 10 years running. He, he did more tricks than you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He really did. He's got did you right. beat. Bert did all right. Yeah, he's uh, he, he's great. And then Willie. Holy business. Oh, Willie's in that? Yeah, Willie's oh. in Willie the Nelson, dressing. yeah. I didn't know he's in the movie. Sweetest guy. You smoke a ton of weed with him? I don't know what is in that, but it's... <laughs> Like some voodoo Haitian strain with yeah. like the ashes of Peter Tosh mixed with Prestone antifreeze or something. I had him on my show many times, and that guy doesn't go anywhere without a ton of weed. Yeah. Remember, he rolled a joint in like what four seconds or something. Yeah, we had a joint rolling contest with him, and and uh, he beat Jackie, which was nuts. <laughs> that was hard. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's rough. Like I'm not a big weed guy, but you sit down on his bus, and when he passes you a joint, you you know you can't say no. Yeah. Do you, doesn't that mess you up for the day of shooting? Or um. I, w I, I honestly couldn't do it uh, when when I was shooting because you would have been too messed up. Yeah, it's like walking around. Yeah, you'd be too disoriented, too crazy. But, but he Willie, Willie, he, really, he he does everything on it. Right? He doesn't forget one line. Uh -huh. He's amazing. When all this stuff happened after the movie and everyone was accusing you of having sex with Jessica Simpson, which you've proven in a lie detector that you did not, although you did tongue kiss her and you do think about it while you pleasure yourself. <laughs> did did um, was there a confrontation between? You and Nick Lachey at all? Like, I mean, was he like, hey, can you just level with me here, brother, and tell me if you're doing my wife? Absolutely not. I mean, he was on the set a lot of the times, and uh, there was no confrontation whatsoever. Well, what is... do you do about your wife, though, when she's at home reading yeah. this stuff? What is your life like when they print that over and over again, that you're doing Kate Moss and Jessica Simpson? I mean, how are you keeping this marriage together? And Lindsay Lohan, I think, was on your lap at some point, wasn't she? Yeah, you, you had her on your lap. <laughs> Allegedly. <Wait>. Yeah. <laughs> you had um, her on your lap. I mean, Mel knows I'm a flirt, but I also know she, uh, know she has a frying pan. So, uh, you know, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. You're not kidding me. What do you mean? This? You're telling me you're totally faithful? Absolutely. I can't believe what you're saying. How the hell is all this? I mean, I don't even understand how you... You know, I have to believe that where there's smoke, there's fire. Me too. And I see smoke coming out of your pants right now. <laughs> it's 100 degrees in my pants. Do you have an agreement like you can do everything but F? No, 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 no. There's Are no you agreement. only married in one state? What is the deal? No, no, no. no. There's no agreement. Um, you know, Mel and I are happy, and, you know, they just write rumors in, the, in the tabloids. And you're not going to sue anyone over it? If you do that, it just gives it more publicity. Right. I think if you go out and you like to party, people, uh, people assume stuff. Here's what I think. I what? think Nick Lachey's a real bore. Uh huh. I'll go. All, I'm going to look with you there. Johnny's Actually, on the set. About that. Johnny's all funny, shooting ping pong balls out of his ass and doing all kinds of weird stunts. And, you know, he's probably he's a lot fun. of fun. You know, he's a good shape, good looking guy. Uh huh. She's like, wow, I'm a young woman. I got this Why killer am I body. I'm wasting my time. Here's a guy who looks like he's been around the block six or seven years. You know, I mean, this guy knows what he's doing. He seems to know how to drive. I'm going to have some fun with Johnny. <laughs> You know what I mean? I mean, I, you know, I see a chick falling for you like that. Could happen, right? Um, I, I don't know. Uh, I, Jess and I are just friends. She's, uh, you know. Did, was there a lot of parties? I wish I had something good to tell you. She smoked weed? No. Was she, there she never smoked weed on weed. Did she bus. drink? She, she'll drink, but she, does, she doesn't, you know. Uh huh. Was there a lot of partying? Uh, I was at the, I was pretty much working uh, around the clock when I was in Baton Rouge in New Orleans. Really? Yeah. yeah. Straight, you know, get down and go straight to the bars. I picture you, <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't I? I picture it's a hazard. There's no real acting involved. Either. Real? Yeah. I picture you and Willie double teaming her after that wacky oh. weed. Yeah. Oh. You know what I mean? God. <laughs> Dear God. Willie unfurling that hairdo. <laughs> Jessica bent over. Johnny go, I'll take the turns with you. Let's go with that weed. You're seeing a double team going A on. double team. Yeah. Oh. oh, Willie. Let's get Willie tied up today. I'm gespiltering. <laughs> no, you're not. You love it. You like this attention, though, don't you? I mean, you like that you're getting this reputation as the guy who could seduce any woman. Not really. No, yeah. no. But, I mean, I'm having the time of my life. But, you know, I yeah. can do without the rumors. Yeah, your career's going well. Johnny's <laughs> movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, we're stuck here. We're not on any uh, yeah, set. You've been all over the world. We're still here. 
<laughs> See Johnny and Duke of Hazard open in Friday in theaters everywhere. You want to let me take a break because I'm like haven't broken in an hour. Sure. And uh, you, you want to hang out a little bit? Gilbert Gottfried's coming in too. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. He's going to hang. Uh, yeah. We'll do a little news. Well, you know what I did want to ask? You know, because uh, in the original TV show, those guys had to wear some pretty tight jeans as well. Right. And they had their shirts off a lot. Did Was you take your shirt on? off? Uh, I didn't have my shirt off. I don't think. Uh, oh my no! Jeans, uh, Sean had pretty tight jeans. Yeah, Mine, yeah. yeah. Yours were a little baggy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sean, <laughs> wearing baggy jeans. <laughs> yeah, it's great being in a movie, isn't it? Like you're on the set, they're feeding you, you're doing weed with Willie, Jessica Simpson's what running around. How much budget on this film? Uh, I don't know, fifty. Fifty. Maybe. Wow. 50, it looks like four dollars. I've seen the ads. <laughs> hey, Fifty million. Lira, Lira, not oh, Lira. Yeah. You see, you had me fooled. Yen. What's your next movie? You got something lined up, or is this it? Uh, I have a movie coming out called Daltrey Calhoun in October, and the Fairley Brothers uh, comedy The Ringer comes out December twenty third. You man. Yeah. Just cranking them out. Gee, he left those jackass dudes in the dust. Steve O still sticking needles in his arms and stuff. Oh, I just got back from Russia with those guys. Oh, you did? You're yeah. You're still hanging with them. I went to Argentina with them before. Of course, Steve was in here a couple of weeks ago. He took darts and we shot him into his ass. He right. Loves Pretty it. soon he'll just be plucking his eyes out or something. Yeah. I don't know what he's going to do. Johnny's got a whole legitimate thing going. <laughs> Johnny's like, I'm leaving you dudes in the dust. I'm a movie star, dude. I'm a movie star. You guys are still now. Putting, I have somebody do my stunts. You're still pricking yourself with darts. <laughs> I gotta compliment you on that jackass movie, though, dude. Oh, yeah, God. that was the great. Best. I, from beginning to end, I was laughing. The best. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Two o'clock in the afternoon in a movie theater. It's a great movie. By myself, I was laughing my ass off. The hey. new Wild Boy show is great. Is it? Yeah, yeah I like uh, it better than Steve Jack. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. It's just... I heard you were paid five million for Walking Tall. Yeah. I don't. I don't... Wow. Wait, a minute, you don't know what you got paid? Yeah, I do, but embarrassed to say. No, that's I, embarrassing. To you. Is five million low? Are you, you know? Upset? I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Didn't mean to bring your quote down. <laughs> <laughs> five mil is low. No, 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 no. I mean, I, I just you don't give out how much you make. Yeah, nobody. What's yeah. walking through that thing with the rock? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I saw that. Who's the chicken? Who's the blonde chicken? That Ashley. She is smoking. Did you hit that ass? Be honest. Mm, nope. Liar. You got to see walking oh, tall. Get in, Tori and Becky. Blonde. In there. <laughs> F that guy. Wow. Did you F the chick with the rock in walking tall? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever call the chick in walking tall a nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever, well, amphetamines ever give a Dutch oven to a nigga? <laughs> uh, oh, my God. <laughs> can't believe you used the N word. I don't use the N word. I'm being serious. Guys from I don't have that. And I, I go your whole professionally. life. I mean, only if we're doing a goof on Ed Torian. Well, we're doing it right exactly. now. Yeah. Wait till Gilbert gets in here. <laughs> oh, like a no. oh well, that that. I'm not allowing him to do yeah. that. I'm throwing him out of here. All right, Johnny. Why don't you sit still? You were a man. You stepped up to the lie detector. You took it. And I'm passed proud it. of you. I was you something it. else. That was something else. Good for you. You passed it. I thought you'd never sit down for it. But as, you must as, be as uncomfortable the truth. it was, that that was a, that was a good bit. Yeah, yeah. got to give good. it to you. It was good. That was the most dangerous thing you've done <laughs> out of all your career. All right, let me take a break. Johnny Knoxville. He opens up in Dukes of Hazard. Opening Friday in theaters everywhere. That's the one with uh, Jessica Simpson in the short shorts with the ass sticking yeah, out. Yeah. You ever see her change? You ever see her boobs? For real? Nope. No. You ever see her ass? No. Not was only that dad the standing dudes. around on the set There was dad with her? Only every now and then. Yeah. Not not often. Yeah. Man, I'd give it to her hard. She might be an imbecile, but I'll tell you what. I would give it to her hard. She needs a good lesson on how to have sex. <laughs> you don't think that Nick Lachey is delivering? No. The goods? No, he can't deliver the goods. <laughs> he's probably on Paxil. He probably can't even get it up. <laughs> I mean, he's a great lover. Like shoot and pull at the rope. Right. <laughs> exactly. But I could give it to her. Two seconds of hard love. <laughs> Wham! It's over. Oh, that's somebody on that chick. It was sick, huh? Yeah, she she definitely looks good in the yeah. film. Is she a nice girl? Yeah, she's yeah. actually really cool. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. she's real cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you passed that lie detector. Oh, you. All right. You're lucky I let you off on the Kate Moss question. <laughs> I let yeah, you slide yeah, on thanks, that. Yeah, thanks, Howard. I let you slide, dude. You owe me. <laughs> yeah, you were real good to him. Yeah. <laughs> New York Post reported today Jessica, Jessica Simpson's getting divorced. Yeah. And because they've already of you. signed the papers. Because of Johnny. <laughs> yeah. 
Let me take the break, man. You calm down. Have some water. Have some cocoa. Yeah. And then we'll be back <laughs> right after these words. Hey, you don't want to say goodbye? Ed Torian, our lie detector oh, guy. We mentioned him the other day. Hey, Ed. You there? Hello. Hi, Ed. You sound great. Merry Christmas. This is uh, Ed's wife. Hold on. Here's Ed. Thank you. I didn't know Ed had a wife. Hello. Hey, Ed. How you doing, man? Who's this? Howard. Oh, Howard. How you doing, buddy? Good. I just want to say uh, thank you for all the years of service and all the great radio moments, all your different lie detector tests. Ah, uh, you're a great guy. You don't have to thank me. You're, you're a great guy. You and your crew, you're the best people on earth, I'm telling you. Are you being truthful? <laughs> <laughs> you and that, uh, Artie, he's good people, too. He's a real good guy. Your wife sounds lovely. <laughs> Thank you, Ed. Yeah, okay, thanks. And, you, and we love your voice. It's so distinctive. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot, buddy. Yeah, we really do. One of my favorite things is when the guys took Ed's voice, you know, some tape of him from this show, and yeah. made phony phone calls with it. This is, <laughs> let's listen to this. This is Ed Torian calling a nun. Here we go. This is all Ed. Of course, Ed would never do this. We took his voice on tape. Hello? Do you find me, Ed Torian, attractive? I find all men attractive and handsome. Have you ever had sex with girls? Never. God don't lie that. God don't want that. Have you had sex with more than ten guys in the last year? No. I'm, you know how old I am? I'm a, I'm a way up in age, so I don't even want to talk that anymore. So leave that alone. Have you ever smelled your own finger after picking your ass? No, I, I don't even do anything like that. This is a holy temple. You got to keep it clean to see God. Have you ever called anyone a nigger? Yes. You know, they, uh, we all use slang sometimes. We all have sin and come short of the glory of God. Have you ever had a uh, I don't know all, all about that, you know. So uh, we just go from that. Have you ever had a threesome? Oh, no. Uh-uh. You're getting worse and worse. So God bless you, okay? If Howard Stern was single, would you have sex with him? Lord Jesus, we come before you with Howard Stern. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, send your healing to his mouth, his mind, and all of them. In the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I love that. That's one of my favorites, Ed. That's great, Howard. Yeah, yeah, Ed Torian, man, comes in here, he asks all the people the questions, and he can tell if they're lying or not. You have to come, you, you're you going to come over to our new place, I hope. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I like when we took your voice, how about when you sang Sweet Judy Blue Eyes? Oh, you mean happy birthday to uh, Rob? Oh, that one here's one we actually had uh, we used ed's voice to call over to uh, uh, uh. called into a sports show did you ever hear this one ed oh i didn't hear this well, listen to this and now more of the sports attack here are your hosts jody mcdonald and brian mcgovern barry from new york joins us right now barry you're on the attack how you doing hey have you ever used the term nigger <laughs> i think i know what that was you know it's weird because I, I thought it was going to happen at some point, <laughs> um, yesterday on Howard Stern's show, they, they've been going on and on about how they want to call in to Sirius and see what shows they can get involved. And I guess somebody told me that they want to start calling in the sports shows. So he called in with a legitimate take on Jason Williams, but I was just like, mm, let's see. So I'm going to guess that's what that was. Okay. So I apologize to any of our listeners. Question. He's running out the door. I said, give, give me one call. We only got a minute and change to kill here before the last hour. Give me one call. Give me a guy who can get on, get off. Well, you're right about one thing. We got him on and got him off. His criticism of Jason you Williams... had that of it dead, dead on. His criticism of Jason Williams to me on the phone was legitimate. And I said, okay, maybe he will ruin the heat. And I knew these other callers had good takes, and we've had him on before. And we're going to get him, good, good stuff. We'll get him up. We, we certainly need to give him his, his moment of glory in the sunshine because that happens from time to time. There it is, Ed. You've been featured in a lot of bits. Haven't you? Yeah, Howard. Yes. Okay, buddy. Uh, so I'll see you soon, then. I'll, I'll come down that other place. You bet. Yeah, okay, buddy. Take care, Ed. Say hello to your crew. You got the best crew on earth, buddy. Thanks, Ed. Thanks a lot, buddy. Take care. Bye. Sounds like he's not going to be there on the 16th. Yeah. I could I could always call him. I'm sure he'd come down if we asked him to. 
Might put the crowd to sleep. <laughs> she ever make love to a colored guy? <laughs> that, she was deceptive there. We gotta stop. You know what? I just realized Jenny has to be out by 8.15. Oh, shit. Get her in oh, here. Right. Let me see what she's wearing. What are you doing? Yeah, what are we doing? Yeah, Artie, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you, a homo? I'm telling a story. Don't you know there's a woman? Let me see my girl. Oh, look at you. The belly shirt works for me. Wait, don't sit down so quick. No? Don't hate guys me. Oh, the little panties sticking out of the jeans. <laughs> Great ass. Hi. Hey, sweetness. Where's my girl? Sit down. We got a lot to talk about, baby. Don't get too excited. What? I'm yeah. very excited. Don't get too excited. <laughs> What's with that uh, shirt, though? It's like a. It's about that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Great tits. She forgot a shirt. She forgot really my shirt today. <laughs> baby, you got gray tits. I really do. I really enjoy them. Let me see Early. a shot of that again. <laughs> mm. Can, me. can I airbrush these pictures though before? No. You? The last time I was here, you poured water. Gary poured water on my crotch, and everyone thought I pissed in my pants. Not exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> what were we changing? I recall Gary having water. Let that me tell you day. what I remember. I was tickling you, yeah. and you got wet. You know, I did get wet, but I didn't freaking flood the gates. <laughs> you did. You're such a liar. I mean, those look soaked. <laughs> so, in your new book, what what do you mean that, by the way, Jenny's got a new book called Life Laughs. What do you mean that you only get horny four times a month, two days before you purviated? When I was ago? married. Oh, when you were married. When I was married. Do me a favor, because we got limited time. Don't tell me. Do you want me to play what Jenna Jameson said? Have oh, you actually I heard know, it? I know, I know. Well, actually, yeah, you can play it. All right, let's I'm play it. hear her voice. All right, let's play it, and let's go through it, and Please. let's get that out of let's the way. Go, let's go beat by beat. Yeah, and by the way, i got a lie detector guy here, so we're going to get to the bottom of the career. <laughs> so you better tell the truth. You know what? Wait, yeah, let me first story talk. straight. I always tell the truth. I really do. I have nothing to hide ever, and I will give you the honest-to-God truth. And you know what? You'll be happy with some of that. Okay, let's yeah. let's hear what Jenna Jameson had to say, and then you can talk, and then we'll okay. hook you up to the lie detector. No, I'm not going to lie. You're going on a yeah. lie detector. Oh, I thought you were telling <laughs> okay. the truth. Yeah. I will go on a lie detector yeah. for all of Jenna Jameson's questions. Good. Okay. Right. okay. Fine. What all are right. You That's lying all. About yeah. What, what else are you lying about? <laughs> cheating on my ex-husband. You right. Did you cheat on your ex-husband? <laughs> I'm not talking. About only Jenna Jameson. I'll be the lie detector. You cheated on your ex-husband? <laughs> I love that about you. Who'd you cheat with? A lot of girls. Did you? Oh, that's considered cheating? I guess so. No. Did you get jealous? Is that um, what happened? Only when he's not there, yeah. I wonder if I could deal with it. I don't think I could deal with it. You either. couldn't? Why? And I just, I, I want to just, like, when I'm in a relationship, I am so into the woman, I don't even want to share her with anyone. Even with a woman? I, I, I don't, I can't handle it. I'm probably not your man. I could get no. into that. Uh, I could get into that. Yeah, you could get into it. Yeah. But she wasn't Fine. even sharing. She was going off on her own. Yeah, I wouldn't mind hearing the story, though. She's you're falling fall in love with you're, women. You're falling in love with other girls. Me? Yeah. Oh, God, no. You, what would you do? In other words, your husband, like, sometimes would be included in the threesome. Yeah, and then sometimes I'd just be out having fun in Vegas, and all of a sudden, I'm making out. <laughs> Who would you, well, would you ever do it with guys? my story for later for Jenna, so get in, Jenna. Wait, would you ever do it with guys behind your husband's back? Uh, I haven't, but would I have? Maybe. Yeah, you're a bad girl. No, not really. Well, I mean, how's that being married if you're sleeping around? I didn't. That's why I, I'm not married anymore. <laughs> I knew you should have been married. No, I know you did. Yeah, I, I just knew it. I know you did. He was not you for you. No way. Oh, well. What? When did you figure <laughs> that out? Well, <laughs> if the Jenna shit is true, I'm curious if it's true she was so good that she could change her broad into, you know, lesbianism. Apparently, Jenny is so good. May I yeah. something? Did you ever kiss another guy during your marriage? Yes. You did. Now, who is that? I Rich, can't say. Richie Sambora? <laughs> Ew. Do you Ew. believe this story that Richie Sambora was married to Heather Locklear? Did you know this? Oh, yeah. They broke up. Right. Denise Richards is Heather Locklear's one of her best friends. Right. Denise Richards is banging uh, Richie Sambora now. Is that true? And and yeah. Uh, true. They, uh, they banging a, for sure? They said on, they were out. They're making out on a balcony. they got pictures of it. They're going public with the whole thing. You're kidding. It's, it's a joke. Just, Maybe it's a joke. You mean there's no other men, there's no other men for <laughs> Denise Richards to bang than the, the Richie Sambora? But why him? I guess Heather's not that great a friend. Why, is Richie no good? I don't know. It's just not my type at all. Why him? Did you ever hear the guitar solo on Bad Medicine? <laughs> <laughs> no, what's the matter with you? Jesus. He deserves it. He's a goddamn genius. I don't know. How hot are those shoes you're wearing? Do you like them? Um, yeah, I like them. Okay. What are they, candies? I, no, they're not candies. What are they? Monologue Blonics? Take them off. What are they? Uh, 
Actually, the little cheat Steve Madden. Ah, Steve, Steve Madden does a good job. <laughs> That's a good job. Don't put it down. All right, let me play you. we got okay. a lot to get to, all right? All right, let's get it. And I'll talk to you about your book because you say some really odd things. Oh, there. good. I'm so glad. For example, Jenny McCarthy talks about it. Maybe this is too much information. Okay. She took a dump one time, <laughs> and then she was with a guy, and the guy got grossed out. He went down on her and found a dingleberry. Oh! Oh, my God. How old were you? That was in Life's Embarrassing Moments chapter. How old were you? Um, I was just out of college, 20 years old. And Can I be like, honest with you? Yeah. If I'm with you, you could have a, a posse of dingleberries <laughs> right on your ass. I would eat you. Thank silly. Howard. I mean, really? I'd, who cares? You're saying that now. Yeah, but you know what? I'd, I'd eat learned... those dingleberries. <laughs> I've learned to um, shave or wax so it is now smooth and there's nothing catching anywhere. Why don't you take off your sports jacket and relax? No, no, no. Come on, baby. You know I you want to. You know you want to show me. I thought about it. Then. All right, here's uh, the Jenna Jameson okay. thing real quick. Okay. Okay. But you're going out so and you're people... allowed to do that. So yeah, I do it. Uh, your what husband I want. doesn't care? No. You don't discuss it with him? That, hey, I just dragged No, I, uh, I'll tell him. I'll be like, oh, my God, I was just with Jenna McCarthy in the bathroom. You were? <laughs> yeah. Were you? I was. Yeah. Now, I how was. did it go with Jenny McCarthy? What was like? Cause she's very attractive. She's she's a lovely girl. Right. Now, what happened with you guys? Did, was it good sex with you two? Yeah. It was. Yeah. I didn't know that Jenny went that way. Oh yeah, she likes girls. She does. Yeah. All right. That was her first statement. Then the story continues. We're what dancing. Are you, are, you, are you all dressed up like to kill? Yeah, we had. It was a lingerie party, so. Oh, so what are you wearing? Lingerie. I had like a little corset on and little booty shorts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's she wearing? She um she was wearing a little pink corset and these mm. little low rider jeans. Oh, she looks so cute, Jesus. right? So Jeez. So So she started making out with me and on I was the dance like, floor. Yeah, right in front of everybody. And I'm thinking her. to myself, I'm like, Oh gosh. Wow. Her husband was right there at the time she was married. Right. Oh, yeah. Who cares? And he didn't, he was into it, whatever. And you, you're feeling each other's breasts. Oh yeah, it was yeah, on. Like t touching each other's asses. And, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like getting crazy. Yeah. But you're not putting fingers on each other. No. In front of the press and stuff. No, but then we yeah. went in the bathroom. So far, true or false? Um, almost completely true. What is wrong with the story so far? Well, we did make out. Okay. Um, at in front of everyone. Mm -hmm. Not nervous that she's a porn star. Maybe she's. I don't give a shit. You don't. I was having a ball. I was fucked up, and You're I was like, about "You disease? are hot." You know, no, because it was her tongue. Right now, I mean, if I got mono, I could deal with mono. Okay. <laughs> um, grabbing the boobs and the butt. Not true. Not true. Not true. Why do you think she said? But that? we did go to the bathroom, so you can continue. Why do you think she said she grabbed your boobs and butt if that's not the case? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she was fantasizing, mixing fantasy with Are reality. You, well, you said that you were making up. We were making okay. up. Okay. Let's move on. And let's find out what happened in the bathroom and <laughs> yes, then you can deny it. Or, yes. Oh, man. When you get in the stall, describe to me what happens in the stall if you can. Or kissing up against the wall and... Your um, high heels. Yeah, and she's... Kind of doing the reach around. Does she get on her knees and service you, or does she like sit on the toilet and? Uh, and they... I kind of just leaned back. You leaned back against the wall, and it was really quick. Because then I was like, "Oh my gosh, we have to go." She's kissing the breasts, and then no, she... we didn't even. I mean, it was just like right to it. What? What's right to it? She goes right down on you mm -hmm. and licks you, mm -hmm. and in two seconds you explode. I didn't even. You I was too nervous. nervous. I was just like, oh, my gosh, there's so many people. and You go, I'm uncomfortable, I'm uncomfortable. And I don't think I was drunk enough. And she pulled your panties to the side and licked you. Yeah. Oh, it was now, super you hot. you didn't do anything to her? No. Any and I was so bummed. No. No, just licking. Yeah, and then afterwards, so you know, she gave good? me her number. Oh, yeah. It felt amazing, you know, yeah. and I couldn't stop thinking about it <laughs> after that, like How, for months. For months. Jenny McCarthy, you yes. uh, certainly uh, <laughs> are vivacious and beautiful. You look better than I've ever seen you look. Oh, thank God. Tell me now what's wrong with the story. Is that all true? <clears throat> and Almost? don't forget, you will be going on a yes, live detective. Yes, that's right. That's right. Go ahead. Okay, so we went into the bathroom, and the security kicked everybody out. Why did you go in the bathroom? Was um, it your idea to go in the bathroom? I think so. I think I okay. said I had Pete come with me. All right. So we went to the bathroom, um, both our security guards kicked everybody out, so we got to go in there, went in the stall, and she had a pee, so I watched her pee. <laughs> you watched her pee? I watched her pee. Was that hot? So, so hot because she kept doing naughty faces while she was peeing. She what was does going that mean? Like, 
making like licking her yes. lips. <laughs> yes. Oh, you're so hot that you're into this. <laughs> you're, you're sickeningly hot. Yeah, go ahead. So, so then she was done peeing, and then I got done peeing, and then we started making out. While who's sitting on the bowl while you're peeing? No one's. No, we were done peeing. We're done peeing. Now we're against the wall, like she said. Correct. Kissing. Making out. Full on. Full on making. Were you aroused? My, mind you, I'm like there should. If people could see this right now, it would be the hottest thing ever sold ever. Right. <laughs> but now why um, waste your time with new television shows? Why not put out a video with you? you know, I even said show? that. I even said it in one of my interviews. I'm like, you'll make a hundred million, it. and you'll be really? higher. Maybe you should produce it. I'm in. I'll Anyways, produce it. Great. I'm, I'm serious. I'm like, Hello. I even said it in an interview. I go, I'd like to retire to a great. Girl on girl porn, Jenna James. I mean, just call it. Call I tell you today. what, I'll shoot it. You two get so it on, hot. and you know what I'll do? Hmm. I've got this guy who's got a website. It totally protects anyone from copying really? or doing anything like that. You can only watch it. We charge, I don't know, 10 bucks. Oh, more than that. Right, you give me more than that. Yeah, but you're talking about millions and millions of people. So I'd pay, if I was a guy, I'd pay 20 bucks to see me. All right. Hey, you got it. It's 29 <laughs> All right. That's the going rate. All right, $29.95. Jerry, Jerry, I adore you. <laughs> and even at the end, while I'm watching, I'll finish off at the, on, on both of your backs, so that'll be an extra bonus. <laughs> and you know the fun thing is? I would be the one devouring her. Really? Yeah. So I, right. I so, let me give you a new story. Yeah. So we're making out, making out, making out. And then, um, and no touching of breasts and no, putting your hands down no, each other's pants. No, no, no reaching around. There was no reaching around, and unfortunately, there was no me going down on her in the bathroom. Why is she saying that then? Why are you not suing her for saying that? Uh, because she probably knew I wanted to, but I, I didn't. I, I think you're lying. No, no, wait, let me continue. Go ahead. No, I really, I really am not Fred, lying. Fred, do you think she's lying? One hundred percent. The reason why? Lie this, this I know, that's fine. No, yeah. no, no. I don't know. And why? But I wouldn't go this far. Why, why Listen, would have I gone down on girls before? Yeah, but her, I did not because both of our fucking bodyguards were in the bathroom. But are they? These are big black yeah, men. Our big burly two. Were they in hers? Were they black guys? Out? No. You have white bodyguards? Yeah. No, you're not with it. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Yeah. I get them on sale. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, the white guys are cheaper. Much cheaper. Yeah. So um, I said, you know, we got to get out of here. And she's like, yeah, because they're, they're in the bathroom. How do bodyguards clear out a, a ladies' room? Don't, don't women go, hey, yeah. I have a right to be here? No, they say, get the hell out. Everybody leaves. And then they, they stay inside and they close, they close the door. Why did they, they stay inside? They, they stay inside. In, they stayed inside. Oh, why no. did you send them outside? Why, why did you send them outside the door? Because we were so... Kind of fucked up. We had no idea. You were wasted. So, so wasted. A lot of weed, a lot of, lot of drinking. No weed. Bad. No weed. No weed. Just drinking. Just drinking. All right. So, um, then we leave. Don't you feel like a jerk clearing people out of the bathroom? I mean, they do have a right to be in there. I was so gone. I didn't even know. All I know is people were leaving as I was going in. I was like just, a stampede. Yeah, I just had no no idea. They need to make out. They need to make out. <laughs> Let's get out. And, and so you're saying she says she, you slid down. She pulled her panties she to that. the side and 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 licked you and you and and oh, you licked her, licked her and you say that didn't happen. That did not happen. There and I really no wish it did. She didn't lick you. There, no, there wasn't. And she said she didn't look. I did not go down on her either. But there is a lot more to the story. Go ahead. It still goes on. Yes, like, Fred. Uh, there, wasn't there a, a moment where a finger was inserted someplace? Let's get to that. Tell me more to the story. Okay, so. We leave the bathroom, right. and we go back to our little booth, and we dance a little bit, hang out a little bit more, and she said she's going to leave and go to, go upstairs with a man, and that was the end of that night. Right. Then there right. was another appearance. Because you gave her your number. Gave her, we exchanged numbers. Exchanged but numbers. But we didn't talk. Right. No. Then there was an appearance where we both got hired to do... Uh, some party. Right, that's what she said, and she said she couldn't stop thinking about you. I couldn't stop thinking about her. But well. you two never contacted each other. No, we were both really busy. But then when this came up, I was like, hmm. Have you watched her porn stuff before? After I made out with her in the bathroom, I bought about 30 of her videos. <laughs> <laughs> that's how she sells them. And when you watched them, did that turn you on? Completely. It did? Yes. It didn't turn you off that she's licked by everyone Hell on no. the planet? No. You don't care? Don't care. Wow, you're not germphobic at all. I like that. <laughs> All he did was make way, out with her. If you were so screwed up the first time drunk, is it impossible you went down on her and you don't remember? No. I would definitely remember going down on Jenna Jameson. All right. So tell me the rest of the story. The two of you are hired then to go do another so appearance. All we did was kiss. Right. Then we go to another parent. 
and um, it was the Halloween party. Right. Did you we talk on the phone? Devils, dressed as devils. <laughs> we talked on the phone once to say, what are you wearing? Because she was going to be the angel, I was going to be the devil. Right. So I told her, oh, I got my outfit at Trash and Lingerie, she's going to go too, blah, blah, blah. Just strictly business. Right. Went to Vegas, and we did our little appearance on stage, blah, blah, blah. I was partying with my friends, she was partying with hers, and then she came to join me at my booth. Right. And so her and her, you know, little sexy girlfriends yeah. were all in my booth, too. And so then we started making out, a few of us. Uh, you, Jenna Jameson, and her friends yeah. are in a booth all making out. Yeah, in, in, in front of everyone. Okay, go ahead. Him. Right, all right. And then my best friend, Julie... Yes. Um, started to rub Jenna. The vagina. Yes. Nice. And started to... Insert the finger in the that's vagina. That's right. While, while sitting next to me. And got her to climax. Wait a minute. Wait a Are second. you kissing Jenna? No, you? I'm watching. You watched the two of them. In the club, yep. In a club? No. In a booth? You can call my best friend if you want. Wait, <laughs> your, your best <laughs> friend, it. do you get it on with your best friend regularly? No, I don't. You don't? Never have. And she got turned on by Jenna. Mm -hmm. She slid her hand up her panties yes. or something. What was she wearing, a skirt? Jenna was wearing, uh, God, what was she wearing? She was wearing a black corset with either little hot pants. I think she pulled it to the side, my friend. Right. And then just... And then put her fingers in there and got her For off. For quite some time. And you watched and you liked it. Did you touch yourself while no, you were doing not. that? No, I did not. Why didn't you join in? I would have if there wasn't 300 to 500 people in this club. You had to think about your future. I did. All right, let's go, Jason. What do you want to say? Now, Jenna tells the story much differently in that clip you have there. Let me hear the clip. <laughs> we went into, they have these kind of secluded booths. Right. So I look over and there's like, I bring in all these girls to dance. Yeah. And they're up on the tables, like half naked. And right. I look over and Jenny's like kind of kicked back with her legs spread. And I'm just like, oh, here we go. It's Hallelujah. on. It's on. And what happens? You need to started making out with her and we were like rubbing on each other, watching the girls. And it was crazy. And what did you, and, and then she put her fingers in you? Uh-huh. Uh, sliding oh. the panties to the side? Uh-huh. Did she go down that? on you right there? No. No. No, but we like. You just played with your hands? Yeah. You fingered her? Yeah. How long did that go on for? Oh, hours. Doesn't that go get frustrating after a while? No, I came. You did? Did yeah, you? Yeah, I think so. And then when do you get more intimate? Do you Wait, go home with each we other? We didn't. That was the last time you did That it? was the last time I saw her. I we think each other and kissed all night. Oh, my God, yeah. I think the two of you have gotten together and gotten your stories screwed up. I think this is a big, this is subterfuge. No, 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 this is, this is absolutely... How could you have two completely different stories? And I, I know, I know her. She's not a liar. No, I know. I don't know other than if this is absolutely true that my girlfriend, who I was sitting next to, I watched Jenna get fingered. All right, go get, get on the lie detector. I'm I gonna, will. I, I want to see how but you But mind do. you, can I tell you? I, but to finish my story, said to her, do you want to go upstairs? Yeah. I, I invite her to go, let's go take a bath. At your hotel room? Yeah. yeah. I was upstairs. And what did she say? She goes, you know what? I am so tired. We're all going to just go. And she left. True story. And you can call my best friend who fingered her and then could vouch for that. I was like, let's go. She's like, I'm too tired. So it was like 5.30 oh. in the morning. Wow. So she kind of turned me down. I offered her upstairs. I feel like, like, like if a guy gets to be your boyfriend, like you're more into girls than you are guys. No, 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 no. Absolutely. No, 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 no. No, no it's kind of like um, eating ice cream once in a while. That's kind of hot, though. I wish I was man enough to deal with that. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, I don't think I'd mind wow. that. If it's you sick. are a party I'm girl. Not You're... really. I'm not. I'm really. I don't hardly ever go out. You guys don't see me on the red carpet. Just once in a great while, if I go whoop it up, I'm gonna do whatever I want. Why in your new book do you you talk about uh, dutying? You you make diarrhea in your dress because you are my hero, and you talk about shit constantly. <laughs> It's different. It's different. Oh, it's different as regular guys. I'm a guy. Girl, a girls don't. Girls don't girl. Girl. You see, you got to remember who you are. You're a hot chick. You're yeah. incredibly hot. So you're on the cover of FHM this month. Ooh, I mean, good, you, wasn't you look it? great. The inside pictures are great. Thank you. Guys don't want to think about you having diarrhea. <laughs> Where did you have this diarrhea? Was it a, a it was sign? an autograph signing for Playboy. And you were wearing a red white, dress. A red dress. Yes. Sexy red dress. Yes. And were you all, sick? I was sick. Oh. And, some, some, some idiot playmate gave me some sleeping pills so I would be able to sleep on the way to Chicago. Right. 
I actually, and I don't really put that part in there. And <laughs> I, I got off the plane and was so ill and shaky. I don't know what the hell it was. It was probably the date rape drug. <laughs> and when I got to the signing, I just started sweating and got so ill, and it just came out, and I screamed. I just remember screaming, no! Oh. And, and Guys don't want to hear that from you. I know, but you know what? Girls they don't, do. No, girls don't. Girls want to hear embarrassing moments. No. We want to see you naked. I know, but you know what? No one's perfect, and that's what I like kind of expressing. The, the, the story about the guy going down on you and then actually <sighs> hailing one of your dinglebells. He didn't hail it, but he started coughing. Because Why? It was so disgusting. He, he caught a whiff? Yeah. It, the oh. dingleberry smell. It wasn't It wasn't a small one either. <laughs> Would you allow a guy to go down on you after you make a dump? I mean, wouldn't you want to take a bath before that happened? Yeah, but I didn't realize that, I don't know, I just didn't know there was one hanging from her. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I would not. I, I don't think it would even slow me down. I don't know. <laughs> really? It wouldn't oh, yeah. slow me down? Oh, God, no. I would lick you clean. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, how are oh, You're way hot. Come on, you know it. And especially with the girl stuff and all of that, forget about it. Too much. This is insane. <laughs> Get on the lie detector. Let's clear this up. All right, all right, all right. I'm going. Told, all right, Where do go I ahead. go? Gary, come on. Help Jenny McCarthy. By the, oh, the panties sticking out of your jeans. That's insane. All right, insane. is it time for the... Um, it's beautiful. The lie detector? Yeah. Uh, Ed Torian, who is a great, great man. Let's get Ed on this. Ed's so happy to be doing this to hot chicks. Of chef. course. Hey, hi, Ed. He loves strapping the girls up. My little thing off? No, the... Blouse. Blouse. He's taking her blouse off. And he's getting what you would like. <laughs> Just take your blouse off. I'm going to take my shirt off. Oh, oh take it off. No, no way. Way. What is no, the big deal? No, I'm not taking my shirt off. Well, take take his shirt off. No, this just this part. Okay, I'm wearing a bra underneath there only. That's all right. That's okay. No. <laughs> That's okay with this. And I need to take my pants off. <laughs> Where does this need to go? Around my chest? Uh, yeah. Okay, then here. I'll stick it right here. Give it to me. Yeah. Here, I'll do it. Right. Now, Ed's not a perv. He's just, such a... No, he needs to do this All the right, right way. I really want this to be a real lie right. detector. Oh, wow. Oh, my God, are you hot? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? You have a sick body. What are you doing? Why are you seeing me? Right. I'm watching okay. you on camera. Uh -oh. What you love. Okay. This guy's going on the top here. Okay. Jenny McCarthy's new book, Life Laughs, is available in stores. And Jenny's going to be signing Jenny, copies. You're tall. Holy shit. Look at Ed. Come Ed's on in love. Her. Ed's in love. <laughs> my, you're tall. You know who you look like today? You look like a, a young Jane Fonda. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Yeah. Ed does. Hey, make sure you tell people, Howard, where I'm going to be signing. Okay. You have that information. Jenny will be signing copies of her book tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock at the Borders in Columbus Circle in Manhattan. You should definitely go over and say hello to her. She looks better Thank than you. she's ever looked. And if you buy over five copies, I'll squeeze your ass. She'll blow you. <laughs> <laughs> She'll blow you and finger Jenna James at the same time. <laughs> hey, um, uh, Ed. Uh, yeah. Welcome to the show, of course, and first time on Satellite. Good to see you. Thanks a lot. All right. Ed is a professional lie detector dude. He's done over a million of these things. I'm and so actually excited to do that because there's nothing better than telling the truth and having proof for that. Good. But and uh, we're going to ask you some Jenna Jameson questions about your night with Jenna Jameson. Wow. Oh, my God. You have a huge list of Jenna Jameson questions. Yes, we do. <laughs> All right. I might throw in a few other questions, too. Okay. I won't answer. All right. You gotta put your feet back. Oh shit! All right. You gotta put your foot in my mouth. No, it's good. All right. Ed, you're not nervous working with the beautiful Jenny McCarthy? Oh, I remember her from MTV. She's great. Yeah. Would you like Ed to? Ed is an MTV guy. I didn't know you were an I, Ed, Ed and MTV just don't seem to go together. But I okay. Miss Cribs. <laughs> Ed, I'm going to try and do this as seriously as possible. Jenny, I'm going to ask you to answer yes or no. No maybes, no yes, hesitation, sir. all right? Yes. Okay. All right. And, uh, he's got to wait a second. He's got to wait a second. He's got to read my do his rhythm. Line thing. I love that lie detector machine. It looks like it was built in the 1910 era. <laughs> Look at that thing. You know what's weird is? Even though you're telling the truth, you still get nervous being hooked up to it. I've done this once. and uh, It is I've, a little like nerve-wracking. It, it right? does, you, you, because the truth wow. will set you free. You've done it once, and you were found to be lying. Really? I lied, yeah. What were you lying about? I don't want to talk about it. All right. <laughs> All right. That's my past. Ouch, it squeezes my arm. Yeah. So weird. That's Ed's penis. All right. Jenny, you look more beautiful today than ever. Really? Thanks, yeah. Howard. When's, and before, while he's warming up, when's the last time you were with a woman? 1938. <laughs> no, not you, Ed. I mean Jenny. I'm really thinking hard. Has it been a while? I think it was that night. With uh, Jen and James? Yeah, I, I, I don't do it very often. Like you, maybe I, once a year. Have you been with any guys recently? Okay. Yeah. Oh, boy. Cheating on me already. <laughs> 
Okay. Hey, when you when you're ready to dump your little beautiful woman, I'm, I'm there for you. Really? Yeah. Oh Jesus Christ! You can sit down. Oh, you can relax. Oh. Okay, that's. It. Can I cross my legs now? Yeah, you can cross. No, Ed, can I ask the questions, or do you yeah. have to ask? Them? Well, let me just ask you the first control right. question. Sure. Okay. Okay. Is your first name Jeannie? No. <laughs> Her name's Jenna. Oh, Jenna. Jenny. Oh, Jenny. Jenny. <laughs> Not Jenna. Jenna is... Now, did, it show, did it show that I told the truth as well? <laughs> you told the truth. Correct. Right. It's not Jenny. You're truthful. <laughs> yeah, okay. Ask again. All right. <laughs> All right. Is your first name Jenny? Yes. Okay, good. All right. Can I ask now? All right. Hold on for a second. All right, go ahead. All right. Has Jenna Jameson ever touched your vagina? No. Ed, can I continue, or do I have to wait? Wait a couple seconds, then. Okay. Has Jenna Jameson ever used her fingers on your vagina? No. Have you ever licked Jenna Jameson's vagina? No. Have you ever fingered Jenna Jameson's vagina? No. Have you ever touched Jenna Jameson's vagina. No. Did you ever give Jenna Jameson an orgasm? No. Were I... you happy about the events on 9-11? Oh. No. Mm -hmm. What the fuck is wrong with you, Howard? I'm totally getting hot and wet, and then you Calm don't down. have to do that. Did you ever cheat on your husband? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is penis size important to you? Yes. Do you love a large, thick black penis? No. Are you jealous of Pam Anderson? No. Do you wish Howard Stern would take you sexually? Yes. Do you sometimes wish you never had children? <laughs> no. Have you ever had an abortion? No. Have you ever called... Wait a minute! You really got me off the track here! Hold on, look at me. No! Let's talk about sex. Shh. That's all I'm answering. Have you ever had an abortion? No. Have you ever called a black person the N-word? No. Well, maybe yes. Yes? Yes. I'm going to repeat the question. Have you ever used the N-word? Yes, I have. Why would you use the N-word? You know, I don't know, back in, you know, grammar school or high school when you're stupid, I mm -hmm. guess. Would you prefer your son marry a white woman? Uh, no. I don't even care if he was gay. May I touch your titties after this interview? Yeah. I have to be the best you've ever had, honestly. Oh, me? Uh... No, me, in terms of telling the truth. Have you ever performed cunnilingus on a woman? Yes. Yeah. Has a woman performed cunnilingus on you? Yes. Have you ever been raped? Am I so boring because I'm... <laughs> Have you ever been raped? No! <laughs> Howard! Have you ever been molested? No. Have you ever had a dog lick your vagina? <laughs> no! Have you ever tossed a man's salad? What does that mean? Uh, lick his ass. Yes. Yes? Mm -hmm. Oh. I love it. Who would you do that to? Um, I don't know. So Jim Carrey? You. How is it possible for a woman to go from, to go from a 10 to an 11? She just went to an 11. What you is, tossed the guy's salad? What does that mean, 10 to an 11? Oh, uh, I see. Yeah. Did you, did you, what were you doing to him at the time? Was he on all fours? Um, or was he on his back? Uh, both. A guy on all fours and you buried your face into his ass? Yes. <laughs> and you licked? Yes. Wow. Wow. Did you like doing it? Love it. Didn't it stink back there? Nope. Was it hairy? <laughs> A little bit. Was the guy a real good looking guy? Uh-huh. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Oh. All right, let me just finish a couple more questions. Do you think you're more talented than Carmen Electra? Yes. Are you happy with the way your career has gone? Yes. Have you ever slept with a black man? No. Are you scared of black people? No. Do you trust people from the Middle East? Yes. Do you hate the Jews? <laughs> no. Would you bang a guy to further your career? No. Would you like to lick the vagina of Jessica Simpson? No, not her. Would you go knuckle deep on Angelina Jolie? Hell yes. 
All right, I'm done with my questions. I would Unless... toss her salad. And did you did you pee yourself in the tickle chair? No. Did you with with the wet spot we saw the wet panty? Uh, was that from being wet in your vagina? No, it was from Gary's water. All right, well, whatever. All right. <laughs> would you lick a black woman? Yeah, she's hot. All right, there you go. All right, we're going to find out if you've lied. Come back in here and take your shirt off so I can analyze this. You won't even know what, what question is what. You're I ran out of paper. You'll be nude when you come in here. Would you be nude when you walk in here? Oh. He's still asking the question. No, 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 I'm just joking. He's still asking the question. No, I'm done, Ed. I'm done. Yeah, He's still I'm done. asking the question. No, I'm just killing time. Ed doesn't even know what's going on. He's mesmerized. Ed, I did pretty good, right? All right. Oh, I love when Jenny takes off that lie detector equipment. She's got to lift her whole shirt. <laughs> She's got a flat waist. She looks good. She looks good, man. While we're waiting for the results, oh, that was just it was just hot watching you put the lie detector equipment on because your belly's all flat. Hey, now that we're on satellite, I can probably get the best sex story of your life. How? Well, I mean, you could tell me. Oh. Uh... God. Anyone you've been with that would surprise me? No, but that was my favorite with Jenna, just a little bit. That was it, huh? Yeah, it really was. That is a pretty hot story. I mean, really, if you're going to pick two girls, why not be me and her? You bored you, though, right? You have? What? what, what you can't shake your head. <laughs> yes or no, have you orgied? <laughs> yeah, a couple times. What does that mean, an orgy? I don't know, more than two. More than two girls or more than more two people? Two people? No kidding. Yeah. Where'd that happen? I don't know. Back at the Playboy Mansion? Probably. You ever see Hef's penis? No. Thank God. You've never no. been in that room when he's doing it? No. No, but I've been in the grotto, you know, and watching uh, the 90-year-old men. Oh. Do it to 20-year-old girls. Yeah, it's really sad. Uh, other celebrities at the orgy when you did it? No. Just you? You know, I'm not really big on celebrities. No? They really kind of bother me. Why? I don't know. Egos, maybe? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what is it, Gary? What do you want from me? I'm in the middle of a sexual discussion. Don't interrupt. Ed's on too, and you should turn down. The I turned it down. Don't worry about it. I know what I'm doing. Ed, just sit down, please. Ed, oh, sit down. It's my <laughs> Ed's doing a circle dance. <laughs> All right, Ed. Uh, Jenny McCarthy's book, Life Laughs, is available in stories today. She speaks, among other things, about her dingleberries while guys go down on her. Sex. Thriving for blowjobs. Uh, you talk about sex. You talk about, uh, what do you mean bobbing for blowjobs? Bribing, bribing for blowjobs. What does that mean, bribing for blowjobs? How, how to get your man to do things around the house, and then you reward him with a blowjob. Are you great at a blowjob? I'm really good. Why? What's going on? Why? Where's, 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 where's she going? Oh, shit. Read the right. results. Let's read the results. Ed, basically, I hours what I want to know is, Ed, yeah. tell me, you are an expert in this field. Right. Tell me the truth. Is Jenny McCarthy being deceptive? And where she's being deceptive. Let's let's uh, go through it. Okay. All right. Tell me. Give me the results. Right. You want to go from backwards? She was telling the truth on the back on the last one. So. Angelina Jolie. She yeah, said, she yeah. said uh, she wants her that was truthful. Jessica right. Simpson. She, yeah, she does. She was she, she was, was truthful about that. She doesn't like Jessica. That's Simpson. truthful. Oh, I wonder. like Jessica. I don't want to go down on Jessica. Wonder no. why she's so hot. I, I don't think she'd enjoy it. All right, okay, good yeah. enough. Let's go, Ed. Let's get up to... Um, Let's get to the Jenna Jameson. That's what we came yeah. here Okay. Tell uh, people about that. We asked her first, has Jenna Jameson ever touched your vagina? And she said no. And was she being truthful? Yeah, she was being truthful. What about, uh, have you ever used the... Well, that would, what about the licking of Jenna Jameson's vagina? Was any of it, whatever whatever Jenny McCarthy said, was it right, all truthful but, but, there? But regarding Jenna Jameson, she was truthful. She was. Oh, see? Yeah. Where well, was she not yeah. truthful what about? What was she it? not truthful about? Was she happy well, about 9/11? I have a well, feeling she, she was. <laughs> There's one question is she came up to set the one. What Which one? That? The one where she wanted to have sex with me? No, did you give Janice Jameson an orgasm? Yeah. Well, she told me maybe, no, but... maybe, maybe while I kissed her, she came. Yeah, that is a bad question, yeah. actually. I was going to say right. that's probably a poorly worded, but worded see, Howard, question. But Howard, now you know that if I'm going to tell you some sex stories... They're true. They really are. Okay, I just don't understand why Jenna Jameson had a lie. You know what? She probably didn't lie. She was probable. It was. But she was probably living in the fantasy of what could be. Maybe and, she you know, was wasted. Yeah, and my girlfriend next to her, I mean, I was sitting next to her while she was getting fingered, so who knows where she thought the finger was coming from. Does uh, does uh, Jenny McCarthy think about large, thick, black penis? Yeah, she does. She does. <laughs> <laughs> does she want me to take her sexually? Is it true? Yeah, she, she likes does. Yeah, she likes she does. me. Wow. What about abortion and rape and molestation? No. Well, uh, 
Uh, she saw her, she had children. Oh. She is. No. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I am good. No, you, you, you have regret. You're upset about that. I love my kids. So she has, yeah, I, I can't imagine you sitting at home with the kids. Unbelievable. <laughs> All right. So it was a mistake. So what? Uh, no, I love him more than anything. Let yeah, your you're husband, dealing but, with it. You're dealing with it. Let your husband watch the kid. Yes. All right. She prefers her son marry a white guy, a white man. Oh, really? She wants to marry a white, white, white woman. All right. You, she, woman. she would rather. She, yeah. she was being deceptive. Right. She would rather he marry someone white. Right. Okay, go ahead. What about, uh, can I touch her titties? That was okay? That was truthful? Yeah, that was truthful. You can do that. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, Are you ready? Because i got to go. You want to touch my boob? Yes. And uh, I better not, actually. Go right ahead. Um, what about her? already done it. <laughs> anything else there that I should know? Uh, did she sleep with a black man or not? Uh, we asked her, have you ever slept with a black man? She said no. Is she lying? No, she's telling the truth about telling that. The truth. Does she trust the Jews? No, she doesn't trust oh. the Jews. She doesn't trust the Jews. I knew it. She I knew it. I do. <laughs> I knew you didn't trust the Jews. I do. Uh, and she don't trust the Middle Eastern. Would she bang a guy? Would she bang a guy to further her career? Yes. yes. She would. Yeah. Oh. She said no. No. Well, she no, said dude, no. She was lying. <laughs> no. That's probably the most truthful one. Ed, she's lying that she would uh, bang a guy. Right. All right. Well, that's very good. Ed Torian, I can't thank you enough. Thank you, sir. Okay. You are just as weird as I thought you were going to be. <laughs> yes. What is it? Sign this in. What is it? Oh, my God. He wants me to sign this thing. I love it. Wait, wait a second. I can't hear you, Gary. Quickly. If you look on my preview page in yellow, there's, uh, Ed Torian just caught a song for us. That's pretty amazing. Is that oh, right? Really? Uh, Gary, preview page one or two? No, I'm going to here. What? I can't hear. One. One. All right, here we go. Let's on the see. front and back. Love my niggas, but where's my bitches? I love my niggas, but where's my bitches? I love my niggas. Name on that? That's so nice. Uh, hey, can we sign like? Right? Hey, Ed, do you think we could sign That's autographs? Sign autographs? Do you think we could sign autographs at the end? Uh, no, like when I'm done. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Ed. Sign that for my daughter <laughs> on the back. Uh, Jenny McCarthy, you yeah. are more beautiful than ever. Thank Howard, you too. You, you are exciting. Where are you off to to promote this book? Oh my God! Were you, is Hell it everywhere? And back, Hell everywhere, and back. twelve hours a day this are, week. Are you coming to our big film festival Thursday night, or are you going back? Oh, to I'm LA? back in You're LA. You're back in LA. Well, that's because, too bad. We I know. Have, we would have invited you to the big film festival. It's going to be great. Well, you can come by my autograph signing. Oh, that's right. The autograph sign. Jenny will be signing copies of her book tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock at Borders, Columbus Circle in Manhattan. I think it, what are you going to wear? Are you going to wear this outfit or no, something I'm gonna different? No, I'm going to wear a little nutty dress. A little nutty dress. Show up your legs. Yeah, exactly. No panties? If you request it. I'm requesting no panties at the big signing. No panties. No panties. And when is. people take pictures of me, they can test it by testing and see if there's any there. All right. And before you leave, all of my staff will come in and squeeze your luscious boobs. I love it. Guys, anyone who wants to squeeze uh, Jenny McCarthy's <laughs> boob, quickly get on. Get him on. i got to get out of here. Quickly. Hey, no. <laughs> right, go ahead. On the outside. Uh, on the outside. How is that, Benji? Good. All right. Get away from me. Come out with you. All right. We're going to take a break. We'll be back right after these words. Oh, thank you so much. Just in case I want to tell Ed Torrey and the lie detector guy is out in the hallway talking about he wants to get a money for a porno film. He wants to <laughs> produce a porno film. He's got an idea what for it. What are you one. talking about? That's a creepy fuck. <laughs> what are you talking about? Ed, uh, Ed's got an idea for a porno What's film. What's his idea? Where is Ed? Oh, he went on one of my business cards. I hope he don't want it for that shit. It's lots of fucking and sucking. <laughs> Ed, I never pegged you. I always pegged you as like this conservative guy. I didn't realize you want to produce porn. Oh, yeah, that was my big thing. I wanted to, uh... I want to do a Bukaki film. <laughs> <laughs> you know, creepy bastard. When I was younger, I wanted to either be a pimp or a cop, so I ended up being a... a <laughs> How did you miss being a pimp? <laughs> What's your idea for a porno film? Oh, you know what? i got to tell Robin something. Put the mic near your mouth. You know the the hooker with the heart? She told me to tell you say hello. You know the one that you read out about, uh... You read the article about six months ago. What the Whatever. fuck are you the talking about? <laughs> the hooker with the heart. Jesus. Whatever. <laughs> Remember that article you read about the cat, 1988? <laughs> well, wait, just make a long story short. <laughs> Please do. Yeah, she got... <laughs> Feel free. All right, okay. Go ahead, yeah. She got three and a half years in prison, right? So she told me before she went up to prison, she said, listen, I got to listen to Howard. So I said, all right, I'll get to the uh, Sirius. So I'm bringing the Sirius up, and she's going to hook up the uh, antenna to the bars to enable to get the, good, uh, good, get good. the reception. <laughs> get the fucking net. <laughs> this is the short version. All right, okay. So how do you know this hooker went to jail for three years? Well, it was in all the papers. Uh, so how, how do you, do you know, know her? her? 
Oh, I, well, she, I used to do all her uh, lie detector work. She used to call me in, and I used to go in a green room, and I used to polygraph all the uh, the escort girls. You know, make sure they weren't stealing, they weren't stealing clients. Oh. You mean the madam to the right. escort girls hired you right. to polygraph all the whores right. to make sure they were giving the full cut to the madam? That's right. Wow. You got it right. Did you catch any whores who were, who were trying to sidestep the madam? Oh, sure. It was no all kidding. The, it was all the time. That's you know, not too much pressure. Yeah, yeah they that's tried, wild. They try to beat the madam out of customers. You know, they got clients, and they'll try to steal the clients. And oh, would they get a lead pipe to the shin if they uh, <laughs> stole any money? Ho any whores off your freebies to lie? Oh, it was constant. <laughs> really? Constant all the time. But God, you the guys, pussy I got, got in, right. fact, in fact, <laughs> what? God, I was up to my knees in pussy. <laughs> in fact, one of Martin Sheen's girls used to work for her, too. Martin Sheen? <laughs> Charlie Sheen, you mean? Oh, the young guy. <laughs> Charlie Sheen. Yes. How old are you, fucker? <laughs> Easy. Hey, so you like Yucko? He's a yeah, Yucko's a good guy. I yeah. like Yucko. Like he's Yucko. all right. Yeah, he's all right. <laughs> all right, whatever. So, Ed, tell me your idea for the porn All right, well, I was talking to uh, Sal and uh, no, Christy. No, that's, that's the right guys to talk to. Right. Yeah. right. So, I said, listen, why don't we hook up? I can get this hotel room down downtown. And we'll bring in a porno. You uh, can get a hotel room, you think? That's great. A porno, porno actress. <laughs> Go ahead. And walk her up to the lie detector. Go ahead. And so, it's a film about lie detection. No, but it's porno. Me. Right, a porno, right. Go ahead. So we hook her up. Go ahead. And as she, you know, we ask her questions, you know, Sal knows more about it than, you know, than I told him. So well, tell me. Forget Sal. I'm getting interested in this. <laughs> Why should okay. Sal have this idea? So what we do is we hook her up. Go ahead. And we ask, you know, like questions. Uh, like, are you a filthy whore? Yeah, something like that. Right. Uh, have you ever had sex with a black guy in the last two weeks or something like that? And she says no. And you get the reaction on a poly. And then a black guy jumps out of the closet. And he said, I had, I had sex with you two weeks ago, so you're lying. I see. So it's a reality <laughs> porn in a right, sense. Right, reality porn. Right. And then the black wow. guy fucking rapes him. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> and we all watch him. Wow. Right. So this what? is a hardcore porno. Right. Where you work the lie detector. Right. And the girls come in and they, they get hooked up. Right. And if they lie, they have to do sexual acts on film. Right. I see. You got mm -hmm. it. You got it right down. You should be the producer, man. At any point, your your penis exposed, or are you in it nude at all, or are you just the lie well, detector I guy? You know, you have Sal walking around with no clothes on. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the uh, fuck is that? <laughs> Yucko, what do you think of this idea? <laughs> this and I'm thinking horrible. Yucko, too. Yucko would be part of it, too. Uh, you know, is, is this what Yucko, Ed... Yucko, you got a part. No, I need money, but not that fucking bad. <laughs> is, is this what Ed is talking about out in the green room? Yes. This he's, is, this, he's been pitching me and Doug Goodstein and anybody that works quite pitching me this movie. So is anybody going to get involved in this or what? I'm not getting naked. I don't see Yucko. I'm not getting Yucko, naked, Yucko, are you going to be new, new in the movie? Would you call it off it on? Fuck no. Why don't we give Ed Torrey and a bunch of and let him produce it for Howard TV. And then, like, you know, he get paid based on how many hits he gets. It's basically like the Internet. He's got Sal and Richard, the two producers of Super Stink, on board. That's right. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's, uh... Can you ask her if she ever screwed a clown and then Yucko jumps out of the closet well, and screws be, her? That would be great. That would be great. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, Ed, it sounds like an interesting idea. Uh, we're going to get back to you on that. We'll certainly mull it around. All right. All right. Thank you, okay. Ed Torian. Okay, who is thanks, uh, well, a lie detector it. expert, All right. actually. All right, thank you, Ed. Okay, thank you, Ed. See you later, Ed. Ed, can you shoot ropes? <laughs> <laughs> you know, big, thick, we need a big, thick load on the back of some of these hookers. Can you shoot yourself in the face? He's great in a pitch meeting. What would you think of that pitch? I mean, the guy's on fire. I think it's got some holes in it. You didn't like the pitch? Uh, you know, it's, it needs an ending. <laughs> you didn't like the part where the black guy jumps out and rapes that's, the hooker? That's the hook. Yeah. The hook. We need something around it. You feel he has a good delivery for a pitch meeting? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, so uh, it's me. I get a hotel room. Sal's naked. and It's a black guy, and he jumps out. I don't know. So, Howard, you want to do this? I think it's yet, though. Yes, Richard. Ed sang some stuff for us today, too. Oh, did he? On Gary Preview page. I know what he's got here. Here we go again with the mouse. Well, it's the fucking white one, right? No, this is the Who black knows? one. Let me see. No, the white one's the browser. <laughs> Don't ask what I got to go through. Jesus. Baby, when I think about you, oh. I think about love. <laughs> Darling, 
gonna live without you and your love. If I had those golden dreams. Hey, this could be the soundtrack to the porn. Of my yesterday. Wow. Carry on my wayward son. <laughs> There'll be peace when you're done. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. Wow. And Tori and Rock here at WC. Carry on my wayward son. <laughs> yes, son. There'll be peace when you're done. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. <laughs> <laughs> no more. Obviously, he's never heard any of these songs. Sal made one. Uh, he called some uh, sports talk show. He got, like, the triple header off. He was uh, three different people. He's George Takei. He had tape of him. He had Who else was in that one? Who, uh, you got George Takei. Yeah. Hey, guys. Richard. Sal. Coming in now. All right. Who do you get in this one? You get George Takei. George else? Takei, Wood Yee is in there, and uh, Ed Torian. All right, and Ed I'm Torian. in there too. Ed Torian, the lie detector guy too. <laughs> the grand slam. Yeah. <laughs> Delgado was a perfect fit. He sat in the middle of the order, in the middle of the order, and does his thing. What's up? Talk to me. Hey, what's up, man? Hey. What's up, man? How you doing, my brother? All right. What's going on? Hey, I need a little bit of advice. I called a couple weeks ago. I got my black cock stuck in a shampoo bottle. <laughs> like I said, we talk about. Everything, but we don't talk about that. Okay. Anyway. Didn't you call him once before and tell him you had your black cock? Yeah, he, cut, he cut me off. I never got his answer. <laughs> what to do? <laughs> and, the, and these guys get one right after another. Right. They're all this, lined up. This yeah. show is funny. It's called Ghetto Sports, and it's, I guess, a lot of people that live in the ghetto call up to talk about mm -hmm. sports. Oh. You didn't want to talk about your black cock being in a shampoo bottle, though, that's for sure. <laughs> What's up? Talk to me. Hello. What's up? Hi. How are you? All right. How are you? I want to gird your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Talk to me. How you doing? All right. How's it going? Have you ever used the term nigga? Uh -huh. no. <laughs> All right. I have like said, I'm quick on the draw. Cannot get in edgewise. All right? I guess I will see y'all in two. I will leave y'all with some highlights. Give me a holler. So now he starts playing music and he takes phone calls and of course it's these guys over the music. What's up? Hi, this is Woody. I have a huge heart on right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Over the music. That says this show is ending. So uh, it ended on a fun. sour note. Uh, How it? Um, yes, yeah, Sal. We called, uh, uh, we called another uh, station on Friday, actually yeah. on Thursday when you were leaving, and uh, they busted us. They said Howard Stern hooked us. Oh, yeah? They're on to us. It's on uh, Preview. Are you on Preview 1 or 2? I don't know. He's on 1. Uh, it's on Preview 2 in light blue. So they're getting wise to the fact that... Yeah, yeah, are... we called the Crazy Alice and the guy, uh, they finally caught and on. This, and this... Uh, with that, uh, you want to listen to... Uh, you want to see who our friend? Yeah. Hello. You fucking cocksucker! Uh, oh, no, I want to hear what he got to say. I want him to suck me up. Hello, you're on. This is your moment. Go back and suck on your fucking father! Oh, All right. This is good. This is good. Oh, turn. They hooked us. Cool. Oh, you got a campaign. Cool. And I didn't even say nothing and he called me a whole bunch of names. That's cool. That's cool. I'm glad. I know your mama. Proud of you, boy. Ed uh, Torian, you're on the air. How you doing, Howard? How you been? Okay. Listen, tell uh, is Artie there? Or yeah. What? Yeah, I'm here, Ed. Yeah, Artie, you're a man's man. Let me tell you something. You just had a good fellow's moment. That's all, buddy. Thanks, buddy. You okay? Oh, Ed's okay with everything. Well, Ed is a, I, I've talked to Ed. We're friendly, and Ed is a, you know, he's a stand-up guy, but... Uh, you know, I, I'm in a corporate uh, world, and that's not right to do. Right, Ed. You know we're, that. We're not at the docks. <laughs> Ed's, oh, a, Ed's okay. a Vietnam vet, right, Ed? That's right. He's a man's man. man. He knows. That's a good law. man. He knows the law of the jungle, but, you know. I'll tell Ed what I 
Ed, I'll make it plain for Ed. Artie took out the village. <laughs> well, he's good. I'm telling you, he's the, he's the man, I'm telling you. He's, I knew he was going to make it. I'll tell you. Thanks, Ed. Ed, I, I, actually, Ed has always been strangely nice to me when he comes to Ed's our, Ed's our guy. We love him. Ed's Kim. a good guy.